Well, we are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club, everybody. Today, we have a very special, special, special guest. Mr. Jason Lee is with us. How are you? I, I'm halfway here, man. Halfway, halfway. Yeah. Well, the rest of me is still on the freeway. Yeah. Okay. But I'll catch up with myself and we'll get started then. We'll get started. <laughs> okay. okay. Right, Kelly? Per yeah, perfect. How many no, of those PBRs have you had, Kelly? Uh, I've had so many right now that yeah. I don't really remember. That's part. That's it's the part con, of the, in the con. Like we'll, we'll we're gonna give you money. We're gonna kick you some cash, but for every dollar that we give you, you have to drink that many cans. Oh yeah, throughout the course of a week. Kelly, right? oh, yeah, for yeah. a week. Start yeah. drinking. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let me. Yeah. Uh, if that's the case. Uh, meanwhile, uh, I desire to be sponsored by San Pellegrino. <laughs> if you want bubbly water. You can't get any finer. Wow. Mm. And now if they use that for commercial, we you gotta you, we send them an invoice. Oh, believe me. Yeah, believe yeah. Me. that was yeah. good. Believe yeah. me. Uh, you'll send them an invoice and we will too. So yeah, that's right. Cut, yeah. cut it uh, from Pelly. our show. From our show. Both angles. Hey, but thanks for coming. This is yeah, thanks for fucking having me. amazing yeah, oh, because yeah. um I just wanna let you know and thank you for, you know, what you did for skateboarding and at the time too, because I grew up in I, I started skating in ninety one, right? Okay. So ninety one First video I ever saw, guess what? Video days. Yep, 91, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. First board I ever had, went to Rip City Skates over here in Santa Monica. Yep, got I the Got Rip the City. Jason Lee Support America with the, it had cars on the bottom and everything, mm. uh, blind board. Now, a lot of people don't remember that Support board. Support America? I don't remember <laughs> that board. See, <laughs> you, even you don't remember. I tell people this. The American board I remember is the Icons board with so, the, right. the gun on the bottom. Yeah, and the uh, and the, the the it had a gun and a six pack of beer exactly. and a pack mm. of smokes. So there was another American board. It was like green and blue. It had this traffic in the middle of it, and it was at Support America. Jason Lee. It was like a drawing of a freeway. It was a drawing of a freeway, hmm. pretty much. Was it a stick on board? No, I think we no. did one of. The, I think we did the stick on boards too. The funny thing was, is like. I, for some reason, I don't keep boards. I don't, you know. especially use boards. Mm. For some reason, I kept that board. It's at my parents' house. Wow. Still have it. And I think the reason for me, what, you know, just starting to skate, seeing the video days, I mean, it was all filmed around here. There was some stuff in Paris and stuff like yeah, that yeah, yeah. too. But I, I, was, I was recognizing the spots. Right. Wow. And so I was like, wow, they're skating Santa Monica. They're skating downtown. They're over here. And like that really had an impact yeah on me watching that video and watching you guys and being like, oh, this is around, this wow, is here. Really cool. yeah. Yeah. This is here. Really cool. So like for me, th that shaped me as a skateboarder watching that video for the first time, having your board. Mm. I mean, wow. So thank you. For thank you. I mean, I think a lot of people at that time, I mean, it, it definitely shaped a lot of us. I mean, cause I, I started skating in 87, but like uh -huh. really started getting into it like in the early nineties. Mm -hmm. So seeing that video definitely kind of, uh, made it resonated for me that I was like, damn, I, I really like this shit. Yeah. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I mean, for you, it, it shaped me too. Well, I, I was going <laughs> to you know ask, I mean? like, because I was just following Mark's lead, obviously mm. as the whole world was really sure. Yeah, Mark sure. and Nottis and, you know, um, Rodney Mullen, of course, who yes. invented everything. Yeah, yeah. Sure. And then Mark got really, uh, fun and improvisational and experimental with it. But yeah. it was Rodney really essentially. Was sure. First flat ground ollie, first kick flip, first 360 flip, all of that, right? Wow. And then Mark was on his own trip, right? And so we were just following Mark. Yeah. Um, I'm from Huntington Beach and I kind of, I don't think I ever would have ended up in LA without Mark. Uh -huh. We would drive up to LA all the time. Right. Mark knew all the spots, even though we were living in the suburbs in Huntington Beach, I was living with Mark in, in uh, his uh, house. Oh, just wow. A, a, a little, a humble little, 70s uh track tome you know sure. in huntington wow. beach and we'd always go to la he knew all the spots everything how did you initially even meet mark he heard that there was this kid in huntington beach that could do a 360 flip okay oh, wow. okay right? and he came to my house <laughs> really yeah he came to my house unannounced I, he just came and he found out where i lived okay gosh and my mom i think came my mom said there's a guy named Mark at the door or something where he was honking outside. I can't really remember, Amazing. but I went outside and Mark's just in the street in his car. And he goes, hey man, um, you're, that, you're the Jason kid that does the 360 flips. Wow. And he goes, do you turn your whole body when you do them? And I was really disappointed. Oh, I was like, no, just the board turns, but that's, you know. That's in the, and he that's goes, coming no, in the that's future. cool, that's yeah. cool, that's cool. 
he still accepted me even yeah <laughs> but i think he had his hopes up that it was like the whole body turn oh. sure uh, no it's just the board that look turns. at that forward thinking then though that oh he had on. so much oh, oh my god way too much for so much forward thinking Goodness. and then i think i did one for him in the street and he goes oh that's cool man do you want to go skating sometime wow and then the next time i saw him i uh went skating with him and it was ed templeton and me and my friend mike polarski i grew up skating with him and uh, just a bunch of amazing kids uh, in Huntington Beach. So the night, the first night, I skated with Mark. Did I answer your question? Um, or no? What question? I, well, I don't even uh, remember. I'm enthralled right <laughs> now. No, no, I, 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 just, I don't want to start yeah, no, steamrolling. No, 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 I just have crazy. Bro. I just have a lot of stories. Sorry. This is great. I, 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 no, uh, sorry. right, dude. Um, so, uh, so I go to meet Mark at these Costa Mesa banks. They're these little steep banks in front of a bank. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, yeah. Costa Mesa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Really smooth. Mm -hmm. I had skated Sadlands. Do you remember Sadlands? Yes. Neil Blender was amazing there. Those tight little planters. Right. Lester Kasai was, all these skateboarders skated there. So I had skated Sadlands, so I was kind of used to that tight tranny. So I, when I, uh, this first night I skate with Mark, O is there, the legendary photographer. Neil Blender is there with Gons. I'm there with Ed Templeton, Mike Polarski. There may have been a couple other kids. Because Ed Templeton and I grew up skateboarding. Gotcha. Um, in Huntington Beach. And I cannot believe, like, imagine, like, imagine, I've told this story so many times, but um, imagine, like, imagine meeting that a person of that caliber, Mark. I mean, it was yeah. like it was like incredible. So, yeah. Totally. And then O was there, and Neil Blender. Oh my gosh! And then a white Ford Taurus pulls up. So this is like '87. Okay. Right. And I'm riding a crusty old chipped up vision board that I got somewhere. I wasn't even on. I don't think I was even sponsored yet okay. from by Rocco. So a white Ford Taurus pulls up, and Nautis gets out of the driver's seat. <laughs> Mike Vallely gets out of the passenger seat oh, and little tiny Chris Pastris oh, wow. with his big glasses gets out of the back seat because Chris and Mike V were friends in New Jersey. Right. Mom, 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 mom. Mike V's flying out to California. Can I please go with him? Pastris is 15. Okay. I'm 17. Ed Templeton's 15 too, I think, or 16. Wow. You know, we're young. Yeah. So the first night I skate with Mark Gonzalez is the first night that I get a photo that would end up being in a magazine. Hmm. Um, I, that, and that I meet Neil Blender, Nottis, Mike V, and Chris Pastris. That was, you know, 35 Jeez. years ago. Wow. That's Jeez. crazy. Yeah. And then Chris would end up getting on World. Yep. yep. And, then, and then eventually Stereo and all of that stuff. But so I mean, it kind of like, started that night. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you, I mean, were you tripping that you were all these people or, or were you kind of not like what was going through your head i had this... sort of two choices like skate 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 or watch or watch right yeah. you yeah. know what i mean and just be like gobsmacked yeah mm -hmm. i was skating but also gobsmacked right <laughs> you know what i mean that yeah. i had to walk that line yeah and that you was know, the there's... first time you met chris pastris yep yeah and Amazing. he was about that tall Amazing, <laughs> with the big glass. Yeah, you know his board. It was like me skating with Guy. Yeah, when yeah, Guy yeah. was thirteen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, his yeah. board back then in nineteen ninety was like almost. It was like he was riding a snowboard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. Oh, wow. um, you know, there's the there's a th that uh, great uh, uh, Bob Dylan documentary called Don't Look Back, the one that Pinnebaker shot in sixty five on black and white sixty millimeter film. It's when Dylan goes to London for the first time. Mm. And he, uh, Donovan, you know, who's a young up and coming folk singer. So Dylan's like 25 and Donovan's like 16 or 17. And he's like the new up and coming folk singer on the scene. Okay. Um, and there's a scene in, the, in, in Dylan's hotel room where Donovan's playing a song for Dylan. And Dylan goes, that's a good song, man. Like he's into it. And then Dylan picks up the guitar and he plays uh, uh, one of his, his own songs. And just kills it. And you just see Donovan, like just this young kid, just staring at Bob Dylan. And you can read his mind. He's like, I'm actually in Bob Dylan. Yeah. <laughs> Listening to him yeah. play something for me. Right. Seeing Mark, what, that was that, that was experience. It. Oh, like, yeah, that's yeah. actually Mark Gonzalez, the guy from the vision ads, the right. vision videos, the guy who paints on his grip tape. Yeah. The guy that is all of the things that we just, uh, like he's like that's the Willy Wonka of skateboarding. Hundred yeah, percent. That's the Dylan. That's the Miles Day. Like that's the art 
it's weird, a guy. like that's the guy who's kind of paving the way. Yeah. Um, and I'm skating with him. It right. was really like absolutely life changing. And I'm sure. sure that carries over even to this day with like the skateboarders in each generation. You know, there's like sure. those each skateboarder in the generation, like he's the guy. You oh, know, yeah, and then th those sure. skateboarders see him. Like, yeah. Oh, but rem I think guy. for a bit it, that was a little bit lost. Yeah, yeah. Can, uh, yeah it was sure. a little sure. bit lost, right? Mm -hmm. But now, thank God, skateboarding is so well rounded. It's mm -hmm. incredible. Yeah, right. Totally. Skateboarding is at a good place. Yeah. Wow. I mean, you still have people that are like, screw the Olympics or this is too mainstream. Mm -hmm. You still have those internal battles within skateboarding. Hundred percent. And that's fine. That's yeah. always going to be the, the 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 case. Whatever. Yeah. Totally. But overall, skateboarding's in a healthy place. Oh, oh yes. I agree. Definitely. Because it's no longer like hesh versus fresh. Right. Mm -hmm. It's no longer like you street skate or you skate vert. Yeah, yeah. Like everybody bros down mm -hmm. and I'm so stoked about the female presence in skateboarding. Oh God, and beautiful. we just turned Bryce Pro for stereo. Oh, yeah. She's yeah, amazing. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. She's so, so rad, rad. Yeah. and kind of on her own Gons like Amazing. trip. She's very like oh, like she, creative and just kind of out there and just the most the beautiful way. Definitely, yeah. It's Super awesome. outside the box. Love that. But it's amazing to see skaters like kick flipping stairs yeah. and then doing a frontside hand plant in a bowl. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So remember, yeah. there was a little bit of a disconnect mm -hmm. for a minute, right? Where people would have been like, Gons, who, oh, he's just maybe just some old guy that used to kickflip a long time ago. For yeah. sure. And then we circled back around. I think yeah. now, yeah. to your, I think now everybody kind of knows who Gons is now. And oh. that he was like a, a forefather. If you, for don't have, if you don't know who Gons is, you better go do some Googling. Do some, do some yeah. book yeah. Do some yeah. 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 But it's research. true, though, because we had a conversation with Jason Ellis, and it was the yeah. same thing, like Vert Street. Yeah. There was a divide there. There Definitely. wasn't, we didn't get along with these guys. We did, but... There was, there was a respect, but there was a disconnect. Yeah, the yeah, there was no, there was no. We didn't get along. It's just we didn't. It, nobody we didn't hung out. We couldn't. Yeah. yeah. Nobody. It, no, not that it was clicky necessarily. It was just different disciplines. Yes. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And they didn't cross over. And a lot of that credit goes to Tony Hawk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because of the skate parks. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah, for sure. Not totally. many when you were coming nope, up. Not many nothing. when you were coming up. Not many when we were coming up. Nope. So if somebody had a, a ramp in their backyard. You could learn tranny. Totally. Yeah. That, that was Otherwise, the only way. No skate. There was Del Mar. There was, uh, you know, there were a few skate in, parks. In my time, it was Powell Skate Zone. Oh, damn. So Me too. I would have to drive, get a ride up yep. to Santa Barbara. Yep. Otherwise, it's just the streets here in Santa Monica. Yeah. That and was now, it. how many parks has the found, Tony Hawk's Foundation so many. Built hundreds, built hundreds and hundreds yeah. and hundreds, yeah. Yeah. allowing skaters to learn that tranny and, and kind yeah. of become more sort of well rounded? It's definitely. It's amazing. It's yeah. great. It's great. So when you were. Like you meet you meet Mark Gonzalez. Mm -hmm. You guys were you know filming the blind because going back to the blind video, you didn't. I mean, it's like this for everybody filming a video. You don't. You're just out skating, right? Mm -hmm. You don't know that you're actually working on this timeless video that no. would impact skateboarding the way that it did, right. and pretty much like change the way that we skated. You know, in a, in a way, you know, for sure. Again, following Mark's lead, yeah, and Mark and Spike kind of teaming up and doing all of that together. Um, yeah, I mean, it was like it was more like hanging out with your friends, and one of them had a Hi8 camera. Yeah, sure. and uh, Spike somehow fashioned a, a fisheye lens <laughs> yeah. to the you know to what looks like a a camcorder you would have seen a dad having on his yep. shoulder at Disney World in yep. 1989. <laughs> For sure, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was Super yeah. VHS, I think it was. Okay. Right, Super VHS with like a fisheye on it. Wow. Or a right. wide angle lens on it or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then Mark, of course, had the idea to, to get the car and do the the crash at the end yeah, and, and the yeah. whole thing. And I got to tell you, I as a kid watching that, 15 years old, I thought you guys really died. I was like really... <laughs> I know, I, I, oh my God. Like, but the I giveaway watched... though is that everybody had a birth year to death year. Yeah, yeah. But Rudy had a number. He had a 900 number. number. <laughs> but that was actually his number. I minus that. Was it really? That yes. was not... Oh my God. That was God. actually Rudy's number. What? I did not know that. Yeah. He had to, he had to change that real quick. <laughs> but here's, here's me as a kid. I just watched this epic video with these guys that are now my favorite skaters and they're yeah. dead. Oh man, that you know. sucks. <laughs> but come to find out later, you guys are okay. Mark, right? they, yeah. they let Mark use the, uh, the Jackson 5 song if we mentioned Don't drink and drive wow which oh, i seriously? think is in the credits maybe i think yeah anyway 
I for guys that was very cool. Wow. Yeah, I thought that was very, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow! They let us use. I it. I thought that was just like we just used it. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It wasn't like that. No. Wait, they had to get like they had to ask yeah. them. It's wow. it's cool if you use it. Again, my memory is fading. Right. But uh, um, but I think that was the thing where it's you know as long as you mention don't drink and drive. Mother's that's amazing. Drunk driving you can or use something. the song or whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, th I think that's how it went down. But everything else, I think they just put in. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Sounds like skateboarding right yeah. there. But even the even the the music and everything, yeah. I mean, you you guys really set the tone in ninety one oh, with that wow, video, man. you know. I mean and it's like, it's Mark and Spike. All credit. But to you them. guys were the skateboarders. You know, yeah. you set the tone the in your skateboarding, yeah. your talent, the way that you guys skated. It was a it was just like to me, it was mind-boggling. It's a you beautiful, know? it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. art piece. And here's a guy uh, yeah. that wow, you're talking you. about, this yeah. young kid. Yeah, you know, and you're. And yeah. me as a young kid, I could relate to this yeah. kid, and yeah, I'm like, this yeah. kid's on another level. And like, everybody was... knew when we saw Guy, right, yeah. that it was special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, yeah. We knew that it was really. Sp I mean, to be 13 and to have that kind of focus and not be like he wasn't like spazzy and scatterbrained. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. like a hyper kind of you know, um, uh, kind of aloof teen. He was very focused with his skateboarding even then yeah he honed in definitely. wow and then i saw i heard those stories about his 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 troubles mm -hmm. and i was so so immensely happy that he came back and then i saw that lakai part Woo! from oh seven yeah and that was like, oh, yeah, a, that was like a comeback yeah. part and i so cried yeah. Yeah. yeah i mean yeah. i think he, everybody I could not, was emotional during that i yeah. couldn't believe and i was like what of course he's that good yeah I, he does this front side tail slide and then whips it around to a front side nose yeah. slide. Oh yeah! On that and I'm just like, geez, man, this this guy could cannot skate forever and then come back and just annihilate skateboarding. Well, yeah. not only Amazing. not only not skate, but go through the stuff that he was going through, but yeah. also yeah. come back at the level that he came back at, yeah. which was far surpassed yeah. a lot of like people. Like he could have come back and done like a kickflip manual. <laughs> oh, and yeah. everybody would have been like, yes, <laughs> but he did way above and beyond yeah. that. Yeah. You know? He was, his level yeah. was elevated. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah, he's, he's sure. one of those rare, uh, you know, God, talents. God gifted oh, talents yeah. in skateboarding. No, so guy Mariano, and for he's sure. still doing it. Still, it's what they're just. Geez. I was tripping. Crazy. I didn't. I grew up with skating. I started skating ninety five, ninety six. Mm -hmm. So I would look back at it, and I was like, knowing guy as an older dude already. Yeah, and then I'm like, he he skated exactly the same. Yep. He didn't, even though he was a little kid, he didn't skate like a little kid. Yeah. Does that make no. sense? Yeah. Yeah. Even at thirteen, yeah. he skated like. Mark, we were always going. Mark even was like, "Man, I gotta like, I gotta keep up." <laughs> yeah. 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 And Mark was only like twenty-two or something at that time, you know. But of course, that was much older then than it is now. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like, twenty-two back then was almost retirement. Oh, I remember like, when yeah, Mark yeah. turned tw was turning twenty-three. We 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 were poking fun at him. Oh. <laughs> old man, you old man. Oh, I, can't really, dude. I was twenty-one. Mark was twenty-three, and I'm not kidding you. In nineteen ninety-one. 23 in skateboarding was way older than you're, it is now. You're a dinosaur. Yeah. A 23 yeah. kid, he's just a kid. Yeah. A 23 three year old skateboarder <laughs> now is like, you're still finding your way in. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. 23 and 91. Eesh. You're yeah. you were kind of like <laughs> you're planning your retirement. You had party. a shorter period then. You yeah. had a shorter yeah. period then. Hundred totally. percent. That's why I bounced when I did. Did you? Really? No, you I was 24. Did. 20. I was 25. You were done. I was done. I was like, I don't want to milk it. I'll never be as good as Eric Costin. Yeah. Why am I here? Right. And I bounced. That was that it. That was my genuine reason. Right. Which I think as a skateboarder and being, you know, our own worst critic, yeah. I think that's, you know, not a big surprise, you know, because we always judge ourselves. It felt okay yeah. at that you know? time. Yeah. And it took a little pocket there where I kind of just disappeared and I was doing some acting work, mm -hmm. staying in touch with Pastris, but I kind of needed that for right or wrong, for whatever reason, that's what I was feeling at that time. Right, I'm out. Yeah, I always um, wondered about that because yeah. because you when you did dip, you like you dipped completely. Where I was just like, dude, he does he care about skating anymore? I'm so sorry that I left that. <laughs> I, I never no, meant to, yeah. to to leave a, any kind of negative impression on anyone. I genuinely, honestly, I didn't feel like I was that good of a skateboarder to begin with. Mm -hmm. Because I was skating with Mark and I was watching the Eric Costins and I, I was skating with Julian Stranger and being completely humbled by that experience, mm. which I can tell in a minute. Sure. The first time I skated with Julian and rethought my entire existence. Oh, God. <laughs> um, but uh, um, 
I mean, you know, I was I was genuinely like, okay, well, I didn't get that I could have kept skating. Mm. Now again, it doesn't matter. Right. Yeah. yeah. We could all hang out with Pastris and Lance and whomever and slappy curbs tomorrow at home and have a blast. Hundred yeah. percent. Nobody's yeah. judging. Hundred percent. Nobody says, "Oh, can you switch kickflip, crooked grind the bend?" Yeah. Nobody gives a <laughs> shit about that stuff anymore. <laughs> yeah. No doubt. Yeah, if you're younger and you're sponsored and you're making millions and you've got to keep up, up yeah. and yeah. you've got to work hard, absolutely. Sure. Yeah. But just real organic skateboarding, nobody cares yeah. anymore. Right. Yeah. Right. So that's been rad to see that you know mm -hmm. happen evolve and develop over the years that's been really cool to see that but at that point it wasn't so much no. like that no, right it wasn't. right right so i was like you know what costin those guys are just amazing i'm never going to be at that level um i just want to break i'm just going to bounce and just kind of quietly dip out and not disturb anybody Got and that's you. what i did and um eight years later i started skating again Wow. Did you really put down the board for eight years? I, I mean, did you? I did a movie with Lawrence Kasdan, who's a great writer. He wrote Empire, the, the oh, Empire Strikes Back. Okay. I think. Oh wow! But he did some rad '80s movies like Body Heat, The Big Chill, <laughs> okay. mm, yeah. uh, Grand Canyon, which I think was the '90s. But anyway, great screenwriter. He wrote. Um, so I think he's really wealthy mm. because I think he gets residual checks from. Empire, the Empire. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I he wrote this, and I think he wrote Raiders of the Lost Ark too. Wow! Right, so I think he's doing really well. Right. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> good. he Pretty did good. a tiny, a, a sweet little movie called Mumford yep. that came out in like nine, two thousand. You or played a skateboarder like that. in that movie, and right? I played this eccentric billionaire, like tech guy mm -hmm. who yeah. skates. Uh huh. So I had to like relearn how to ollie up curbs. Oh wow! <laughs> like I hadn't skated in you know four years. I didn't even touch a skateboard. All my skateboards were in storage. Yeah. You've been to my I've storage. Been to You've your seen storage, them. Yeah. And I, I got a board set up. It was a stereo board. And I, on set, I had to push around and learn kickflips again <laughs> and all that stuff. And it felt a little bit foreign. Uh, but I did that and then I dropped okay. it again. You dropped it again. See, now to me, sorry to interrupt, but to no, no, me, no, that's almost like, cool, I'm starting this acting thing, which, you know, Mm -hmm. that's the, uh, a whole thing in itself is yeah, to be right. an actor and you have all these people around you and like, mm -hmm. am I doing a good job and yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. it is. But then to actually be a professional skateboarder, not skate, come back and skate in a movie, that seems more stressful and like really self, like, dude, I have to, if I don't only up this curb right or if I don't do this, like this is going to, make me look a certain way. And they you know, know what I mean? Can, and they know I can do this. They know you they can do I that. They knew I used to be a yeah. pro skater. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, so on, uh, on, uh, in, uh, at off hours, yeah. I would practice in the parking lots. Uh, okay. uh, we were shooting up in Santa Rosa. But I'm so sure at the like, same time, it, it came back like riding a bike too. You know what I mean? But yeah, it, but, after, but after a couple days. I could see yeah. a little bit of like, oh my God. I'm yeah, after a couple like, days, after a couple. Right. But literally not stepping on a skateboard for four That's years. That's crazy. And then um, doing that was so fun and it brought back all these amazing memories. And you know how good it feels to just roll on a skateboard, Ooh, yeah. man. All that came flooding back. Right. But then I uh, dropped it. I did a couple movies after that uh, mm -hmm. with Cameron Crowe. Um, and then in 2003, I started skating again. And I called Pastris, I'm skating again. He said, I'll be right there. I'll be right wow. there. Wow. So and I was doing 360 flips again. Yes. And uh, it was just like, uh, things take their own courses. Yeah. Absolutely. What I made you want believe, to believe though, once oh, you're a skater, you're always a skater. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. That's, that's the thing. Like 100%. whether you are physically riding a skateboard or not. Right. The magazine, the, 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 the memories from looking at magazines, yeah. watching videos, the camaraderie, the friendships. Yeah. 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 The, knowing that you are a kind of a unique breed of humans sure. because you've got a key to the to the very unique special special world of skateboarding yeah. Yeah. yeah whether you're physically riding a board or not there's that you're in that world for sure. and it never escapes you it no. doesn't it doesn't but for me also as an older skateboarder i mean sometimes it takes something to like put it down for a little while to find that to reignite that passion or you again. need yeah. to put it down you yeah. need to put it yeah. down yeah. yeah and now when i roll around with my kids it's so fun right yeah. you know what i mean it's so 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 fun uh you sometimes life goes where it needs to go yeah. for i sure. think yeah. sometimes you for know sure. and then i was skating pushing 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 and then we kind of got stereo we put some new yeah. breath in, in into stereo's lungs and then that was going really well and then giant went out of business i believe and that was a big yeah. uh, hit to us yeah and you know, it's, it's skateboarding is much bigger now, and it's kind of it's it's not always easy running a smaller brand. Totally. 
And you know, but so you guys have been doing it for a while. Yeah. Thirty years amazing. this year. Wow! Years. Crazy. Congrats! Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. amazing. I mean, you know, yeah, it's, it's tough, tough to do anything for one year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, so I've been in and out of it when it feels organically mm-hmm. right. Yeah, yeah. Um, since '95. Since, 95. Re- since retiring. That's it. That's it. <laughs> no. In that, that's crazy to me though, because '91 is at video days, and like that's just five years. Like yeah. time back then yeah, went super fast, super fast too. Fast, bro. And so it's happening. You know. Yeah. I mean? Right. But I understand too. At that point in time, like you're old, you know, and it, you you were starting to point, feel that oh, way yeah, and sure. stuff like that. So um, I understand. I uh, okay. So 1993 was that Houston contest. There's an account on Instagram that I follow called All Hail Skateboarding, mm-hmm. and they post some rad clips of of you know of skaters. And they posted a, a something a trick of mine from that contest in '93. That was mm-hmm. a great contest, man. Like, right? Everybody, yeah, 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 everybody yeah. came out for that contest. Oh man, Kareem did that backside that 180 ra- ollie yes. off the drop in bank. Yes. Psycho. With a uh, 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 don't fall off the, the edge uh, <laughs> uh, oh, rail, railing, ra- railing on yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> Kareem did a backside 180 over that. Yeah. Next and level. people were like, what it just happened? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> should, anyway, yeah. I'm, this is 19, I'm 23 years old. And I'm stoked to just do a backside flip over the, what is it, the fun bot? What do they the call little, those? Little pyramid, pyramid thing. Yeah, pyramid, yeah. yeah. Eric Costin would have been... 18 and he was doing switch 360 flips oh, over. Yeah. <laughs> so i saw that remember yeah. and i was just like what am i doing here right like i'm doing backside 180 flips over the thing they felt good they looked good. Catching they them good they looked yeah. great i was catching in the, i was catching them you know they were you know i was doing all right but then you see that stuff it gets and you, you. you're celebrating it but at the same time you're like that guy's a prick. <laughs> it's How can he do that? It's a little I, defeating. I'm stoked to just do a backside 180 flip, a switch 360 flip over the thing. Perfect. Yeah. In 1993, and I'm like, man, I got it. Yeah, taxi. Like, it's my. T- I got. I got. I got to head out. <laughs> I got to bounce. Before, before what was your Ubers. thoughts when switch started coming around? What were you thinking? You're like, fuck, I have to learn something new, or like, or mm, did you that, even get into it? Well, uh, no, I did. I did. I couldn't really do switch flips. But I could do backside nollie 180 flips. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got sick. those. Um, watching Salmon oh, switch yeah. skate. Yes. Yeah. And apparently he was the guy that He's sort of started it. Switch God. Yeah. yeah. Because the original switch the, God. The, yeah. the, the legend has it that mm-hmm. he sprained his ankle mm. his, or hurt his ankle. Oh, yeah, and okay. Started yeah, yeah. And switch. started skating yeah. switch so that he could keep skating without. So he's regular. And so switch skating, he was, and he was also normal pushing switch. Yes. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. that's Back a big then, part he of was it. No, he wasn't Mongo. Yeah, yeah switch pushing Mongo. switch. Yeah, he was normal pushing. There's that footage where he has the cast and he's going down the sidewalk, and he does this switch frontside 180 over the driveway gap thing. Uh-huh. Um, he looked good switch. Yeah, he, yeah. he looked good yeah. switch. Um, so I saw that and I was like, wow, he, uh, he makes it look really good. But there was also a part of me that just couldn't be bothered with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know. Yeah, for sure. I, 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 would, I, could, I couldn't make a, a, a 360 flip look as good switch. It's hard. It's no, really sure. hard. That's yeah, how yeah. Tim Gavin was too. He's like, dude, as soon as the switch shit started coming in, I was just like, I think that's dude. when he retired. Yeah. He's like, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, done. I'm done. I'm yeah. done. So seeing Costin do that at, in Houston, I was definitely like, Psh, I'm out. Yeah. Wait a minute. What year did Gons leave blind? Was that a shortly after? 91 ish, 92. Okay. So you had left blind shortly after Gons left, right? I stuck around as a 21, two-year-old. Okay. Because I was going to say when you were at the, that contest, were you still on blind in 93? I think that was... No, that would have been stereo. That would have been stereo. Mm, it was okay. a quick window. Right. Yeah. Mark leaves. I hang around because at that age, I'm like, oh, this might be cool. I you can mature be... as like a, a business runner guy. Mm-hmm. a company runner guy and mm-hmm. i was like oh, it just doesn't feel the same without mark here right yeah, it's yeah, mark's yeah. company i'm out yeah, yeah. pastris is like i'm out too he was writing for world and he said i talked to brad dorfman he still has the means to make boards blah 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 and so we started blue and yes. we i have, loved blue and kareem man yeah we had kareem yeah there's you know there's a 
there's three percent of skateboarders, and you're one of them, that have extraordinary pop, mm -hmm. where you kind of just go, "That's not supposed to happen," um, uh, physically. Right. And Kareem was one of those. And you, you guys, you saw his pop shovets. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where everything sometimes like everything five and a half feet tall. Yeah. Right? Um, Pastris had a good pop, pop shove it too. Oh yeah. He he did a pop shove it up the box in Germany. Up the box. Oh yeah, the Euro the Euro gap. Oh, in, okay. in the, at the Munster, okay. I think yeah. in the at a, yeah. at a Munster it's contest a, it's or a big something. One. It was not like a normal. Yeah, like, he wow. does wow. pop shove it from the flat ground up on top up on top of the. He forgets about the bank. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he forgets. <laughs> um, so yeah, there was um, no bank there. <laughs> Pastris and Kareem, probably the best pop shove it's I would say. Yeah. But anyway, blue, and then this is in the days where the catalog mm -hmm. was a single sheet of. Xeroxed paper that had like a few products on sure. it. Yeah, yeah. A couple boards, a couple stickers, and a couple shirts yep. with like the P.O. box number on the bottom. Super basic. Super basic. And that would get faxed to skate shops, you know, <laughs> for them to place their orders, right? This is so this is like 91 ish, 92. All very tight, the window. Mm -hmm. And Chris puts an old stereo logo on this flyer. And Blue is not really doing well or whatever. There's something going on with Dorfman. I, I don't really remember. But Chris goes, let's start another company and we'll call it Stereo. Uh, Chris was big into jazz. His dad is a big jazz writer. He has written books about like Jelly Roll Morton and just these amazing figures mm -hmm. in jazz. And so Chris was buying records and, and he just loved the old Stereo logos. You know, yeah. the stereophonic logo from great, the 50s sure. and stuff, right? It's a good yeah. logo. Yeah. Right? And yeah. so we, obviously, we ripped off a lot of album covers. Mm -hmm. And so he goes, let's go up to San Francisco. And keep in mind that when we started Stereo, Chris was 20 years old. Wow. And he had all this in his mind. He's such a genius mm. as an artist, as a designer. Sure. So we go up to San Francisco. We meet with Jeff Clint. And that loss was huge for us. Gosh. Yeah. Uh, and we meet with Jeff Clint at a diner and, and we go, hey, we have this idea for this sort of like retro design based skate company and called Stereo. And, and Jeff Clint was like, sounds great. Let's do it. And Tommy and Jim were like, let's do it. Wow. And we were up there and it was just really, really a good, good, good time. A really fun, inspiring time. Yeah. Seems like that really meshed up there. Jeff you know. Clint, rest in peace, bro. Yeah. yeah. He's seriously one of the <sighs> nicest, smartest things yep. ever. Yeah. Right. So friendly, so always friendly. a huge smile. Yeah. yeah. And very supportive of all kinds of skateboarding. Would you go up to San Francisco or in all the early the time. days? Skate all with like uh, Jim and like Mickey Reyes and stuff? All the time, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, San Francisco. Yeah, I was I was either staying in Jeff Clint's house okay. or on Greg Hunt's floor. He had an apartment oh, on Mar Market Street. That's sick. And so I would <clears throat> be sleeping on one side of the living room on the floor and Mike Dare would be on the other side of the <laughs> living room and Greg was there, uh, Carl Shipman would be so there. Sick. And we'd basically just wake up every day. I had my Super 8 camera because I was shooting a lot of Super 8 film and Tobin would film, Aaron Meza would film. Yeah, yeah. We had all kinds of filmers with high 8 cameras and we just roamed around the city and shot video and Super 8 film and skated. I love that. Very, a lot of camaraderie. Mm. We tried not to put too much pressure on ourselves, and we just had fun as 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 real friends, mm -hmm. skating and trying to you know make a video that would hopefully have some kind of uniqueness or creative impact right. you know outside of just sort of what you're doing on the board, and yeah. that's kind of what we were doing at that time. Yeah, I you know? think it's like it's very interesting that you say that because like I think nowadays, and I, I like them both. I like highly I like highly produced stuff. Sure. And then I also like you know when I go back and watch like blind video days mm -hmm. and stuff like that, like just that rawness yeah. of like you said, like just bringing around a Super 8 and it's nothing, it's just you yeah. filming. It's mm -hmm. like, and then yeah. put that gets put into a video. Mm -hmm. There's something like really nice about that. Like I said, I love the highly produced sure. stuff, but there's also that that gritty, grimy, yeah. in the streets I feel. Think yeah. organic, 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 organic. Yeah. I think it fit that, it yeah. fit that time. I th it fit For that sure. time and it fit what we were doing with stereo, I think. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, we were certainly inspired by Mark, you know. Yeah. Um, for sure. But, you know, Chris was really ahead of his time as a young kid yeah. because of his dad and what his dad turned him on to, you mm -hmm. know. Um, and so we just incorporating that, um, was was how we got stereos kind of tone wow it's actually cool because like a uh, person like chris pastris you know and his his dad being that influential in the his music and everything because mm -hmm. like as a skateboarder 
I got all my music from skate videos. Yeah. Right? Like oh, that yeah. was my library of, yeah. Hey, I up. discovered this because of this video. That's yeah. how we knew like how to, what pants to wear or yeah, what yeah, shoes yeah, yeah, to yeah. wear. You know, Chris was really, really lucky to have Rodney Smith, his yeah, godbrother. Oh yeah. Cause Rodney remember started, who started shut. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. He was working at a skate shop. Rodney was really tuned in, man. Mm. Rodney was like listening to The Clash, Bad Brains, and you know, was turning Chris on to like Public Enemy. Right. Wow. And so Chris was listening to like Miles Davis, punk rock. All of it. Mark was on that tip too. Like hanging out with Gons, man, is like, <laughs> I couldn't even imagine. Yeah. Like, straight like, up. Li like living with Mark, you know, I mean, it, it's it's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, man. Like you get a golden ticket. Yeah. And you're literally woken up by Mark. You get the privilege of being annoyed by Mark. <laughs> right? W waking you up at four in the morning. Yeah. And you go, Mark, I'm so tired. I don't want to go to the Ralph's curb and watch you do 25 foot nose blunt slides yeah. on the curb. <laughs> right. I can't. I'm tired. I want to just sleep. And you're so honored to be annoyed by somebody waking you up at, at three in the morning Amazing. to go skate. And when you get yourself out of bed to go skate those Ralph curbs, those yeah. Ralph's curbs yeah. and nobody's around but you and Gons and maybe somebody else, you're so, you're so glad you, you woke up. Right? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, you're so glad you stayed up and you're so glad that Mark would wake you up at seven in the morning and go, oh, I gotta go see some friends in LA. We'll go skate, let's get in the truck. Mark had a big GMC truck. Yeah. And, one day it would be a Freddie Fender, wasted days and wasted night. You know that song? <laughs> He'd have that in the cassette player or a Beethoven cassette or like <laughs> Hank, Hank Williams wow. or oh. John Coltrane or like just, just the fun of that childlike spontaneity. Yeah. Sure. Anytime I was sour or feeling insecure about my skating or just feeling like over it, I would just watch Mark, you know, two years older than me, Twice my inner, tw twice the energy that I had, yeah. and just this, 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 uh, this never-ending energy mm -hmm. and spontaneity, spontaneity and sense of adventure and mm -hmm. like, let's go skate. I learned this trick, and oh, dude, what if I, you know, people do blunt slides. What if you did it with your nose? Uh, yes. And he'd ri he'd ride on the sidewalk and dip his nose and then pop out. Oh. And then he'd front side 180 and stab Into it. it. And Impressive. then he finally, it, in one day, and then he started sliding it and popping out. I think Guy had an interview where he was like, yeah, I mean, Mark would say like, hey, I need a bigger nose because I want a nose slide. I just don't want to do a bonk. I want to do like a nose slide for like 10 feet. Yeah. And Guy's like, dude, that sounds stupid. Like, what are you, <laughs> Mark was all, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, but it was like, it was such an honor. It was such a privilege. And I learned so much from, I would say the two people that I learned the most from would be Mark and Julian Stranger. I mentioned Julian yes, earlier because, yes. but you know, and then you know, certainly like uh, Mike Carroll and uh, uh, everybody skating EMB. That was really intimidating mm -hmm. because I knew I couldn't uh, couldn't do that stuff. But mm -hmm. I was certainly in awe of it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mike Carroll and Henry Sanchez and what oh, those yeah. guys were yeah. doing. You know, I I recognized it as as amazing yeah. but then i just would skate away and go get a sandwich <laughs> <laughs> hey man you you guys go do that you learn the switch crooked grinds i'm just gonna go down and grab a, a sandwich does anybody want anything <laughs> yeah <laughs> go to you somewhere ever, or whatever did you skate like emb i did i did yeah i remember the first time i went to emb i was looking at the wrong side of the gons gap no isn't there a shorter side if you go that way instead oh, of the long way. Oh, if you're coming the other way. There's, I, if I'm like not mistaken, and, I was like, that's um, not a big deal. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I know somebody goes, no, yeah, no, no, it's right a, there. And yeah. I was like, <laughs> that's a big deal. That's a big deal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with a nose that small. Right. Yeah. And it's the, the first vision board with the weird cut out tail. Yeah. And he ollies that thing. And he, so, I think he was like 16 years old. And it wasn't like a straight, it was like diagonal. Like you had to, yeah. it, it was straight when you're going towards it, but when you land, you're landing like at a diagonal. So it's like. And there's not uh, much room to push. Yeah. No. Uh -huh. Did you ollie it? I didn't, never did. I looked at it. Yeah, I did too. You know, I never ollied it no. though. I, I never <laughs> I never saw it in person, but was it legit, legit, like to this day, would it still be really big, you think? No. Nah. You don't I think, think so? Now, no, you know, just the evolution of skateboarding. Is yeah, like, it's right, crazy. Right. You know well, I mean? it's just like Waldenberg. Like Waldenberg. Gons was alling that, you know, that back in the day. Ollie in '91 was yeah. so gnarly. gnarly. He yeah. pushed down the street. Yeah, like he took a taxi. <laughs> <laughs> 
up the hill. Gate was yeah. open. He, like 15 minutes later, he finally starts arriving. That's how far he had to push from. Right. The gates open. <laughs> And it, it felt like such a long ollie. He had to grab and hold on sure. to the board just to make it. Yeah, yeah. And that was just Mark. Yeah. Mark was as fearless as like a Pat Duffy right. or a Sean Young who used to bomb those hills in San Francisco mm. in the rain, apparently on LSD. Oh, yeah. I heard about and that. there's that yeah. one hill with the guardrail. And he ollies over the guardrail and then bombs the oh, hill, geez. Sean Young. Yeah. Anyway, speaking of the hills, so I'm learning 360 flips and stuff in, in Huntington Beach. I'm 17 years old, 1987. <laughs> and I go up to San Francisco and skate with Julian Stranger. And I'm going down a hill in San Francisco with Julian Stranger, which was mistake number one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm on like a little SMA Rocco board and I'm doing my kickflips and I'm thinking I'm all cool because I can do like a kickflip to tail on a bench. And, <laughs> and Julian with loose trucks, probably not wearing any socks and just carving down this hill and I'm dragging my foot. This is, this is full confession right here. Right. I'm dragging my foot because I'm terrified <laughs> because in Huntington Beach, the only hills are curb cuts. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I know what you You're doing back three off a curb cut. you go out of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't go down, you know. You go out of them onto flat ground. Yeah, onto yeah. the flat ground. Yeah. So I get down the hill after dragging my foot for what felt like 23 minutes. <laughs> and Julian is sitting on his board at the bottom of the hill like this, just waiting for me. <laughs> and Julian's a sweet dude. Mm. So I don't think he was judging me. If he was, I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> because he's Julian, and that really genuinely humbled me. Seriously, I was like, that. I need to skate faster. Ooh. Yeah. And then, and then skating with Mark, Those like two. that was like okay. Mark is the kind of guy that can pick up anybody's board and like grind a handrail. Right, right. You know what I mean? So it's like, like the creativity mixed with the fast, the fast skating. flow, the spontaneity, right. the, the 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 looseness. You know that that was something I did not have. So, I think we've all held our foot dragging yeah, going down a hill before. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's not. Yeah. yeah, so I would say you know like uh, Mark, Julian, um, and. Uh, uh, seeing Pat Duffy do the backside lip slide in the rain down the rail. Yeah. Yeah. I was kind of like, I, I think I, I, I'm going to give this thing a few years and then I'm going to, and then I'm going to bounce because I, I don't have what these guys have. Speaking of bouncing and stuff, you said you kind of like retired in 95 ish, uh -huh. you know, were you already like, when, when did the act, were you already thinking about acting and stuff like that? Cause here's what I, I had feel. Done mall rats. You had done mall rats already. Yep. Oh. And then the next year I did like my farewell board. Okay. Yeah. Got so you. I did mall rats in 94. But were you like trying to like pursue that at that time or was it that just kind of happen? Or were you yeah, like I going did. to auditions? I, I and, yeah, okay, uh -huh. okay, yeah. okay. I had, I had a friend who got me into some meetings here and there and I wasn't very good. I would, I auditioned for some commercials and a couple TV shows and I was terrible. Um, but I feel like, well, sorry to interrupt, but no, no, I feel no, like ahead. watching the blind video, yeah, I was just gonna say. you were like super confident and like good in front of the camera, like, you know, doing your little singing and $75 for yeah, a handrail. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like really comfortable. Really no, comfortable. But, yeah. But camera. when you get dialogue though, and it's a, a it's a real movie set, it's really, really intimidating. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. My very first day of filming on Mall Rats, I couldn't help but feel the camera there. I'm sure. I'm sure. Like it's a full on crew, it's crew trucks, it's gear, it's equipment trucks, it's Screen Actors Guild, it's unions, it's- Lights, camera, it's, action. It's the real thing. And I couldn't help but feel like, you know, uh, oh dude, that brilliant Tim Burton movie, uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Oh, okay. <laughs> Remember Pee Wee has yeah. the cameo at the end? Paging Mr. Yeah. Herman, <laughs> yeah. Mr. P. Yeah. Del and he's looking into the camera. Yeah. He's trying not to look into the camera. That, that was me on my first day of Mall Rats. <laughs> yeah, that's right? a great, a great um, music right But there. yeah, I was, I was into it. I was watching a lot of movies at the time mm. and that again came from Mark. Mark was the one who turned me on to movies like Paris, Texas. That would go on to inspire my photography, the okay. photography in that. Sure, like Mark yeah. was watching incredible films and mm. he was really ahead of the curve in terms of like an overall creative person that had yeah. fingers in a bunch of things, gotcha. you know, a bunch of mediums and disciplines and 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 sources of inspiration. Right. It came out in his skating, man. Yeah. It came out in his skating for yeah. sure. It's true. So um uh, so I, I was into it. I, I was watching a lot of movies and mm. I wanted to kind of try acting because I okay. thought it would be interesting. Yeah. I was really into Coen Brothers and I was a big Steve Buscemi fan. Yes. And I just kind of was into that weird movie world, you know? Got you. Um, okay. And then um, 
I got an audition for Mallrats, and it some randomly, strangely, somehow got 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 a part in it. Amazing. Which was kind of a I don't know how that happened, <laughs> but it happened. That's a cult movie, man. I mean, yeah, cult movie. oh, it totally for sure. bombed. It just was a disaster when it came out. It completely bombed. A lot of those movies, though, uh, and then yeah, they, they come back around. Yeah, almost like, Famous didn't do very well when it came out. Wow. But now one. that's another, another cult classic. Sure. Yeah. yeah. That's an amazing director, Cameron Crowe. That, that was an amazing honor working movie, with him. Bro. Yeah, almost famous. Was that the the first time like you were a lead in something, or was that? No, that was an ensemble. Oh, okay. Mallrats was an ensemble. What about Chasing Amy? Was that, that was ninety seven. Okay. Yeah. A little okay. Later. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that was. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever really had a lead. Yeah, but you but, were. Well, but TV you were like show. the guy in that <laughs> yeah. movie. Though. What you movie? were like the. Oh, Earl! Almost I famous. did a show called My Name Is Earl. Yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> that was just, that was, you were the main dude on that. My <laughs> Name Is Earl premiered 17 years ago. Wow. That just hit me the other day. But you know what, though? Like, <laughs> it felt like it just came out 17 years ago. My him. son was one or two. <laughs> this big kid that came in here right now. My son, <laughs> yeah. who's so tall and he's 18. He just gave you a high five and a love. Yeah, and he has a beard. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's got the 360 flip now. Ooh. Yeah. My son Pi- yeah. Yeah. He has someone good to learn from. Oh, oh man. Right? He, he, you've got a good one, too. Oh, it's it's must be in the jeans. You know? Yeah. It's probably yeah. in the jeans. Yeah, he's got the three. That was the big one. Like, when you make the 360 flip, you can continue being my son. Right. <laughs> if you can never I land a 360 flip. I think it's about flip, that time. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. He, 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 he got it down. Amazing. That's so so he's still my son. So, okay. Yeah. Wait, wait. I want to talk about your 360 flip really quick. Yeah. Like, what... what when 360s was back then weren't done too often, I would say, right? Only Rodney Mullen had done it. Right. So you, how, what was your inspiration? How did you get better? I mean, like, I don't know. I, I have some, a different way of looking at it. Because yep. I grew up watching you, uh-huh. Josh Kalis, do it, and I got to learn. Oh, he had a good one. Oh, Nate yeah. Jones. Nate Does anybody Jones. remember Nate time. Jones' yes. 360 flip? Yes. Right? Yeah. right? Scoop how? Yeah. I, to it be honest, snack and echo. I, I'll put this. I'll put this out there. He's kind of like the. He was the newer version of you skating when you kind of left. I feel like uh-huh. Nate Jones had this style. Like he you was did. a backside guy like me. Yeah. I wasn't a good frontside guy. <laughs> right? I would watch Andrew Reynolds frontside 180 flips and just get angry. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but he had, he did really great backside flips. Really good 360 flips. And he had that. That, that bow-legged yeah, kind yeah. of poppy, goofy yeah. foot style, very yeah. flowy. And yeah, yeah, very, yeah. 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 He had a good 360. Fo- and Jovante, man. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, straight <laughs> up. Yeah, Can no we doubt. talk about Jovante yeah. style? Yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah. Talk about style. Yeah. Jovante. He he. And remember, he'd hunch. Jovante Ooh, would yeah. kind of hunch up a little bit and get ready <laughs> yeah. to just annihilate you. Skapow. <laughs> and you'd be so like good, Jovante, Jovante. But back then too, I mean, style was almost everything back then it was it was it was very important it was the tricks but also the style yeah Yeah. uh i gotta answer your question rodney was invented the 360 flip everybody knows that Mm -hmm. um i think i don't remember feeling like it was a 360 flip yeah if i saw it because he was doing so many flip tricks Mm. and that was sort of the freestyle category if Mm -hmm. that makes sense totally Yeah, yeah yeah we we knew that he was absolutely phenomenal, this skateboarder. I was doing 180 varial flips because people were doing those on street boards already. Obviously, Mullen was probably the first to do that. Sure. And then in my backyard, I had a little uh, uh, slat of concrete and I would learn some tricks. That's probably why I was so, uh, couldn't go down that hill <laughs> yeah. with Julian because most of my trick learning, like Mullen, was on a slat of concrete in the sure. backyard. Yeah. Sure. But then I got that, then I started skating Christian's ramp and that really helped. So I, mm. when I started skating transition, that helped the skating too. Oh, wow. But anyway, so I, over, I was over rotating the varial flips and I was like, ooh, I could get it all the way around. All the way around. I don't know that I had seen Mullen do a 360 flip, or if I had, I I don't think I would have equated it I to a, a 360 flip. Right. Uh-huh. It may have just been a another sort of flippy trick that he was doing as a freestyler, because if you saw his routines, mm-hmm. he was doing stuff. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Does yeah. that make sense? No, totally. Maybe totally. subconsciously, yeah. I was like, oh, 360. I, but in your own mind at the time, were you feeling like you were the only one that was doing that? I was, Chris. Yeah. That's on a street board anyway. Right, right, right. I mean, that, that's, that, that's, that's why right. Mark tried to suss him out and find him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. so then <laughs> I'm talking to my friend Mike Polarski, whom I brought up earlier because he was one of the kids that I was growing. He, he um, I don't have my phone, but he goes, hey, I just want to remind you that you landed your first 360 flip 
in 87 uh, uh, under the Huntington Beach Pier, and I was there with you. And I don't remember that. Wow. I remember I remember working on them in, in my mom's backyard. Okay. The over-rotated 180 varial flips. Right. And apparently, according to Polarski, the first land was under the Huntington Beach Pier. Wow. wow. On some, like, <laughs> shitty, sure. big, early 90s... Or no, late. That would have been a late '80s street board. It's funny yeah. how some things stick out in your mind compared to other people's minds. Yeah, you know, I would it's not like have recalled that. No, I would not have recalled that. That's funny. Yeah. That's so wild, dude. I mean, Especially that's one of my like, favorite tricks, and it's so amazing to hear kind of the evolution, where it came, where it came from, where yeah. it started. So well, thank you. <laughs> all credit to Mullen for yeah. all of this. I mean, right. Gons isn't kick flipping without Mullen. Yes, yeah. but he's kick flipping on a street board. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Definitely. So all credit to. You know, of course, Tony Hawk, Rodney Mullen, those guys. And then you've got later on, you've got the Danny Ways and the Collins yeah. right. taking things to a different building, level. Building, yeah. building on Build it. it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Building yeah. on it. And so everybody, starting with Gons and Nottis, were building on Mullen. Right. And then we were kind of building on Gons and, and you know. It's so, yeah. it's it's so it's incredible. Yeah, what a time. Because so many things were happening, but like it's Fast. such a small community of people. That, yeah, right. Especially then, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There were a handful of pro skaters back then. Yeah, it's doing really well. It is the yeah. best trick. It is. It is. It's because the best feeling. The pop. Yeah. I've noticed something. Mm. People don't seem to like the pop as much on the three sixty flip. Mm. It depends. Well, you I know guess. when it smacks up against your feet and yeah. it echoes in the alleyway nearby. That's a yeah. three sixty flip. That's the best me. feeling ever. Here's. I see the three sixty flips these days, and I see a little dangle. Uh, <laughs> no, I was gonna say the foot dangle. It's a what, little, what, what's up with the foot dangle? I don't know, but I don't like it. <laughs> okay, so the whole point of any trick that leaves your feet is to manipulate it in such a way mm -hmm. that when it returns to said feet, <laughs> it goes like this. Yeah, exactly. Go I'll pop, shove, or when you're do you know you do like a a big gone style front side 180 ollie on the as you're going down a hill. You want to smack yep. those wheels down as hard as you can. Yeah. You do a kickflip off a curb cut, pow! You want it to pop up at your feet and hear that noise. And feel hear it. that yeah. pow on a on a three sixty flip. It's the best pow there ever is. Right? It really yeah. is. So I've seen a lot of three sixty <laughs> flips without the pow. No pow. Yeah. And I'm like, I hope the pow comes back. I hope it does. <laughs> there, too. There's a few it, pows out there. Yes. Right. There's, okay. There's I can say, yeah. 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 but yeah, yeah, there yeah. was a period of time just recently where the there back were, foot dangle was a thing. Yeah. And it, it used to be let's get the pow as loud as we can right. and the 360 flip as high as we can. Mm -hmm. Then I feel like it became let's see how long we can keep the back foot off. Right. Before we have to put it back on mm -hmm. before we crash. But I think we're, <laughs> right? I think it, right. totally. But I think we're seeing that kind of fade away a little bit. Okay. There's still kind of yeah. some people who do okay. it, but. For a while, it was something that everybody was doing, yeah. you know? And I think it's, thank God, because I wasn't a big fan of that. I think it's going back to the POW. So we hashtag bring back the POW. No, bring hashtag, <laughs> right? Hashtag bring back the POW. Yeah, hashtag yeah. let's leave the dangle for another day, <laughs> you know? But there was like, I, I bring up Josh Kalis again. He really did have the POW. Oh, yeah. he did, He did, sure. he brought it up, and that's why I was like, mm. I want to learn it like that. And yeah. then I realized kind of like where it all came from, and it all came kind of from you sure. that's why i want to say thank you oh yeah. wow no I, man no no need to thank me no, but that's really rad to see wow I don't know. yeah I don't know. I thought that was really cool but there is there's there's some pal tiago tiago lemos uh -huh. he's got pal wow. mike, okay. mike yeah. mocapaldi mike yeah. Mo. he had pal yeah. yeah like there's there's still pal yeah there's some pal in the air yeah right. i love the pal yeah. that was great <laughs> will you talk about the pal in every episode moving forward henceforth yeah. 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 we're gonna get that we're, we're gonna get that trademarked right now yeah get exactly the yeah like, bring back the you pal. know who really tried to replicate yours is is mike york he like mm. obviously i think I know, I know you know mike york yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You, yep but he always like definitely when he does his he's like this is a jason Lee you know, oh you know? man it's all about the pal yeah but you know what's right about york too he has a special unique beautiful way yeah. of his tray flips that are like very he, quick no one he doesn't do it like any like no one does it like him right right it's okay. very you see him do it you're like oh that's mike york yeah. he's even done yeah. two tray flips in a line he'll like do one tray flip <laughs> then do another tray flip and then go on with his line like he's like <laughs> he's really good at him mm. he's really there's a good there, that's there's a good trick it's a that's good a trick good, that's a good feeling there's a few tricks that i like in skateboard it's like tray flips look beautiful like crooked grinds, front crooks, like certain things. I'm just like, that just looks, you don't need anything else. You don't need a flip out or you don't need 
just do that. No, you just keep time. it clean keep and it lean and mean. Yeah. And you're okay. <laughs> and pal. You're going to be okay, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, you're going to be okay. Keep do you, it clean Do you and keep lean. up with a lot of the skateboarding On nowadays? Instagram, On I Instagram, I do, yeah. On Instagram, okay. I watch a lot of skateboarding. Okay. Yeah. Because here's the thing. Me as an older guy, yep. I, I like this new skateboarding. I get, I get, I do get hyped off of it. Yep. But nothing really talks to me as much as like the you know the older videos the plan b's and the, the stuff in my generation that i think I, for good reason i think go for skate. good reason anybody who's skating for fun yeah it's gonna register yeah. right 100%. anybody skating because the just the pleasure of the pow <laughs> right <laughs> pow. the the sheer joy of the pow yep. the way tricks feel mm -hmm. skating with your friends and you don't feel that pressure on them and they're genuinely just kind of, you feel their personality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It shows in their skating. Yeah, that, that is 100. That's why a lot of the skateboarding that you're sort of identifying with stands out to you yes. because obviously there's a lot more pressure in skateboarding now. Yeah. yeah. And maybe with that comes a, a slight loss to varying degrees of like the funness. Yeah. And maybe we're not sensing as much of that could, I could be wrong, but yeah, the funness, the spontaneity, the, just the, the, you know, maybe we're missing a little bit of that. I, I don't know, but I, I am happy with the well-roundedness yes. in skateboarding. Yeah. It's just blows my mind, but yeah, I think you're right that it's mm. maybe that maybe there could be, I'm stoked when I see crazy talented skateboarders who are young and super sort of tech driven and tech savvy smiling laughing having fun doing man slapping curbs hanging out with their their friends that makes me happy yeah. you know what i mean yeah. that yeah. makes me happy i, I agree think. i yeah. agree i mean i could get stoked you 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 get stoked off of the energy right yeah. I, like somebody yeah. pushing down the street and they're into it they're having fun and you just drive by you're like dude that guy yeah that, that's yeah, dope for that's sure dope. Definitely. but going back to the nowadays there's a lot of pressure in skateboarding and i feel like some of the pros nowadays when they do retire it takes a weight off of them and they skate better than they do than they did before you know it's oh, like man, that way yeah. yeah but I can, did, yeah but did you guys back then like blind video days stuff like that was there any pressure involved with any of that stuff just uh self-imposed pressure that's it yeah, yeah. just self okay. yeah yeah right so there wasn't like yeah, hey, we're gonna film I, this video I, 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 and listen i went through i went through insecurities like any other sure. skateboarder yeah right, right i'm hanging out with gons I'm, I'm never gonna be that good and i'd get down on myself and if I don't learn all the tricks, does that mean I suck? I mean, I went through pockets of that. Right. Yeah. I think everybody did. For sure. Yeah. yeah you're your own degrees. worst critic, right? They yeah. always say that. So, yeah. you know, yeah. but at the, that's, this is over, this is 30 something years ago. I know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like it's just a different person. Yeah. yeah. I don't, re I mean, it's like decades ago. What was it like filming back then? Like, how long did you film Blind Video, video Days for? Like, there was. Not that long. Like what? A couple or months? Or you'd be filming something and go like, "Let's, I'm hungry. Let's go eat." Yeah. Like it wasn't like you didn't set up filming like a movie scene, right? Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? No, not like how it is now. Yeah, it's you like, would just yeah. you know go skate, and Spike would be there, or somebody else would be filming. Guy would film, or I would film. Pastris filmed some so, stuff. Yeah, amazing for video. It was just yeah. like just the friends hanging well, out, and not, not a lot of. I mean. There certainly was like, I want to get good tricks. And even mm -hmm. Mark had that discipline as, as sort of beautifully aloof as he is. He was also very disciplined. Well, and there was like, he would go out at night too. So there's a lot of night footage that have mm -hmm. had to have been set His up part, and like, man. let's go, you know, oh, for sure. yeah. at the, the end part where he does the double kink Santa Monica rail, oh, oh, which wow. is best. in 1991. Jeez. I mean, that was a gnarly, Psycho. gnarly, <laughs> gnarly, <Psycho. laughs> gnarly handrail. He's wearing the same clothes. He got all that stuff the last few days of filming. Wow. wow. Where he does that front side 50-50 uh, and then he goes to front side board side on the next yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. God, he I've does, always wondered where that underground was. I wanted to skate that. He does all so that stuff like in the last few days. Wow. wow. And then he ollies up the bench and then does the board slide to front side, shove it out. Yep. Mm. And then ollies over the extension cord. Dude. <laughs> so I was, had to plug a light in. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> All that, Levels, like, bro. it's like, it's it's jazz. It's improvisational. Right. It's so loose. Love And that. just, like, he's winging it. Yeah. I like that type of skateboarding. That's yeah. always been, uh, I've always been fond of that because it's not like you're, you're not thinking of that. You're going out and you're just kind of just flowing with the breeze. You know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. Hey, I want to skate part. this spot. Yeah, that's yeah. I don't know. We're, we're going to set up a little light, yeah. but I don't know, really. We're going to prop some benches yeah. up and Cause sometimes it, like, have yeah. a session. It, yeah, like, that's it right. backfires yeah. when you think about something so much. Like, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? Like, you don't really sometimes don't get that right. you know yeah. but yeah. going out and just fucking carefree I love that shit yeah that's yeah. definitely Mark for yeah. sure Mark. 
Gonzalez, yeah. bro. Yeah. I mean, those were the times back then. Yeah. I mean, that was my era, like yeah. starting in 91 mm -hmm. and growing up and seeing all this stuff happen. And again, it was happening so quick. How old I mean, were you in 91? 15. 15. Yeah. Kind of started late skateboarding. Okay. But everything was happening yeah. so fast. It was like blind video, plan B, yeah. another plan B video. It was like imagine crazy. Like, imagine like 86, you know, or like imagine 85. Mm. Like boneless is over, like parking lot curbs and like fucking like hand plants, and hand plants and like <laughs> you know, like layback slides on banks, like rad kind of old school skating. The window between that and Costin doing switch three sixty flips <laughs> is tiny. Yeah, <laughs> is that gnarly? Like from the forties mm. to the sixties, because because people were skateboarding in the forties, in the fifties, planks, roller skate, wheels, whatever, like. From the 50s or 60s, like to the, it was such a massive yeah. window of no progression. Right? Yeah, totally. And then a tiny window with crazy amounts of progression. Yeah, the early 90s. Oh, yeah, early 90s. Mm -hmm. Those videos, those Plan Late B 80s, videos that 90s. would come out. I mean, there was just, and then another one would come out. Did you're you just see like, the what? vision videos that Mar the vision promo videos that Mark put out in mm -hmm. the 80s? Mm -hmm. I, I never saw the, those. The, the airport banks. Grant has Psycho. a lot of photos there. There's the curb on top. Mm -hmm. 1986, <laughs> Mark is doing uh, at like alley oop lip slides on that thing. Like goofy foot, you're goofy foot. Mm -hmm. Like a backside, you know, you go up front side, but you, what is that, a 270 or whatever? Yeah, 270, you do yeah. a backside like three, and then you lip slide and come in. That's amazing. Mark's doing this yeah. stuff in 1986. He's doing kick flips on street boards. It's insanity. He's doing front side board slides on curbs. For days, yeah, I you know seeing, what I mean. Uh, like in nineteen, and like that was where did that come from? All those contests that were happening at at that time too, like um, Savannah Slamma and, and Holiday yeah. Havoc. Mm -hmm. um, I think in Savannah Slamma, he was doing some shit that I was like, "What the fuck is he, he doing?" He did a switch <laughs> method grab off the yes, yeah, That's what it was. Switch. <laughs> I'm not watch no. this stuff when yeah, we're yeah, done yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. true. Mark Gons goes up to the jump ramp and he's riding backwards yep. and grabs like it would be a stale fish. And it looks comfortable. And he does a switch method air off the jump ramp. Uh, of the, nobody commented on it. Because <laughs> nobody knew what, the, what it was. <laughs> so, well, it was, just keep going. Like, yeah. like, like it, it looked like a backwards, like he was rolling up to the ramp backwards and he did, it was, it was technically a switch early grab method air off the jump ramp. Super wow. comfortable, man. In the 80s, like just like, Oh, uh, wouldn't it be cool if I rode up to the thing backwards and grabbed the board with my the wrong hand and I did it backwards? That would be fun. That was, <laughs> and he probably never did it again and never did it before that. Oh yeah, first that time Mark, ever trying. Right? It. <laughs> and it was just so ahead of its thing, like nobody even it didn't even register. Wow. When Mark did it, you yeah. know what I mean. And are wow. you watching these videos? The video when it comes out, yeah. you weren't there. So the contest my local, happens. My local, my local shop had these videos. The VHS right? tapes, the VHS and you would just sit there. Yeah. yeah. On some dingy couch, <laughs> and you'd watch the VHS tape, and just like, <sighs> yeah, yeah. And so what I'm saying is, so you're watching it months after it happened, like live. Probably, possibly a year. I a don't year. know how fast yeah. these videos like. Oh, these, that's it's right. Like, it's no probably like a year, year, two no years. instant exposure no. or gratification. So you're in there watching this shit that's been done a year ago. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> people are tripping on it yeah. then, and you're just yeah. tripping on it yeah. now. Getting to but that's then. Yeah. It's crazy, man. I think there's um. There's a photo, Grant may have taken it, when Mark is 14 and he's got braids in his hair, I think. And he's 14 years old and he's writing for Alva at the time. And he has a board that has no nose. And it's a, you know, it's like a block about that high, like a bench about that high. And he's, he ollied up to it and did like, just like a front side pivot on it. And it's a rad photo looking up, I think. Okay. So that would have been like 1984. Mark was ollieing up and doing like pivot stalls on benches. Wow. You know? Crazy. Crazy. Man. Damn. Anyway, Skating. and Nottis could ollie over things. And he, he was the first one I saw to do a one foot ollie. Oh, wow. People call those ollie north. Yeah. Yeah. I never heard that. <laughs> Is it an ollie north? Yeah, I, mean, I definitely heard ollie north for sure. Yeah. I always yeah. thought it was just a one foot ollie. Yeah. I heard, well, I, I grew up with it one foot. But then and now I, it's Ollie I would North. Hear north well, because what well. are you putting your foot up in the north? <laughs> what, but what if you're going south? Like I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. The back foot. Yeah. yeah. It should yeah. be west or east. Yeah. Because the foot goes right out front. Right. It doesn't go to the north. That's very true. Unless you have a weird looking one foot Ollie. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? At the time, like <laughs> it's more like a karate. Yeah. <laughs> what was that, Raj? Those were fun. At that time, um, Ollie North was on trial, I believe. Oh, we said mm. at that time, Ollie North was on trial. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oliver North. Yeah. Oliver North. At the uh, uh, ran, was it a ran contra? Oh, or Oliver North. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What did that Dang. have to do with? <laughs> what did that have to do with <laughs> skateboarding? Your skateboard yeah. for you, Ollie. Yeah. No idea. We're gonna name this one foot. Hey, he's, who knows? He uh, didn't have one foot. It took oh. on a name. You know what should that. have been on trial? Hmm. The pressure flip. Oh, <laughs> did you ever get into phase. the? Never did it. Oh, Thank you. I had a pressure flip. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> you I, had a, flip? I had a pressure yeah, flip phase. Pressure flip was like the gluten free kick flip. I mean. Pressure flip was Let's like put the it this It was like the vegetarian kickflip. There was <laughs> like, why do a pressure flip when you can actually hit your tail? It's more and of a pow. Yeah, there's pow. no pow. You couldn't pow there's, with the pressure flip. It's a scoop. The pressure flip is powless. Yeah, it's it's powless. sans pow. Pow. I do you know what I saw a good one. Cater did one in his last little Adidas okay. part. This came out. Oh yeah. Uh, it, Best pressure. He pouted. It? Yeah, he, he, he pretty. He, he kind of pouted. Some, it. There is some, feet, like, but like yeah. it was the first time I ever seen that. But when I the pressure like, flip came, <laughs> sorry, but when the pressure flip came into te- into 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 town, it was just one of those tricks. You just learned it really quick, and it yeah. was just it was just an easy thing. It took no energy. You had a good one, yeah. huh? And I just, bet you had a good one. I would do like pressure flip to manuals and like stuff like that because it was just one of those yeah. things you could just bust it out. Yeah. You know? Okay. All but right. it did make it its appearance, and it did leave. Just as quickly, it did. Yeah, it kind of came but and went. They're still here. Again. They're still here. Yeah, they're, 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 they're back. Yeah. Everything's they're acceptable back. these days. But you, I, you're right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You brought up a good point. There is no pow, or there no. hasn't been any pow in that trick for a very long time. Yeah. I don't know if it's There's possible. A few people. You're talking about Cater. Cater is the only one I saw recently. Do you know, John? Do you know what I'm talking yeah, about? I, saw it. I yeah. didn't see that, but I've seen some of that kid's footage. It's incredible. He's amazing. Yeah, truly, he's amazing. So, so I thought it was cool to see that. Finally, when you watch someone do something good, you're yeah. like, oh wow, that's the way it was supposed to be done. Yeah, I've been trying to. Look, I, I, can see, I, can, I can accept that. One. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Have you <laughs> had Stevie Williams on this yes. show? Oh yeah. I'm gonna, I want to watch that he's episode. Great. Yeah, that's Love great. Stevie. We're talking about Pow and Pop. Oh, he should be in the same sentence as no that. Doubt. Pow yeah, and pop. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the love park stuff. Oh, my God. Right? What's the footage where he does the switch, pop, shove it? He does. And then he pushes up and does. Uh, what does he do? He does something, a grind after that. On one of the, it might have been the chocolate video. Oh, maybe. But it, like he's just pushing to go to the store to get eggs. He does a switch, pop, shove it. Am I mistaken? No, no, no. Roger. 100%. He does a switch, pop, shove it that's like five feet high. Yeah. yeah. And then he has that slow, relaxed push. Yeah. And he does a switch, pop, shove it that's yeah. literally so tall. Mm. And then he's just, and then he does that slow, confident, relaxed push. It yeah. does it, and he's just flowing like he owns the the world around him. Oh. Well, that's what's great about that footage too is that like you could tell in the footage he has no idea what he's gonna do. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, he's like he starts pointing. Over, so I'm gonna go over there. And you're like he How? had that improv. Yeah. He had that <laughs> improvisational vibe. Yeah, yeah. Like he, it didn't seem like he had planned out the line. Right. Mm-hmm. Totally. Like, oh. Oh, that looks good. All right, yeah. let me push. And the guy's still filming him. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'll do it. Come over there. All right. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll try that. <laughs> that loose, confident, improvisational thing. I love that. Totally. And the filmers, the filmers being improvisational as well yeah, because yeah. you you have to just, you're not in front of them. You're not in back of them. You just have to follow them. I love forward. talking yeah. about skateboarding. Oh, it's the yeah. best. It's the best. So rad. It's the it raddest too, ever. <laughs> I still have some coffee and I still have San Pellegrino. Perfect. <laughs> if I haven't mentioned already, if you want uh, a nice, crisp, refreshing, bubbly water with no sour aftertaste, try San Pellegrino. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had anybody do actual commercials <laughs> on the show. It's you're going to use natural. this crazy. and you're going to take those clips and send it to uh, P.O. Box on there? Bergamo, <laughs> Italy. <laughs> yes. Bottled at the source, San Pellegrino, Terme, Bergamo, Perfect. Era Bergamo, Italy. Hey. Have you ever done like commercials like that before? I've like, done voiceover stuff. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Voice over stuff of, is great. I mean, you've done video games. You've done movies. Yeah, you've done I, it all. I, yeah, I did a couple of some cartoons that must be and the stuff. E- is that the is that, is that yeah, the most easy one too, man? It's yeah, fun. Like, Voice like over work is. is fun. Yeah, because you can get all like wacky in front of the you know in in front of the microphone, and that's been fun. I did some shows for. Some well, you did like Alvin and the Chipmunks. Chipmunk, yeah, month, that's right? live action though. Right. Yeah. But yeah, for yeah. Just voiceover at the microphone. I did The Incredibles, which was mm, a, yeah, oh wow. Sure. Brad yeah. Bird is an amazing. He did. Brad Bird directed um, Iron Giant. Have you guys ever seen Iron Giant? I haven't. Hand seen Hand animated. Yep. Really. And then he did The Incredibles. He did Ratatouille, which is so good. 
Uh, he's an amazing director. That was really cool to, to, mm. to do The Incredibles. That's... But voiceover work is really, really cool. How long does something like working on The Incredibles take as far as doing the voiceover? Over a year. Because you're oh. in like, and then three months would pass and they'd call you back in. Oh. You know what I mean? So would you do like scenes or like a whole yeah, script? Yeah, like a five they... hour day. Okay. Getting through scenes right. and with Brad Bird directing you at Disney in a, in a sound booth. And you you're know? not seeing anything. You're just, there's uh, no animation already early, done. Early drawings. That's oh. it. Oh. And wait, are you interacting wow. with the no, other? So you're no. by yourself. You're by yourself. Okay. Right? Which is weird because how do you have a conversation by yourself when you know, is somebody else reading their other lines to you? Or I mean, I, I liken it to if you're a musician and you go into a studio, you're laying down your guitar part. That's it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you know that the drummer did his or her part, blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. And then they they slice and There's dice no, it all no together. And I guess you're, each other. Yeah, and I yeah. guess you're also aware of... They just cut it and edit it however And a please. really good director knows right. exactly what's going on. They have the movie edited in their head. Right. I mean, technology's gotten even more advanced now. This was like early 2000s. Mm. Um, I think they had already been working on The Incredibles for about seven years what? before I came in. I think the pick, I could be mistaken, but I think the Pixar movies are, they, may, they make them much faster now. I'm sure. Yeah. But they would take a 15 second clip and send it to the rendering farm where they literally had like massive buildings, Pixar, with just hard drives that render data. Wow. So a 15 second um, clip, like a fight sequence or something, 15 seconds, they'd send that off to the rendering farm and get it back a month later rendered. That's what? Wow. And so then have to make changes to yes, that if they want, if they need years to. to make these movies, wow. years. Yes. And then what, what do you do? Do they just hit you up or do you go in for an audition for a voice they thing? They hit or? me up and I was no like, way. a Pixar offer? Yes. <laughs> Brad Bird apparently was listening to my dialogue from a Kevin Smith movie called Dogma. Okay. Where mm. I played this kind of evil guy with yeah. this kind of elongated talking and, and um, this kind of villain. Mm. Uh, and Brad Bird was listening to the dialogue and looking at the drawings of Syndrome with the big red hair mm -hmm. and put it together and thought it would work. So that is red. so cool. So <laughs> that, was, that was really cool. I was so honored to be in a Pixar movie, man. Yeah, they make the best incredible. movies, incredible. animated or otherwise. They make incredible. Have you seen Up? Yeah. Oh like, yeah. The balloons and the whole thing. It touches you so hard that first ten minutes, man. I'm gonna fucking cry my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I cry every time I see that with that piano music and just the, the like the, the the whole montage of their relationship. Yeah. Crushing. It is. And you can break. And reflect on life from a cartoon movie. I know, right? Isn't that cool? It's like yeah. how it's so yeah. insane. Beautiful movie up. Yeah. So are you in a booth and they just do it and do are people directing it's a you? Big sound room. Oh, it is. Right? Okay. And and, and you know, like a, a what they call ADR, right? So you know, when you go back in to re-record dialogue, you watch the scene. Oh. And you know, beep, beep, beep. Hey Frank, I told you to put the gun down. If the audio sucked on the day, gotcha. you have to fill in the. You have to re-record certain. Mm. That's oh, why you're coming back every, every three yeah. months. You, you, okay. you have to do that with every movie. Okay. It was in one of those rooms, Got a room you. like that at, at Disney. Not so, a, not a sound booth. Even filming like almost famous, they film a scene. Three six months later, hey, we need you to come back. This scene was not clean Once audio. Once they edit it. Exactly. We had an airplane. There was yeah. a pop on the mic. There uh, was, you know, every actor on any you, movie has boom, to. Boom, you turned your head this way. We need yeah. to get it clean. Yeah. And so you got to go in and really. And match your lips. Match your lips. You got to match your and lips. And you got to have the same tone. And you got to have, have the same tone. Wow. Yep. You got to have the same tone. Sometimes during TV dude. shows, like you could tell when it's dubbed. I'm like, dude, this is oh, the, yeah. the funniest they, stuff is when they dub for over. TV. Uh, oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? They dub for TV. So if it's like, hey, asshole, get out of my way, it'll be like, hey, hot dog, get yeah, yeah. out of my way. <laughs> right, you know, like, right. hey, jerk, yeah. get out. Like it yeah. doesn't match it doesn't at all. Oh, right? yeah, and yeah, it's right. some like, it's G rated word, you know? But that must be cool though, because you get to film the movie, but then you almost get to go back and relive yeah, some of the stuff sure. that you moment, did, yeah. Yeah. you know? Which Unless is cool. it's like you get there and they're like, hey, uh, we got about 15 pages of lines you need oh, to redo. Oh, okay. wow. That's when you're like, all right, okay. And eight hours later, you're leaving the sound, the sound Dude. booth or whatever. Wow. And you got to do the same thing like fifty or sixty times mm -hmm. in a row. Oh, no, yeah. We didn't get that. We got to do yep. it again. Beep, oh, we got to do beep, that again. Beep. 
Hey, Dad, nice to see you. <laughs> yeah. You little, have to match the lips. Do it know? a little slower. Oh, we would need yeah. a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's ultimately a fun, sure. creative process for sure. I mean, movie the, making, the, the, the movie say, making thing. It seems TV really and fun. Stuff. It is yeah. super fun it because you get to be fun. somebody you're not. Yeah, you know? for sure. And you really get to like explore that stuff, like almost famous. You know, you yeah. got to be this guy. You know, and yeah, we we did band rehearsal for six weeks. Wow. So I'm growing out my hair, <laughs> and we're starting to wear some of the wardrobe to kind of get, get the vibe. In the thing, uh, yeah. And um, it's almost like a had, costume. Exactly. You're... We had vin all the equipment was vintage. Wow. The guitars, the the amps, and all of that. And we did six weeks. Damn. A band scene, rehearsal man, to just feel amazing. the. And yeah. were you musically inclined? I played guitar in it. Okay. All the stuff, the scenes where I'm playing guitar, I you oh, wow. played the guitar. But yeah. before you were always yeah. I mean, I play dabble? a little bit of guitar. Okay. I'm not yeah. So it wasn't fully out of left field no um okay but billy crudup who played russell hammond the lead guitar player mm. he learned for the movie and still to this day plays wow which is really cool that's, that's amazing sick. and Open that movie's 21 years old now that movie came out 21 that's 22 crazy. years ago and i think this that year. it's Dang. a song on the bus <laughs> oh, that gets closer, everybody tiny dancer hold me closer tiny dancer imagine the music budget on that movie <laughs> I mean, there's Led Zeppelin songs in there, oh, yeah. Elton John songs in there. Now, see, that must be a fun movie to work on. Oh, are you kidding me? Six months. Six months. Really? The camaraderie, yeah. the just the mm. you know, and also too, no iPhones, no social media BS. Right. Yeah. So cut. All right, that's lunch, or we need twenty minutes to set up for the next shot. Mm. We would all just go sit in the chairs. At, in the sound stage or wherever and just jam play guitar together sing tell jokes Talk. now it's like cut you go to your respective chairs and everybody just pulls yeah, out the phone yeah. Yeah. you know Super yeah. wow. so we were just all hanging out telling jokes having fun Amazing. jamming so it felt like and i think the that translates behind the scenes to the yeah. that I translates in the sure. movie that yeah, it, it was important, I think, for the movie to, to, that everybody got yeah. along and Absolutely. hung out and stuff. Yeah. Absolutely. Dude. Is Great that a long movie. time to film for a movie, six months? Yeah, it's pretty long. Yeah. Is it? yeah. I think those Marvel movies are a year and a half. Oh, like, yeah. they're way oh, longer yeah, now because sure. they have all kinds of crazy CGI. Yeah. Well, I watched some of the behind the scenes of that stuff and literally, the like, stuff? Yeah. I mean, all that stuff. It's like oh, they're literally screen. filmed in a green screen yeah, studio I, or a blue yeah. screen. That's a little tough. That's Nothing's there. Yeah. You're interacting with some goblin or some little like yeah. slug. And <laughs> well, did we've been you... doing the out in the chip months? That must have been. Was it weird? Yeah, there was tennis balls and little <laughs> stuffed animals. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> just like talking yeah, 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 to a tennis yeah, ball. Yeah. 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 So you kind of can get how that could work. How, yeah, it's, yeah. It all the whole thing is I'm fast. I've always sort of been fascinated by the like movie making. But stuff. then you go back and watch it, and you're like, oh, it looks fuck real. Did or they look yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Holy yeah. shit. Mm. Does the Marvel stuff look real? It doesn't. I mean, it's not supposed to. I mean, it's supposed to look real. I think it's happening. But it's also supposed to look fantastical and yeah, yeah. supernatural. Supernatural. Yeah, yeah. yeah. out of this world. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. it works for what yeah. they're doing. I saw the Batman last night. Did you guys I like? I it? I saw it yesterday yeah. too. Did you like it? I did. Yeah. I thought it was cool because uh, it wasn't too like out of this world. It, I liked that it wasn't super actiony. Mm -hmm. I liked that uh, Pattinson. Uh, Bruce Wayne seemed like just a kind of a confused, troubled kid. Yeah, mm. exactly. Yeah. I don't really know much about comics, ironically, even though I've been in a bunch of Kevin Smith movies. <laughs> and he's, Shout out Kevin he, Smith. Yeah, he knows everything about every single comic book ever written yeah, yeah. on the planet in the history of human. He did a show about comic books. I was in overseas when Mallrats, before Mallrats came out, so I'm about 25 at that time. And Kevin Smith calls me and says, hey, would you mind cutting your trip short? It was like a vacation. I want you to come to Comic-Con in San Diego to like be on a panel. And I genuinely panicked. <laughs> Kevin, dude, the only, I don't, I don't know anything about comic books. And I'm playing this guy in Mallrats that knows everything about comic books. What if I'm hated and they're throwing rotten apples yeah, at yeah, me? Yeah. <laughs> He goes, oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> so I went and thankfully everybody was super cool. And, and surprisingly, nobody asked me what my favorite comic book character was at Comic-Con. Wow. <laughs> you know, surrounded by thousands of Kevin Smith fans yeah. and comic book fans that know everything about DC 1, Volume 3. Page I, two. Page two. There's a. There was an, a misprint. Right. <laughs> so rad that these people know this. I. I was like. I watched the Amazing Spider-Man as a kid. 
Yeah, sure. that's yeah, about yeah. The, the you know the, the extent of Batman that. and Robin yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. television. Yeah. Oh yeah, know. that Spider. I think when that ended, it was time to walk to school. Doubt in the oh. seven when I was a kid. Spider Man, Spider yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it ended and we had to walk to school. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I think also we. I mean, le, the my name is Earl. Also, yeah, because Ooh. I think a lot that that was a hit. TV show yeah. for the time that it was Until on. Until it got canceled out of abruptly out of the blue. Well, you guys did four seasons. Yeah. You're going to do a fifth season. Fourth season left on a cliffhanger. It did, yeah. And then fifth season, nothing. Yeah. Like so, that's got to be a bummer to. It was really all, devastating. To you guys and all the fans out there yeah. too. It's like, what the? Fuck? There's probably not four days that goes by without somebody messaging me on Instagram. I'm like, sure. What happened to Earl? Or some people thinking it's my fault, like, dude, you left us stranded. What the hell? <laughs> I'm like, I'm not NBC. I didn't cancel the show, man. Yeah. It was I'm out right. of my hands. But Greg Garcia, the creator of the show, he's still my friend. He's What he did with that show is incredible. Yeah. He showed up on set one day and said, hey, I have bad news, guys. It looks like we're getting canceled. Wow. Dude. So like, you know, clean out your lockers kind of vibe and we're out of here. Pack your Isn't little... Like Two years away from syndication, isn't it? Like seven years. We got uh, we got syndicated, but it, we didn't syndicate very well. Mm. Sadly, we had a run on TBS for a bit. Hmm. But man, if we had syndicated on on the level of like a Friends, a Seinfeld. Yeah. I mean, I Seinfeld syndicated for a billion dollars. Dude, that's cool. Unbelievable. And then the next cycle, if I'm not mistaken, you guys can Google this at home. But apparently, it it sold for the same amount the second syndication oh cycle, which apparently doesn't happen. It drops off. Yeah. But it's Friends and Seinfeld, the people who created those shows, oh, obviously, they're... Larry, David, and Seinfeld, oh my God. Yeah. are worth hundreds and hundreds. But what's crazy about those is they go to like Hulu and then they yeah. run a, make a run on Hulu. Now they're on Netflix, they're on Netflix, and, Netflix. They, and they're syndicated. I mean... Every CW, <laughs> any um, any sister station or whatever in mm. the CW in Philadelphia, like they yeah. all play Seinfeld and Friends, yeah, twenty four seven all over America, yeah, and just cha ching. Yeah. I've that. been rewatching it on Netflix nonstop. Yeah. Seinfeld, I, I just keep it on, I because there's always something you can point out that yeah. you're like, oh my god, forgot and it's about kind that. of a show that like, you can just <laughs> pick up anywhere and watch yeah. it and have a laugh, you know. Yeah. That's yeah. true. That's true. But I think like you guys had a. a um, I mean, I would say, it was, I mean, it was a damn popular show. It was, it was fun. Really it was so fun. Popular. It was so fun. Yeah. And to, how did that come about? Did you audition for this thing? I got the or offer. And you just got said it? No. said no. Oh, you said, whoa. No, because I didn't want to do TV. I didn't want to be bound to, I mean, now it's different. Now Way it's different. like you film 10 episodes, boom, 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 and the series is done for the, for yep. the year. For Hulu, Netflix, Apple, whatever. It's just the streaming stuff is quick. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. You're kind of, you film for eight weeks or whatever, and then you're back home with your family. But like Earl big, was, big movie stars are going into that, that direction. Oh like it's insane. But back then they weren't. No. It was like, you're either a movie star or a TV actor. Yeah, I was like, oh. do I just do a movie? I don't know. I, do a, I mean, one season we did 27 episodes. Two. And it's a grind. Wow. Because you're filming on location and there's lots of action. And mm -hmm. it wasn't like the office was like two handheld cameras. In an office. Uh, in an office. <laughs> we were on location. We had steady cams and cranes and dolly track. We were shooting a movie yeah. every God. five days. And it was exhausting. I, I, I could imagine. It was really exhausting. We how did long, 99 episodes. How long was you filming like a season for? Seven months. Oh, wow. Yeah. Seven months. And then I, and then I got to, the best part was getting to shave the mustache. <laughs> oh, you, were, you were over it. You were done. <laughs> At the end of a season. And then I'd have to start growing it about seven weeks or so. Oh, so you timed before, out your growth yeah, of your yeah, mustache. Before the new season would start. <laughs> you yeah. timed out the growth of but your mustache. But that thing was so, it like as Earl, it was the best mustache on television. <laughs> Next to Tom Selleck and Magnum. <laughs> I was going to say, there's a couple. Right. So yeah, you got a yeah, you mean one. Yeah. But <laughs> as Jason Lee with that stash, I straight up looked like a porno star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so in the off season, you know, like I tried to, Look, my like my. I tried to look not porno, <laughs> as 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 non porno star, as I could, but it just did not ever work. Listen, some people aren't blessed with good mustache genes. No, no, you know, it's. I've had shorter stashes uh -huh. where it's a little bit more cop stash. Mm. I've been able to play that off a little bit, but the straight up big wily Earl <laughs> porno stash. No, no, it just didn't really work. 
Is it weird being on television like that? I mean, you're in everybody's home. You know, it's yeah. different than a movie, right? Some people don't go see the movie, blah, sure. blah, blah. And it's like, you're in everybody's home at dinner time. They're watching dinner with you. Yeah. And you're walking down the street and somebody says, Earl. Like, yeah. you're not Jason Lee. It's so rad if you like the work, you know, especially if you like the work. There you and go. Earl was yeah. right. amazing. I mean, there were genuinely many many examples of people fan letters or people even through instagram to this day mm. and you kind of overlook you're kind of like you you maybe you don't really think it's real until you kind of really sit down and imagine the the, the person's perspective i've had letters where it's like oh i was a heavy alcoholic or i was kind of doing drug i would and watching earl genuinely changed Amazing. my deal oh wow i've been sober for you know 10 years Love or that, i made my own list and you're kind of like is this real do i believe that and you're kind of like i think this is real right and you kind of like you're working a job and you're enjoying it but it's also a grind you're getting up at six in the morning you're driving out to van nuys and you're working 14 hours a day wow. you're grateful mm. And you're always in a good mood and you want to make sure that the hardworking crew around you is stoked. Yeah. yeah. You always want to be happy and you always want to greet people effusively and with a big smile because we're lucky to be in that position sure. and we don't want to take that for granted, right? Sure. But you're human and there are days where you're like, I don't want to drive to the valley and work for 14 hours sure. today. Yeah. Right. But imagine. you're stoked that you did. Yeah. And then when the people are like, dude, Earl, it's rad. It's rad. Yeah. Yeah. I'm living in, in Silver Lake years ago, 2007. So this is about two years into Earl. And it's Halloween night. I open the door and there's a neighbor. Knows I live there. He's probably in his late 20s at that time. The wily hair, the stash, <laughs> <the> flannel, <laughs> a list in his pocket. And he goes, and he goes, he goes, Hap I, I say, he goes, hey, my name is Earl. Happy Halloween. <laughs> he came to my house um, dressed as Earl on Halloween, no. knowing that I lived there. Amazing. Uh, and I had the stash because I was working on the show at that point. <laughs> and I got a photo with him and I still have the photo. Oh, that's that's, 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 <laughs> it was like rad. that's rad. It was yeah, super yeah. rad. That's it was rad. super rad. rad. It was super cool. Because <laughs> I think, you know, it's funny making the comparison between acting and skateboarding. It's like when... We go to demos. We go to autograph signings. Yeah. And half the kids there don't know who you are. They're just there yeah. to get the autograph. But it's, there's always the kids who bring the, the spread you were in or oh. the video yeah, yeah, cover yeah. to oh, sign. Yeah, and like yeah. the kids who really are like, dude, this is... And those are the ones that are like, dude, this, you just, you're rad. Yeah, you know? it's the best. Like, this is yeah. sure. I, I remember really cool. Yeah, it is cool. Watching uh, My Name is Earl with my mom yeah. back like while, when it was going on. And I was like, do you know he used to be a pro skateboarder? And she like had no, I, she had no idea whatever but i thought that was the first time i could relate to an actor like oh, we wow. know the same thing yeah does that sound i don't know we came that's from the same place like <laughs> i mean skateboarding is sacred ground man yeah like, anybody that skates is just like i totally feel that yeah, yeah. absolutely mm -hmm. you feel like you're there's a kinship there yeah, even yeah. if you've never met a skateboarder yeah. yeah i mean none of that none of anything is 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 possible without having discovered skateboarding in my life. There you go. Nothing. Yeah. Meeting Mark, becoming an actor, becoming a photographer. Mm -hmm. No, I don't know. I, I dropped out of high say, school too. I think oh, we you could all say that in this room. Uh, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. It's 100%. the greatest, next to having kids, it's the greatest thing that's ever happened to me and to any other skateboarder. Yeah. Like, we yeah, should all feel so lucky to have found skateboarders. 100%. Yeah, for sure. 100%. Yeah. We wouldn't be in this room together. No, oh, no. no way. No way. No. That's how we all know each other. It's I know. Crazy. Yeah. I dropped out of high school because I, I did well in school, but once I was really locked into this, this I had this kind of tunnel vision focus. Mm -hmm. Mom, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a skater. I'm going to be a pro skater. I promise. I, I don't have enough points to grab. I, I just, I got to get out of school. I have to have more hours in the day to skate. And mom was like, oh. and then uh, the dream became a reality. What and grade I, was it? Not to cut you off. Senior. senior. Oh, almost done. Yeah. 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 Okay. And, and then I, you know, bought my mom a couple of things here and she was like, all right, that was a good idea. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> because especially back then, there was no, like, you yeah. know, the parents, you're a skateboarder. Yeah. But this you is know, a toy. This is a, yeah. this is, there's no future in this whatsoever. I mean, listen, yeah, I know. Uh, more, 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 uh, more uh, praise to Tony Hawk because mm. he kept every, he kept everything, 
you know, like, uh, he was sort of the bridge mm. between skateboarding and the moms and the dads oh, and, yeah. and sort of regular society. Yeah. There you go. Like, a cop would feel cool if he knew, like, knowing Tony Hawk, who Tony Hawk is, or what, right. and then X Games, and now the Olympics, blah, blah, sure. blah. Yeah. Sure. So, um, so I feel like, you know, like he was even really popular back then yeah. because he was like in toy commercials and yeah. people knew Tony Hawk, right? Mm. But, um, that, that I, yeah, I, I was, that was the thing for me was yeah. skateboard. I, I, I didn't have any other plans or, uh, any other desires whatsoever. And I was afraid though. Mm. And I think societally, that's what they ultimately want, not to sound like a, a conspiracy theorist, but <laughs> yeah. they do want, right? They mm -hmm. do want like the school and then the college and then the, the yeah. 401k, mm -hmm. all good. It's all, no no problem with that. It just wasn't my my thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right. But considering that I was genuinely afraid to drop out of high school made me kind of go, wow, that's society's built in a weird way. Mm. Yeah. Do I really need to? Yeah. If I if I want to learn some trade, or become an engineer, or an architect, or a doctor, or a lawyer, or some, yeah, okay. So I have to mm -hmm. study that specific yeah. uh, um, uh, subject. Right. But your classroom is out in the streets. Yeah. But if I'm like going, like, how many kids have you known that go to college and you say, "What's your major?" They say, "I don't know yet." There yeah, so what are you yeah. doing there then? They're just yeah. going because their parents because want them to go. Because that's the or, like yeah. that's yeah. sort of like the system is set up like that. Yeah. So I was genuinely afraid to leave school because that's that that's a big no no. You don't drop. Are you a dropout bum? Yeah. No, I'm a dropout skater, bitch. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, no, but um, you know, I just kept working hard and and uh, Anne Valley was how it all started. She was my girlfriend at the time. Mm. Introduced me to Rocco. Okay. And I got sponsored by Rocco and I it's all it's all due to Anne. Uh and then Anne w went on to marry Mike V and they have two wonderful Amazing. daughters oh, and wow. Amazing. Yeah, so Anne is uh just a wonderful woman and she I was at a trade show in Long Beach and uh she went I was skating outside I think and she went all the way in and found Steve Rocco and told and him to brought come him out. outside and, and I did some tricks for him and he said wow that's cool meet me in Hermosa Beach tomorrow I'd like to see you skate and Anne brought me there and uh, for the first time ever there was a little that little four set in Santa Monica where people would grind on the ledge the little ledges down yeah outside. I did yeah. a 360 flip down the little stairs okay and I was like, whoa. And Steve Rocco was like, whoa, that's, I've never seen anybody do that. That's great. <laughs> Come back to my warehouse. And he had like three warp boards on his shelf. He was just starting SMA Rocco just, Division. Okay. And he put me on the team. And it was all because of Anne. Wow. I was so wow. excited. I'm sponsored. I'm sponsored. Was she in skateboarding or did she just know who to go she to? She knew people. She knew people. Yeah, she was okay. super cool. She wow. knew all the cool bands. Huh. And De Deanna was her best friend, Deanna Templeton, Deanna, okay. right? Yeah. So... Yeah. What is so, so for a minute there, it was me and Ed. Ed was I was doing three sixty flips. He was doing all the impossibles, and the girlfriends were best friends. Wow. And then Anne uh, ended up with Mike V, um, and they're still and that's it's so rad. Together, yeah, wow. super rad. Amazing. So Anne is why I got hooked up with. Isn't Steve that Rocco. incredible? Yeah. Like, yeah. Had the gall, even as a, a boyfriend, you'd be like, "What are you doing? You gotta go get this guy." You know what I mean? Like, I know I gotta. Like, oh, I perform was super or... nervous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was super nervous. But I, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I was lucky to have the three sixty flips down enough to where right. that was like, I couldn't do much. I mean, it was eighty eight. I guess at that point, I couldn't do much on a skateboard. So that was sort of like the big. If I could do that, that would maybe like get me, get him really interested. And I was, I mean, it was literally the stairs are what? Yeah, three stairs. It's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. tiny, but yeah. it was They're still like, oh, yeah. you know, and that was, the, that was like the big carnival prize yeah. that got me into. That was rather. your sponsor me tape. Was Pretty that much. Live yeah, Rocco watching audition. it and, and me <laughs> just being just super nervous and stuff. But genuinely really like kid-like excitement inside, you know, because yeah. that's the whole idea. Hundred percent. That's where you want to get yeah, to, ideally, definitely. right? Yeah. How was your relation? How was your relationship with Rocco back then? Did you have one, or was it just kind of you were doing your thing and he was? Yeah, doing I mean, his he was thing, he was doing his thing. Yeah. And letting everybody do their thing. Got you. You know what I mean? Okay. And you know, we we were young kids focused on skateboarding. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he seemed much older. 
because when you're 18, anybody in their 20s yeah. is going to seem like a mom or a dad. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, he sure. and Rodney seemed like older dad and uncle kind of figures. Yeah. And they were doing humor stuff that was obviously sometimes went over our heads yeah. and being controversial and like they were poking at people. And like no I didn't other. really get a lot of it. <laughs> no. We were just skating. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah because yeah. the graphics at that time were so controversial. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, especially for blind and world and plan B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it so if it was over your head at that time, it's so crazy because when we go back and look at some, let's just say Javante's. <laughs> graphics oh yeah yeah they yeah they were yeah. nutty yeah. you know what i mean yeah, yeah. so it's just like back then it was definitely like all, everything is open we're doing whatever to yeah sell boards. Right. i didn't pay much attention to it to be honest i was you know uh i was just more about like the skating and then when and then rocco says you're gonna turn pro but for mark who's coming over and starting blind wow almost like a you guys see moneyball Yes, mm -hmm. I have seen that. Phenomenal, phenomenal movie, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where they come in the room like, sorry, you're, you're being traded to the... What, and they just, they trade, you know, it was yeah, kind of yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Like, hey, Jason, come into my office. Oh, you're yeah. going to turn... I'm turning you pro, but for blind, you know? <laughs> so, like, back then, like, what was a general vibe between, like, the riders? Was there talk and stuff of just the Rocco and his shenanigans and, like, what he was doing? Like, because there was, like, ad wars and, like, certain things. Were you guys, like... Hip to all that, or were you just kind of like, ah, there was just probably doing a part thing. of me that was like, ah, oh, yeah, that's funny. The 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 Powell spoof boards, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe it's not cool to be like a big corporate company. I didn't, I didn't really. Maybe sometimes I was along for the ride, thinking certain things were funny. Mm -hmm. But again, I was more just about Mark and, and skating. Skating. And yeah. Rocco right. is kind of doing his. Yeah. Thing, so you, you guys know. were kind of just in your own little Yeah, there were never like fights or no, like no, no. issues or any. The only issue was the one the the uh the Satan board. That was the you one. I mean? That was the only thing where there was like I agreed to do it and then I was like, "No, I don't feel good about it." Mm. And I returned the check. Oh, then, oh, wow. And then not us and then not us used Wait the a minute, graphic. wait a minute. Wow. They were giving you a check just to get that board or I don't know. Yeah, I didn't want to do it. And Rocco said, I'll give you $10,000. He said you, he'd give you 10 grand for you to do and that. And he gave me a check for 10 grand. And then I drove off with Mark. And I think I was like, I don't feel good about that. And Mark was like, yeah, I don't, I don't think I do either. Okay. Something like that. Okay. And I went back and said, sorry, Rocco, I just don't, I'd rather not do it. And I gave him the check back. And then Nottis got the board. Nottis got the board. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Which wow. the lore goes that he broke his ankle on that board or something. I, that's and what like, I'd heard. That's, yeah, that's what we hear. Right. We don't. We but, haven't had Nottis on the show to confirm yeah. or deny. But um, yeah, it was definitely a graphic. Like my friend had that one for sure. And I, we, had I was well. like, whoa. Even dude, Rodney like, was like, I don't think you should do that, Jason. Yeah. Even Rodney <laughs> Mullen was like, I don't. And Rodney was very cool about it. He was like, I don't think you should do it. But you guys must have been selling a lot of boards back then too. Like, were you guys getting royalties? Or yeah, just yeah. A straight that's up, basically that's there were there were no minimums. Yeah. That's you it. would just get two dollars a board. Wow. Okay. So yeah, we would we would sell like maybe two to three thousand boards a month, kind of thing. Hmm. That, that's, that's a good check every yeah. month yeah. for sure. Yeah. I mean, now it's yeah. not really boards as much, right? Now it's yeah. shoes and all it that is, stuff. It is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but yeah. The no, I did a the the, the burger board. Yeah, the Whopper the burger. The burger, burger yeah, that sold like I think we sold like four thousand of those. One wow. One but it, the guys in the eighties, they were selling twenty thousand. Yeah, boards. right. The like, only thing I'd heard of that was close to the eighties was Bam. Yep. When we were at Giant and Bam was there with Element uh -huh. because of the MTV thing, I think yeah. they were selling like ten to fifteen thousand of those things at a least, month wow. at least. to kids all around the world that were putting things up their buttholes. <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I go, Bam's cool. Here's a carrot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, shove this carrot up my friend's butthole. Skating, we're gonna film it. Yeah, no, but skating with skating with Bam, we, we were on audio together. We go on tours, and literally half the kids just wanted Bam to slap him in the face or kick him in the wow, nuts. That's, yeah, wow. Yeah, that was a huge deal, right? Yeah, that was yeah. The, the whole jackass thing. Yeah, and oh, yeah. Bam did his own. He had his own show. Totally. Yeah, Viva La Viva Bam. Right. Bam. Yeah. yeah. Roger filmed all that. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh, he was uh, one of the camera operators on that show. Uh, and 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 were you any? Were you a carrot operator? At any point, Roger? <laughs> Not to my knowledge. <laughs> he said not to his knowledge. He wasn't, yeah. Roger's uh, like, no comment. <laughs> but when you were like, you know, when you decided to retire uh -huh. from skateboarding and you went into the film thing, I feel like you were hyper-focused on 
that like yep. you're so because now you're into photography mm -hmm. right it, you always have been but yeah you yeah this year is 20 years of photography 20 years yeah wow. it's a, i mean 20 awesome. years you and again another offshoot of skating there, there you go the, something creative clicks mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. for for most skateboarders yeah. yeah to some degree or another right and it's really interesting to me that you you you, you don't hear of many and, and uh, this is no disrespect to accountants. I have one. I think you all do. <laughs> sure. But you don't hear many like accountants or sort of, um, say, you know, drop that and 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 become a, a painter or a, a musician. Um, when gotcha. you do hear it, that's super. Like everybody should, as cliche as it is, follow whatever instincts you feel, yeah. mm -hmm. whatever passion you have for whatever. You genuinely have to to, to follow that. If you fail, cool. You, you, at least you you, you tried, tried and you it. weren't so scared that you didn't try at all right sure mm, sure but it's no coincidence to me that many skateboarders have shows like this mm. or they put out a record or they've gone to become filmmakers right you know, Greg hunt spike yep. jacob rosenberg these guys musicians right it kind of goes with the territory mm -hmm. designers actors fashion designer whatever mm -hmm. Artistry. It makes sense. Yeah, it makes I sense. Agree. It makes I sense. Agree. Yeah. So that's kind of where I was. I was kind of just in that headspace. Right. Oh, acting's fun. Okay, I'll try that. And then I got really into film, and I started buying cameras, mm -hmm. and started getting more and more into photography, and started publishing books. And yeah. So it just all plays off of the skateboarding thing. I love yeah. it. Yeah, I love it. It's so Does fun. It, uh, don't you work with Raymond Molinar on Raise the Good Homie? Yeah, <laughs> man, that guy can still skate. Do you ever watch He's his clips? Gnarly, He's oh great. yeah, hell yeah, big yeah, fan. What? Like he'll just like switch. He'll get out of the car and we're just skating some curve, and us old dudes are slapping, yeah. and he'll do like a switch dealio. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he you're was, like, cool and dealio, I'm like, man. Yeah. That's a great dealio. <laughs> But yeah, he's 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 gifted that that great photographer too. So yeah, we 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 do a lot together with Film Photographic and the books we put out. He helps. He, we work on those together. Mm -hmm. so he's great. a longtime shooter as well and a great skater. Really, really talented skater. Big How, fan. Yeah. yeah. How did you get connected with him on that? He was with Stereo for a minute. Oh, that's right. Before that's they right. started wow. Weekend. That's right. Yep. Okay. And then right. he was shooting photos already. I was like, rad. And we connected on that. Sick. So yeah. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's he's a really good skater. So when you get hyper focused on something like you were that acting, mm -hmm. photography, mm -hmm. does then like acting take a back seat or do you try to do both? Or, you know, because sometimes like how do you juggle? Now I'm juggle? I'm fifty two in April. Oh right. Hey. So now the all the lanes are merging. Got which it. is super rad. Love it. Okay. So I moved to Texas with my family for four years and I just checked out of all the acting stuff. Got you. Uh, my wife started her business. Uh, I did some exhibitions. I published a couple photo books. I did a little bit of voiceover work remotely from Dallas. Amazing. Because they can patch you in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, we had a couple more kids. It was super rad. We're back in LA. It's two or three years now. Got a new manager, got a new agent. Uh-huh. Developing some TV shows, starting okay. to play that game again, Got which you. is fun. And yeah. Uh, developing, creating material and, and um, working with some writers and s kind of getting into developing some projects. Amazing. While still shooting and while skating and working with Chris on stereo. <laughs> right. So, you know, sometimes again, like I'm not, I'm just going to Texas for four years and we're just going to bounce and kind of just do that for a minute. Mm -hmm. And now everything's kind of blending uh, blending in, in a really cool way. Nice. Did you go to Texas as a retreat or like, hey, I just need, this is like my final place. And then you got back into like, hey, maybe there is something. Well, like we didn't really know, but it was four years and it yeah. was like time to come back. Right. Yeah. But we had some property and we have a lot of great friends out there. Amazing. And uh, yeah, it was nice to just kind of check out. Retreat. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Ride Sometimes the motorcycles do, yeah. and down the pasture. And, mm -hmm. Did you have any animals? Uh, we had chickens. Chickens? That's it. Okay. And I had a tractor. I cut my own grass. And, yeah. And we rode, rode our motorcycles around the pasture okay. and and just really worked on the photos. Kind of what a great life, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like just Too non... many snakes, too many spiders, too much humidity, too Ooh. much heat. It was time to get back <laughs> after four years. Yeah. Okay. Dude, snakes? Oh, yeah, man. Snakes, spiders. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that, yeah. The but, Texas humidity, 
Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> it's, it's tough, it's right? No it's, joke, dude. it's bad, man. It's bad. It's oh, really bad. And that's in yeah. Dallas, or right? Yeah, North Tech, like outside of uh, Denton. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. Outside of Denton. So yeah. now everything's that was fun. merging together. Yeah, that's what I kind of feel. That's like. amazing. I love so that. So maybe they're, you know, the time away from things mm-hmm. is good. Is necessary. It's, I think it's healthy. Yeah. I think it's healthy. And then when it feels right, things kind of just find their way back, or you, they start to blend, and and you go, okay, I'm at a place now to where I can kind of juggle things, and right, and it feels rad to like skate do a bunch of emails with Chris and the, the stereo artists. Mm. And then I'm working with Ray on some photo book stuff. And then I'm working with my wife. We're developing some TV series. Amazing. A couple shows that we're, we've got sort of in development. So, you know, working on that. And then being a dad and doing school drop-offs yeah. and laundry and stuff that's like amazing. that. <laughs> doing laundry. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. That's, we're, we're, yeah, that's kind of where we're at now. Yeah. Wait, so you're writing a show with your wife right we now? We are working on two shows. And then with another writer and director, a director that I worked on Earl with a bunch, we are developing a, a, a different show. Wow. Mm, so it's a long process. So you want to have sure. as many, as, as many, um, what's the saying? Pa- pa- pots on the stove? Yep. Okay. okay. Because, you know, it, it, that industry moves ridiculously slow. Oh. Right? From conception to a show getting on yeah. the air. It's what is that? How does we, it, it, could be th- it could be well, three years. What is we, that? we heard it with Squid Games, right? Oh, yeah. It was like the Squid Games. I mean, that was like oh, it'd been around for a minute. Years. This guy was trying to get his his thing made. Oh, it's you know? it's not years. uncommon yeah. over ten for years, something probably. to even take ten years. Yeah. But I also do think that going back to you know Texas and doing all that, and, and now everything's kind of lining back up. It's like timing. Yeah, timing is everything. Appreciate timing. That's it. It's everything. Important. Yeah, appreciate you know? timing. Something's sure. not happening now. It's just not the right time. Yeah, you know? that's right. And like, let's. And when it happens, that's the right time. Yeah, age is a double-edged sword, man. Okay. It really is. <laughs> yeah, right. Because on one end, you're closer to death, which sucks. <laughs> um, but on the other end, you're you're you know you're just. <laughs> <laughs> Guys are laughing. Somebody like that back there. But on on the other hand, like you you do you do become. Uh, you, you you do become something that maybe you you just weren't before. You sure, know? sure. I remember you know Cameron Crow used to write for Rolling Stone as early as seventeen years old, and that's what Almost Famous is about his life story, right? And I'm a massive Bowie fan. You know, I did that Bowie board back in the mm-hmm. day that Mark McKee did. Sure. And I was like, when I met Cameron and I got a part in Almost Famous, which was like super life changing. Uh. My uh, one of my first questions was like, "What's Bowie like? <laughs> uh, like, did he? Does he? You know, I know you interviewed him. What did he say when you asked him about like Ziggy Stardust and all that? It wasn't about the movie. You just got Cam- cast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was about Cameron goes, oh, Bowie told me he didn't remember any of that stuff. Wow. Like, it's like it's like looking at a different person, right? Yeah. Like, so you're interviewing Bowie decades after he was twenty something." in makeup and on stage playing a character called Ziggy Stardust. And so if you want to talk to me about skateboarding when I'm 18 years old, I'm going to remember certain things, but it's almost like I'm talking about somebody else. Yeah, yeah. true. Yeah. 18, right. I was 18, uh, 30, 38 years 30 ago. Some, like, do you understand years. what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah. 34, yeah. 100%. So it's it's a it's a trippy deal. Yeah, it's a really trippy deal. You're almost deal. looking For back sure. on somebody else, somebody yeah. else's life. Yeah, like yeah. I don't re- I don't know who that person is. Yeah, there's a lot of memories. That How are old lost. are you now? You're, you're 45. Dang, you look good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you at 18. Right. It's a it's a it's almost a different person there, isn't 1, it? You, you know what I mean? You know, mm-hmm. Just barely mm-hmm. graduating high school. Yeah. So. so you're try you try to learn from it and you know all yeah. that, but yeah, that's uh, it's so weird We're trying to walk down memory lane. Well, that's when you need a cane. I mean, we <laughs> like me. we we get it all the time though because you know we do this show, we interview people, and sometimes the skater they they're like, I don't even remember what ha- happened that day, and yeah. we don't remember stuff too, and then we get the comments like. How do you guys not remember this and blah blah blah? I'm like, motherfucker, oh, there was like a long th- All like. You am need I supposed to, do to remember is comment everything? Back to age, yeah, yeah. yeah. age, age, <laughs> age. Period. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to defend yourselves. You don't oh, have yeah. to. Just age. Yeah. Period. Sorry, we got anybody's gonna go. 
Good point. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we got hit with the OLD. We got hit with we're old. We are. Uh, old I'm, I'm, but it's yeah, tough to listen. It, it's tough it's, to look back and and, is, and remember is, every little detail because it, it is man, really it was a tough. long time it ago. And really something really important to somebody else is not important to you, and you've blocked that and out do of your we memory. Block stuff out too? You know what I do mean? We, do we block stuff out? There's other memories coming in. Like it's yeah. I mean, well, I'm yeah. sure just sitting here talking today. You're remembering these cues from what, yeah. hey, yeah. oh, this happened. Oh, yeah. the 360 flip. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. then this. Like, right. I'm sure. But I've already forgotten what show this is. <laughs> yeah. This is... <laughs> is, it, is that weird? My name no, is David sense, yeah. Letterman. <laughs> this is, uh... Oh, that's Paul Schaefer. Yeah, that's Paul Schaefer. <laughs> Hey Paul. Hey. hey, do you still um are you still in contact with uh, Ethan from um my name yeah, is Yeah, we talk every once in a while. He Have was, you seen his his he, transformation? No. Oh, he's ripped. Oh, amazing. Oh, wow. he's got a podcast called um American Glutton. Okay. And he's super 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 knowledgeable about health. Incredible. Mm. And he, you know, he he had been much bigger before Earl and thank God he, you know, he dropped a bunch of weight and got for really, him, really healthy. Um, yeah. But he still had some weight on for Earl, which worked for the character of sure. Randy. But now he's just absolutely cut. I love that. And he's very, very, very intelligent about diet and, and all of that. That's awesome. Yeah, I love he's, that. He's, he's, he's one of the sweetest people. I got to look up That's that awesome. podcast. Yeah. Because yeah. I was always a fan watching Earl. I always liked that guy. And then Earl kind of disbanded. And then I was like, hmm. Yeah. I, it was hard to follow, you know, because of skating and, you know, sure, it's just hard sure. to follow yeah. people back he's, then, he's especially really sweet too. Dude. Really sweet dude. Um, who got really, really healthy. That's I love amazing. that. I love that. It sucks that Earl didn't get to close. It's done. I know, but it's, it's just you, yeah. the, the cliffhanger and the, clo like, it just. Greg Garcia, the creator, he man. went everywhere and nobody wanted it. That's so hmm. crazy to me. Like yeah, a movie or, or something. Or just yeah. like, a, like a, a special two part. Ah, yeah, episode yeah. that closes out the yeah. show. Just close it out, yeah. yeah. No, nobody. If they wanted it. to go do it today, like Netflix, hey, we want five up or whatever. Would you? For sure, but yeah. everybody passed. That's insane to me. Wait, so do you had the whole next season ready to go already, or is it like Greg probably had some of it mapped out? Sure, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. At least some of it. Wow, wow. Hey, that's a shame. Damn, that's yeah. crazy. It just, How many people passed on the show? Everybody, all the streamers, dude. Huh. Everybody, no, crazy. Wow. Yeah. It was a great show. Though. Yeah. It was they, fun. Great, it was fun. great stuff. I got to right work there. with Burt Reynolds, dude. That was the. Oh, oh wow. another, another great mustache. Dude. Yeah. And, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Dude. Another yes. great mustache. And Norm MacDonald, man. Oh, oh yeah. rest in peace, dude. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. was a genius, man. I got oh, to work with him. Very, yeah. And, and uh, the was cast, he? man. Jamie was hilarious as Joy. Oh, yeah. Yep. And Eddie Steak Crab Man, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crab Man. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Earl. Hey, Crab Man. You know, all yeah, that Crab stuff Man. was just, he was yeah. amazing, Eddie Steeples. I feel like Norm MacDonald is a guy who plays himself on TV. Like, he's exactly like right. that. Norm MacDonald, I don't know if you guys know Andy Kaufman. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, I mean. That Gons level mm, yes. kind of yep. eccentric brain. Mm -hmm. Norm MacDonald was kind of on that level. Okay. Have you guys seen the, um, the uh, what's the... Uh, the moth joke. The moth joke. Mm -mm. It's on YouTube. Okay. It's when he was on Conan, he tells like a six minute joke <laughs> and the way he delivers it and the punchline at the very end, you watch that and you go, of course the guy was a genius. Yeah. <laughs> watch the moth joke on Conan. I was, okay, I, I will. I will Cause I was always a big fan of him. I was a fan of his delivery and yeah. because yep. the comedic timing, it, yep. It is oh, very yeah. difficult. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, yeah, he had a little bit of that Bob Dylan talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, and he kind of go off on yeah. the, the, the yeah, yeah, coffee yeah. mug. I like this coffee yeah. mug. Do you ever see the movie Dirty Work? I didn't see that. I should. Norm Macdonald, right? Yes, that's yeah. one of my favorite movies of all time. Just it's he would say funny. the most simplest things, and it would just, and it just get like, you. Yeah, he yeah. was great. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. I, he just, he was great. Yeah. Hey, dude, how am I doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> On the set of Earl, he'd just be sitting in his chair. Hey, uh, how, how am I doing? Pretty, yeah, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love that. Uh, you're hilarious, Norm. Everybody's yeah. stoked you're here, man. Yeah. Everybody's dude. stoked you're here. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You know. Well, I was actually, in, like, I trip, I was watching a lot of bloopers on, like, Seinfeld and all oh, these things. bloopers oh. are the best. It's so fun to watch, but when you were doing, like, working all these things, did improv happen so much like that where it was, like, 
Yeah, you were yeah. thrown off. You're like, you're, you're you're sticking to the script, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For the most part, but you're certainly riffing and playing, and everybody's laughing, and right. yeah. you know, you're you're so used to it, and you you know, it's a well oiled machine, and you get great guest actors that come on, <laughs> and they're funny, and you're laughing, and it's just a blast. Yeah, it's yeah. a blast. Nobody's nobody on Earl was was not cool. I love yeah. that. Everybody <laughs> was just joyful and laughing. And having fun, John Favreau was oh. one of our favorite guest actors. Man, wow. there's a scene where we're peeing in the in, in the urinals, and I could. It's on the the bloopers, and I couldn't. Con, I could not contain my laughter. <laughs> yeah. And that guy, you know, you've seen Swingers. Have you guys seen yeah, Swingers? Yeah, of course, yeah, of course. You've seen Swingers. Yeah, so good. The scene where he calls the, the girl and he keeps leaving him. At, oh god. It's amazing that he went on to direct Iron Man and like Star Wars, like yeah, dude. Yeah. But he went on to become a massive director. Man, incredible. Yeah, yeah he's Boba Fett. All this shit that's coming yeah, out. Yeah, Favreau yeah. is wow. great, man. Good. I love hearing about that. I love hearing about like some of my favorite people just being cool as hell. Oh man, in that's real the life, people you, you know? want to be around. Yeah, hundred totally. percent. You know that energy for sure. Love man. that. Mm-hmm. Love that. So how's everything going now? With because you listen, stereo thirty years. Yeah. I mean. Congratulations on that, but yeah. Yeah. also working with your best friend who you've met, little kid, 35 years ago, glasses, yeah. Yeah. the whole thing. I mean, what a ride, yeah. you know, Especially. and being able yeah. to sponsor people yep. and turn people pro and do this thing and go from one distribution to another when maybe it seems like it's not going to work. I know, and yeah. What a, it's, what a journey. I Thank you. I yeah. would rather have stereo uh, in any condition than mm. not have it. I love that. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. right now it's humbled. It's, it's like, it's, it's, it's. Yeah. I mean, when stereo was at Deluxe, it mm-hmm. was big. Right. And it did really, really well financially. And then, you know, the, the every balloon loses some air over the years. Sure. You know what I mean? And so uh, we had a great upswing with Giant, but then uh, that thing went, you know, yeah. kaboom. Yeah. And, but, you know, um, we still make pretty boards. Love it. You know, and yeah. um, I still get to hang out with Chris. Mm-hmm. And if nothing else, I get to give my kids stereo boards to skate. Yeah. There you go. You know what I mean? So I'm really grateful. That's a To sad. Jim and that. Tommy and, and the late Jeff Clint. Mm-hmm. You know? Sure. Very grateful. No, it's that. amazing. I, congrats on that too. Because yeah. like I've always been a fan and following the, the story and everything and having Chris on the show. It's just... Yeah. Uh, it's it's amazing. I love that. Stuff, I remember seeing you know? uh, when I would see other people wear stereo shirts. That's cool. Yeah, that was always, like I, they were seeing photos of Mike Carroll oh, wearing stereo yeah. shirts. You I know, remember like, wearing one for a contest because look at, in the early '90s, like when people were. Wearing, I just wore what was cool, like what yeah, I uh, thought visually was. I wasn't uh-huh. like, oh, that's a board. I can't wear that. It's a board company. I fried for this board company. I would be like. I like that shirt. I'm going to wear it. Mm-hmm. So I definitely remember having oh, a stereo rad, shirt <laughs> in a contest. Uh, God, it was in San Jose. And okay. I remember there's a still of me and I had a stereo shirt. And I skated for uh, either, I think it was either blind at the time. Mm. But I, that's, I was wearing a stereo shirt. So I'll I go, I'll Venmo you some residual. There you go. <laughs> there you go. You and, you and Mike Carroll. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you guys were never uh, blind at the same time, were you? No, I nope. think they... Uh, yeah, they left before okay. everything started reconfiguring. Uh, yep. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Did you what, did you guys meet way back in the day at all? I don't think we met way back in the day. I think we met probably fuck, I, maybe randomly through the barracks or some shit. I don't know. Oh, I can't okay. recall, but I know I've met him before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One of the biggest video games in skateboard, like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, right? Is one the of the biggest. biggest video well, it's one of the biggest. Or is skate bigger? Well. That's the that's the thing is skate three. I mean the skate series was it's it's definitely the EA skate game, right? Yeah. It's yeah. up there, yeah. you know. And you doing the voiceovers, yeah, Coach in that, Frank, Coach Frank, yeah. and Coach stuff Frank, like that. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, that must have been fun to do. Yeah, because you were doing Coach the voice. Frank is legendary. Of, yeah, 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 yeah. I love Coach Frank. <laughs> yeah, I I hang out with him sometimes. Oh, you do? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he, what do you he, guys do? Uh, eat hamburgers. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, and he and he he loves it. He always has a flask on him. Okay. He's always uh, drinking the whiskey. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Kids are like, Dad's talking to Coach mm. Frank again. <laughs> it's in his, it's in room. That was you know me and Chris just being goofy as we have been over the years, keeping things fun. He mm-hmm. has a great character called Neville Sanzibar, mm-hmm. where he's like a '70s like 
angry black skater. He has like the, he wears a wig, a big curly wig with a 70s headband and the little wooden 70s board with the tall tube socks sure, and sure. the short corduroy shorts. And he's just salty and pissed off. <laughs> like he's an angry black 70s skater. And then, um, and then Coach Frank is like some white trash drunk, like ex, like 70s skateboard coach. Yeah, yeah. You know? Hey, hey, asshole, get off. Hey, hey, get over here, punk. Get your shit together. You know, he's, like, he, he's, he, he's, like, he's like the coach you wanted in high school because he was just super real and probably would smoke joints with you and like give you nips of his, you know, off his flask. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we started doing little skits and stuff back in the day as, as Coach Frank and, mm. and, and Neville, yes, Neville nice. Sanzibar. And then I think EA was like, hey, Coach Frank should be the guide in the, in the video game. Well, it game. makes perfect sense. It's like yeah. such a great character for a video yeah. game. With the you know? short shorts yeah, and the yeah, whistle, yeah. Right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Just for yelling sure. at people but that for, is an for falling. You know? But that is an iconic game for skateboarders in video games. Skate 3 is? Yeah. Wow. Right. Oh, yeah, for I, sure. Now I, they're they're talking about doing Skate 4, and everybody's going crazy that, oh, my God, they might do a Skate 4. Because Tony Hawk's pro skater okay. was more of like a, you know, you're, you're trying to do the most grinds and doing this, and oh, skate, skate came along. Skate a little bit more real. Skate came oh, along more yeah. real. Okay. Had a, a, more of a story-based yeah. stuff. So you, are you saying... Are you saying, because I, I think I'm trying to get some money out of this. Coach Frank. <laughs> are you, <laughs> are you saying that Skate 3 is as popular as it is? Would Skate 3 be as popular without Coach Frank? Wow, that's a good question. I Maybe. You're, Listen, well, how's, how, how's, it's how's the Coach Frank trying to, I, all, what I'm trying to figure out is to What I'm trying to figure out is how do I have my people yeah. call EA and say, hey, remember Skate 3 with Jason Lee as Coach Frank? We need more money. Yeah. Because it turns out it's more popular it's than more he popular. thought it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. See, I don't know. And if I get more cash, you, you all get a cut for, right, oh, for, for bringing this to my attention. Here's what I'm there saying, though, Jason. I'm saying we get Skate 4, we bring Coach Frank back, and then in the story of the game, okay. you get sponsored, your career, you come on the Nine Club, mm, okay. and you tell your story. That's right. Yeah, yeah, as, yeah. Okay. You, you get a nine club game. episode, a part of your journey. Yeah. In Wait, the game. you're saying bring Coach Frank back for Skate Four? Yes. Okay. Yes. And okay. the Nine Club introduce the Nine Club as yeah the, the mo you know you 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 you've you've done it you've gone your skate in career in the video game the, is yeah. the Nine Club show yes. Yeah. Yeah. So in the video game, Coach Frank is shit faced on your show. Here, no, no, he's a coach. The yeah, no, but the coach skater, Frank. but yeah, yeah, he's a coach. But then the skater coming up, they turn pro, they do all the things, and the major accolade is coming on the nine club. Mm, that's what you coach mean. Frank tells oh, the kid to come on the nine club. But Coach Frank also has to be on the nine club in the video game. He's part of skateboarding. Shit sure. faced. I want, Shit-faced. I want with his headband and his whistle. And you don't think I'd love nothing more than Coach Frank yelling, yelling at there. me? Yeah. Does he drink Pabst? Oh yeah. Okay. Good. He's the spokesman for Pabst. I just and, want a little. And the cheapest whiskey you can get uh, at Seven <laughs> Eleven. And his flask came from his, you know, his dad had it in, in World War Two, yeah. or war, the Korean War. He still uses it. I love you, Dad. <laughs> Never gonna forget you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Hey, that was yeah. the weakest kickflip I've ever seen, bitch. <laughs> Try that again. Yeah. Coach Frank. I, feel, go. <laughs> yeah. I always got to talk about yourself in the third person. He literally yeah, yeah, just yeah. sits there on a like a like a 70s beach uh, beach chair, chair you yeah. know, yeah, yeah, yeah. with his flask just yelling at kids <laughs> at the skate park. God, I love it. <laughs> hey, come on, do that again, boy. Right. Shit. She's Shit. Evolved. Coach, you know? Frank. <laughs> Coach Frank. Coach <laughs> Frank. I was going to throw that. Coach when he burps, he said, oh, Coach Frank. Coach yeah. Frank. <laughs> Coach Frank. Oh, he's yeah. a legend. Oh, so right. man yeah. what a great i love it man dude this is this fucking is amazing great, bro. bro you telling what? all these stories yeah, yeah. And stuff? i tell like, more unless you want to be done I'm no done. let's hear more now. what do what? we got what do we got I don't know. I, we're, I Mike V was the longest interview. I wanted this to be the shortest. Oh well, no, we've, we've passed we already that you already point. passed we've that. Passed Unless that we edit down. What's the shortest? <laughs> well, early on, like an hour thirty, probably no, mine. No. Forty. Early on, we did thirty minute, twenty minute vi- because we didn't. This was five years ago, so we, okay, we didn't know that people really wanted to listen to two hours, three hours, do, five hours. They, of they people. do, huh? They do. 
Yeah, well, we we started getting comments right away. Make them longer. Make, make them longer. Make them longer. Wow. And we were like, okay. okay, wow, this is. But Mike's the record, though, right? Mike five, v. five, five For and sure. a half, five hours, something like that. And we were getting comments on that. God, I wish this was longer. What? Yeah. I don't know what else more I can say, Bro. gentlemen. Mike V, no, uh, he <laughs> he started. It took him, you know, two hours just to get up to his first board. You know. Oh so yeah. He was. He's a storyteller, if you don't. He's, Mike V, he's, he's good at it. He can paint sure. a picture. Mike V was, when he, we, we are the same age. I'm older than Mike. Mm. I, if, I could be mistaken. We might want to fact check that. Okay. <laughs> he's either July, does somebody want to Google that really quickly? He's July, yeah. July. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's, he's July, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. April, okay. 1970. We're the same age, but he was already pro yeah. before me and Ed Templeton, you know what I mean? Um. And when Mike hit, dude, when Mike hit with the venture trucks and like the the, the Powell, the like he, we yeah. were like, wow. He had those uh, red and gold Adidas mm. high tops. Oh, wow. mm-hmm. I got those right away. <laughs> yeah. The only, the only, uh, the only case of us looking up to this incredible pro skater th- that was the same age. Oh, yeah, it was yeah. kind of strange. Like, right. Gons, Nottis were older. All the other skaters were older. Rodney Mullen, Tony Hawk, all of you. Yeah. Um, Mike was my age, but he seemed like way more like uh, advanced and right. like mature on a board and he had no fear. And he, Which made we him seem just, older. Yeah, right? we were yeah. just like, and we got to see, he skated the velodrome contest in Carson with Gons was there, Rodney was there, Nottis was there. He was there as a pro. Wow. skating a pro contest and, and we were there watching him it was magic did he seem bigger than life at that time was he mike v yeah yeah it that was the trio wouldn't, wouldn't you say like uh it goddess uh, goddess <laughs> gons <laughs> Nottis, and mike v those yeah. were the three would you yeah. say in terms of like too. for sure so you had like the vert guys that were written and you had rodney mm-hmm. innovating but in the freestyle sort of genre and then you had like the street guys it was, I would say, um, I don't want to leave anybody out, but obviously Gons and Nottis mm-hmm. were the big main dudes. Mm-hmm. Right. Mike seemed to kind of get in there mm. with those guys. And Julian were the same. I'm the same age as Julian as well. He was in there too with those guys. Amazing. I think Julian was the first to do a frontside board side down a handrail. And Tobin shot it. He was one of the dudes to shoot it. Amazing. And Julian, similar, similarly to Mike, was wearing the the converse Mm -hmm. those kind of puffy black and white high with the star on the side and he had that really stylish front the the rail was only about that long Mm -hmm. but he's doing that steezy i just said steezy yeah but he didn't know it's yeah yeah. he has the arm up and he's doing that front side board slide down he was same age too and in there with those guys yes yes i think we have that photo here somewhere i think we do i don't know where it is but how how hands down the best looking style is a front board you're right yeah. front board you a take a good photo of front that board where your upper body is twisted yes. and your arm is up bro yep. and you're looking back over your shoulder like, we saw mark do a front side board side for the first time in thrasher magazine it was a black and white photo it was a double-sided curb and there's a flash the photographer's flash is there and marks up on on, on it like this and it, this caption read flash and roll Flash and roll. So we called front side board slides flash and rolls. Wow. <laughs> right? Isn't but Mark had, Mark had that thing. That, he yes. had that thing. You know what I mean? That's a thing. Eric Costin had that too. Eric where Costin had the front board. Yeah. I would try to replicate his, like looking over his shoulder. Yeah. and Because you see a front board you, and somebody's back is full. You know, you want to be like, yeah. but it makes for a, such a great photo. Oh, like, a, front, a front board is good. Yeah. A good 360 flip with the pow is good. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Um, Gotta have the pow. Yeah, a good backside flip. Yeah. Yeah. Kickflip, backside flip, tray flip. Those, to me, those were yeah. like... The... And and you you know where else you get that is mm-hmm. backside tail slide. Ooh, yeah. You also right. get the mm-hmm. arm up. The arm yeah, up. Yeah, Right. We, we need to pack Definitely. that. That's we need to coin that. Coin that. What is that? I don't know. What is that? The hand. That's the... the, that's the oh, shit, it's sunny. Like, <laughs> yeah. sunny eyes. Maybe like it's a, a salute. Yeah. yeah. You know? Huh. Front side nose slides have that too. Front side nose, yeah. Front side nose slides. Those and are hard. Rudy did those when Rudy we just skated, and I was yeah. like, I can't even come on a, you know. Oh, Rudy yeah, would yeah. just lock those mm. in, and I was like, wow. And the front yeah. foot or the back foot is like pushing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Were you guys skating a lot back then to, yeah. together yep. all the time yep. sessions? Those guys were incredible. Really? Mark knew. Mark, Mark was like, I'm gonna get these guys on blind. 
Yeah. And I was like, rad. Because they and left I Powell. so much yeah. from it. I remember learning, I did my first nose blunt slide um, with Guy was there. Mm. And I was like, maybe maybe I was like 21 or something. And I only ever did that one. And I go, Guy, I'm 21. I just did my first nose blunt slide. <laughs> And he was probably thinking, yeah, I do about 10 a day. <laughs> <laughs> he was that good. At that time. Fun. Yeah, and Rudy. Rudy had an innate thing, too. Great style, mm -hmm. too. That board slide and pop it up to 5-0 yeah. at the, what is that, the Pioneer Chicken Curb in the, Echo yeah, Park? The yellow right one? Right across the street from uh, Hosoi's house. Yeah, like, oh, where we used oh, to wow. skate Was yeah. that the yellow curb? The yellow, the yellow, the the yellow, yellow curb, yeah. Because he popped that up and kept grinding. He popped it up and he with, kept going. With some, wow. Yeah, some, he needed a Caballero okay. back He did. Too. I was going to say that was yeah. like way ahead of its time yeah. back then, right? Cat yeah. back tail. Yeah. yeah. The thing about the blind video too is like, and listen, I, I thought it was a great video. Um, you know, at the time also they had Jordan Richter on the team. Yeah. And, you know, they talk about the 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 verb button, which is a fast forward yeah. <laughs> on that thing. Did you skate with Jordan Richter a lot too? Cause yeah. he seemed, he street skated and he, he would did. kick flip over, you know, islands. See, and I would have loved to see some street skating I heard shit. He had yeah. street stuff. Yeah. yeah. He just didn't, stuff. it didn't, he was used. super so rad. Crazy. Yeah. He was super rad. And to Mark's credit, Mark was like, I don't care. I love Jordan. Yeah, He's in yeah. the video. That's right. Right. Yeah. right. You know? Yeah. Sure. And Jordan was super rad. He was doing that Colin McKay stuff back then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was trying to get all techie with it. With yeah. Kick flipping on the vert ramps and stuff. I would have loved to see some street yeah, footage, he, yeah, footage he had mixed the in. Yeah, flips, man. Mm -hmm. Because there was like vert yeah, footage was, mixed in with like Mark Gonzalez's yeah. part and your part. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's a good point. I don't know why. We, maybe they didn't have any. But he would 180 off curb cuts over mm. fire hydrants and stuff. 180 yeah. frontside 180 all yeah. When the blind video came, did you see the video before it came out or did they just put it out and that was it? I think I just kind of edited my part. That's it. Yeah. Oh, okay. you sat there with them and editing it? I think I did. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think I did. Yeah. I think I did. Yeah. And the song Milk, which yeah, was... Yeah, that was Andy Jenkins' band. Andy Jenkins' band. And so rad. Tremaine. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Lumen. Which that, that song went so I well. Know, perfect. Maybe bro. Andy Jenkins recommend. I don't remember that. It fits your part. And then uh, like no other. Yeah, I don't know, remember exactly how we got that song, but it, I think it worked. It out. worked yeah, really it well. It worked really good. Yeah. And man, Christian, he is one of my favorites. Christian, so so we'd get to Christian's house because I lived in downtown L.A. Uh -huh. and I was starting to skate vert because Christian had that ramp, and I had in my bag with my pads and my helmet and my vert setup because he had bigger <laughs> wheels for the vert board and yeah. wider trucks and all that stuff. And I'd go there every day, and Christian would come out in his robe, <laughs> you know, with his slippers. Hey, Holmes. Hey, Holmes. <laughs> and he'd come up the ramp and he'd sit on the, he'd sit on the deck and just hang out with his robe and his slippers. Just the chillest, raddest dude ever. Say good morning to everybody. And you would just show up and skate. And he was just so pleasant. I love And that. just let anybody come and skate. He's always been like that, bro. Always been like that. Yeah. Never right. changed yep. at yep. all. Yep. Still a showman, even wearing yeah. his robe. Yeah. Like <laughs> and just one of the most incredible styles. And what like standing on the deck of his ramp and having to re like really, really tilt your head far, <laughs> far back to look at the stickers on his board as he was just way above your 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 universe that's amazing and you're like oh that's like tony hawk is next level like wow and that will never go away mm -hmm. uh christian couldn't do varial 540s or kickflip indie grabs and and it didn't matter no yeah. it didn't matter yeah. you know what i mean it just didn't matter watching that guy skate was like a real treat I mean, we're talking like massive airs and all just like Steve, you know how I was saying about Stevie w Williams, yep. mm -hmm. where it's just that effortless flow and you don't really know what he's going to do now. Christian would just be smiling, <laughs> doing like eight foot, like front side nose bones and just come in and then pop out and go, <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> that, he, right he had yeah, that yeah, like yes. probably because he was just stoned constantly right sure so he was always just like cheerful and but watching that wow. guy skate and just hearing the pucka the wheels mm, pop yeah, off the metal coping yeah. 
Hear the wheels spinning. Psst. And the, those the yeah. bear. Oh, the best. Yeah. yeah. And then Mark on vert. Those big stale fishes that he would Man. tweak. And then the front side hand plant that he just stalls there in the blind video. Yep. Bro. Man, that that's I would have kept it up, but Christian moved. Oh, he did. Oh. Oh. I was skating that vert ramp every day and I was like, I'm a little bit I'm gonna s i am going to was gonna I had it all planned out. This is nineteen ninety one. I had it all mapped out. <laughs> Cause I was do I was starting to do some stuff like once Christian and Mark helped me find my footing. Okay, I was like, all right, I'm gonna start street skating on the vert ramp. I'm I I felt like it was near that point. Okay, because I could do the airs, I could do like nose grinds, and I could do like five o to tail, and I could do backside ollies and stuff. I was starting to get there, and then Christian moved. <laughs> The ramp went down, but I had it all mapped out. I was going to start doing kickflip tail slides, Ooh. like kickflip back disaster. I, I had it all, the stuff we were doing on mini ramps, because nice. I was doing kickflip tails on mini ramps and stuff. Right, right. I wanted to start doing it on vert. I And I think about it sometimes, like, man, if Christian had his ramp still, or if I had found another ramp and stuck with it, like... maybe I could have been doing some of that Colin McKay, Danny oh, Way stuff on vert, you know? Man. Yeah. yeah, I think Lance Mountain had his his ramp at that time, I believe around like ninety one, yeah, ninety two. It was scary though. I yeah. skated it. It was oh, scary. Right. Yeah. What and was he, scary he didn't about maintain it? it? I don't believe he the 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 transition part was metal, mm. and they had to pour apple juice on it to get it sticky. Sticky. So I'm skating Lance's ramp, and I'm coming down. And I hit the the opposing wall, and I slide out and just slam into the oh, face. Uh, and and like, I couldn't skate it anymore. Yeah, uh, yeah. Christian's ramp was not intimidating. Sounds like it was perfect. And it, it had an extension. So I was like backside 180, disasters up the... Ex I was fine. I was starting to find my way. Huh. It, skating vert is a the best feeling ever. And you started, you started with street, went to vert. Was that a hard thing to learn well the mini ramps the mini we've skated a lot of mini ramps okay. and i had a mini ramp in my backyard that went to vert got you it was okay. seven maybe six seven feet tall and mm. it went to vert oh, so you wow. could scoop out those big backside mm -hmm. and the vert ramp was a little bit scary but it a little bit of getting used to it it was, you could approach it similarly, but it took a little more energy to get yourself up the walls and stuff. Got and it you. was scarier when, I mean, one time, you know, I was doing backside five O's to tail slide. I was getting those oh. down. And one time it stopped. Mm. And you, you and know, when you hit your wheel. Oh yeah. yeah. And, and then I just forward. fell down to my back on the flat log. Yeah, pitch back. And yeah. it really hurt. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah I could imagine. It really hurt. Yeah. But those were great days skating, watching Christian and all those, and Mark skate Christian's ramp was like, yeah. I wish a lot of people because we we were at the street league in mm. Utah and mm -hmm. they had like a demo with mm. like everybody Christian mm -hmm. Soy, Cab, or ramp or Vert what? ramp, okay, Tony. I mean, Burnquist, it was just Burnquist, yeah. um, a beast. Yeah. but it just watching these guys and still doing it together on this vert it was like it was like magic Wait, how recent is this this was like what six months ago seven august eight, of eight last, months ago yeah, it wasn't like august of last year yeah it wasn't that long ago yeah. and it was it but it was so incredible and all the young kids too it was like the the shods and the zions and the He's the top what about that kid Ashad. oh right, yeah is amazing you've the seen best. all that it, it's on another level huh? when you're talking about how well-rounded people are ashad might be I've the seen most all his stuff yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> one of the most well-rounded skate and he's fun yeah. to watch because he's just skating he's yeah. not perform he's not you know what i mean he's just and having he fun does, he doesn't exert a lot of energy no, it doesn't, it doesn't like look that. like he does no. yeah, or it doesn't look like he does yeah, yeah. yeah. very smooth yeah he can um, skate for eight hours straight for he, sure oh man but to see those guys yeah, excited yeah. about yeah. these guys skating vert was just like so it was it was a magical experience. If, if you value something, it just does not escape. One of my hero photographers is Henry Wessel. He sadly passed of cancer about five years ago. Mm. He was in his seventies. I I had the good fortune uh, of meeting him in two thousand and nine, and we hung out for a day. And he had already been like a museum exhibited, published photographer for 40 years. Wow. And he kept his camera in his hand or at the table and talked about photography the way we talk about skateboarding. Mm. Not jaded, 
I'm not cynical. Oh, and then I have this one lens, <laughs> and then I I like this film for this. He's in he's in his sixties, just as excited. Had about, already yeah. been shooting and in San Francisco Museum of Modern Art all over the world, and he's as nerdy about photography as he was in the sixties. Love that. Wow. That's what I what, what I aspire to. Like, if you're stoked, that's that's the main number one ingredient. For sure. Oh. It has to be. And so to to see Christian skating and these guys, Lance, Tony Alva. Yeah. Tony Alva's got to be in his, he's in his 60s, dude. At least. Mm -hmm. And like stoked. Yeah. That's the raddest thing ever. So I mean, cool. even to see Tony Hawk doing it. I mean, he just broke his femur recently. He, uh, yeah, he got. Literally like Wait, last. Wait, he was trying to do days, literally last tricks week. for the last time, right? No, he's been doing that as well. Like I'm not, I'm never gonna do another varial 540. I got that on tape, and now I'm gonna move on to the he's, next trick, and then I'm done. Right, he's been doing that a little okay. bit. He's been oh, doing yes. the, the certain last things, but okay. just last week he was just messing around with his buddies, did a 540, uh, just a McTwist on his ramp. They were trying to do uh, drop in, drop in, oh, 540s. Right to it, right to it. Bro, snapped his femur in half, landed, just got away from him, landed on his knees, and the pressure broke his but he's walking the next day he had surgery he's already he's flying to like south by southwest he's like doing all kinds of shit like yeah. but not probably not skating though no, I mean, no not yet no, no. i mean this was just no. like last week four or five days no but i mean ever ago. again oh he's no, probably he's, he'll I, would, I think he'll skate again yeah, i think he will definitely i think so i think so I mean, the man's 53. Man, them skateboarders are a different breed, boy. I'll tell you that, man. Those skateboarders are fucking crazy, man. I'll tell you that, man. Coach Frank. <laughs> but, no, um, Coach Frank's a little bit more crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. other one was just a good old boy. Good old yeah. boy. <laughs> but it's incredible to see these guys it's 53, the best. It's the 54. Best. Here's what I'll say to that. When we were coming up, ignorantly, we were the Dogtown dudes. Tony Alva, Jay Adams, that stuff was minimally, minimally on our radars. Mm. Right. Ignorantly. Right. I can say that it, uh, with just ignorantly, you're just so about like now and kickflips and gons and the street. Yeah. yeah. When we were talking about how things merge, mm -hmm. skateboarding is in such a rad place because there are more... 15 year old skateboarders today that know who Tony Alva is mm -hmm. than there were 15 year old skateboarders who knew Tony Al who Tony Alva was in the 80s. Right. Right. Without a doubt. For and sure. I love that. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And it's in a rad place. Yeah. Way more female skaters, love way it. more diversity. Yeah. And and people are like just ripping bulls, ramps, street and everybody's hanging out. Mm -hmm. It's not, doesn't seem as clicky maybe. Right. Oh, you're in that camp, you're in that camp. You can hang out. We could all go to the parking lot and slappy curbs and do 100%. manuals and have the best time. Totally. Go out for sushi, hang out. Doesn't matter mm -hmm. age, who wears what shoe, mm -hmm. who, venture, indie, silver, whatever. Right. Nobody gives a shit anymore nope. yeah. for the most yeah. part. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It used to be very segregated. Definitely yeah. Was. And in the 80s, there were what? Two female pro skaters? Yeah. Three Carabeth, Carabeth, Carabeth mm -hmm. and, and uh, Sasha. And Sasha. Oh, Steinhorst. she skated Steinhorst. for Steinhorst. World, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There were a few. Yeah. Well, uh, there's more, but th those are the ones that actually stood right. out. Yeah. Even yeah. In the, nearly what there are no, now. No, I mean, even no. in even in the growing up in the 90s no. and on, it, you would never see. Mm -hmm. I mean, once in a while, and it was just like, it was like a unicorn. It's, it was like, yeah. whoa, there's a girl skater. Yeah, and then we so saw bad. Alyssa kind of like really. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. That door. But, not, that but, door, yeah. but not in front of us either. This was like right. on videos. Right. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I would, I would go to Barcelona and there was like a lot of girls. I'm like, yeah. this oh, is yeah. amazing. And then yeah. Yeah. now we see it all the time. It's, no, it's, it's a beautiful, it's, it's a beautiful it's thing. It's the best. It's it really so is. the beautiful best. thing. Everybody's skating different terrain and, and, and just hanging out and yeah. together and celebrating skateboarding. You get older and you realize that it just doesn't matter. No. Yeah. Yeah. If you skate, you're rad in my book. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. The politics, any politics should just go away. Yeah. It doesn't matter who you skate for, what kind of trucks you ride, what kind of shoes you wear. If you're genuinely having fun, God, you're you're rad. Do That's you know who matters. Do you know who Andy Anderson is? I was just about to say that. That guy is rad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That to me, he embodies like that's true 
I mean, we're all skateboarders. Yep. But that dude loves every part of skateboarding. So freestyle to yep. vert. Yep. To yep. So everything. Hey, and I just hey, like hey, I, just, I watched his barracks part. Yeah. And I was so impressed. Yeah, he's next. I mean, level. doesn't he go up the rail and then he like balances his board mm -hmm. on the tip? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. does yeah. some yeah. weird like gone stuff. Dude, you know that uh, uh, he's amazing, by the way. Yeah. Um, and I remember when Mike V started wearing a helmet, and people mm. were like, dude, what's up with that? Uh. Now, I don't think anybody gives a shit. Right. No, no, you right. see what I mean? Like, yep. now it's different. Maybe it's not perfect, but it's more copacetic now than I think I've ever experienced. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Really rad. And I think yeah. that, with that being said, like Andy Anderson, like, he's a helmet wearer too. Yeah. And, you know, He's been on our show plenty of times. I love that. He lives in the area now. Yes. Um, yeah. Dude, he's great. Uh, yeah. Great guy. Great just outlook on life. But I think there still is certain stigmas sure. that are left in skateboarding, you know, which is, you know, it, it is what it is. As many, right? maybe not. I don't, like, I don't know. But I think more people in general are probably stoked on his character. Yes, yes. His energy. Yeah. His, yeah. His, yeah. Right? 100%. And, 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 you know, you get over it. Yeah. yeah. And you're more patient too because you realize like, you know, like I was saying, like I'm a much different human being now than I was when I was 18. Right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You let so much shit go when you get older. Yeah. You know that. Yeah. You're a father. I'm a yeah. father. Big time. You let so much stuff go. Yeah. If I see a skateboarder, I am stoked. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't care how they skate, how they push, what they do. You let so much stuff gets left. So you're more patient now. Yeah. Hundred percent. That 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 18 year old that's demonstrating some insecurity talking crap on some Instagram post, you know what? He'll be 38 one day, God willing. And he'll look back on that 18 year old kid and be like, I used to be kind of a dick. Yeah, yeah. Skateboarding is rad and I'm so grateful that I was gifted a skateboard. Yeah, for sure. Because it's, it's like, it's, it's sacred. It's the best yeah. thing. And not to sound over dramatic or cliche, no, like, I don't want to be overly dramatic, but it's it is really a, a blessing and a gift skateboarding. So like, yeah. anybody with it should be stoked. Yeah, yeah. it's that's, it's spot that's my on. message, kids. It's spot on. <laughs> and I think as a kid growing up, I mean, especially in the '90s too, like we were very judgmental, talking. It's just kind we, of the we, we did it, we did it, we yeah, did it, right? Like yeah. we did, everybody did it, yeah, every right. Yeah. Every, but but that's a, I think that's a difference though between now and then was like. You're doing it kind of in your own cliques, right? Now yeah. people are doing it out in the public in uh, open forums, yeah. you know, where it's like yeah. their voice is being heard by people that probably shouldn't even listen to their voice right. in the first place. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, I'm. We're, I think we're all guilty of it, but I think you're right, though. You grow up, you yeah, look you back, and you're. I've learned that shit. too. I've learned that, man. I've seen. I've seen that negativity on yeah. Instagram. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. People straight up like, oh, that guy has terrible style. Yeah. Or that looked booty. <laughs> or just, you guys probably see it constantly oh, yeah. on Instagram, right? Because you guys are assholes, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So, but you know, like, and you're like, oh, there's always that part of you, you know, your pride kicks in. Mm -hmm. You're like, what, what do you mean you, you, you look at me typing? Yeah. I should be doing this. It's, it's, it's on a, <laughs> what do you mean? You, you, you And you're like, you know what? Pe everybody has their stuff. Right. Yeah, everybody right. has their insecurities everybody feels jealous or left out or beefy about something and as hard as it is you have to go you just have to let it you go have to let it you go. have, to, have, let have to, to let it go, go. You have yeah. to. as much as your pride wants you to be like who uh, how uh, how dare uh, uh, yeah. you have to let it go i don't waste my time on people yeah. like that you you just have have think about go. all the positive things that are said yeah. to you like yeah. you have to focus on those like yeah you, but it's just you, sometimes you it's, it's it that one comment that just strikes a chord yeah. and oh, it just kind of bites you and you're like chris rock talks about the one guy in the audience that doesn't laugh right yeah yeah you know, and you're just a little bit like, ugh. You get hyper focused. I know Those everyone's are... laughing, and that one guy is just sitting there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I think it was Chris Rock that said that, and that that's the guy he tries to work on. Yeah. Oh, right. okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. I then, always trip out. It's like someone said on a podcast recently. Like, hey, if you don't like eating at a restaurant, then don't eat there. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of like if you don't like something. Just don't pay. Don't go somewhere well, else. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's I always use the analogy. I'm just like, you know, just change the channel. Yeah, dude. There's a lot of content out there. Just change the channel. Yeah. Like, you don't yeah, have to. You'll find something. Find you'll something. You'll find something you like. Something yeah. you like that you don't need to hate on. <laughs> yeah, to yeah. put your energy into that type of stuff. But, yeah, you know. You just, you, just, you just let it go, and you just try to understand where it might be coming from. Well, I got to, you know, since you got into acting, and yeah. you got super, 
that was your thing for a long time. What was it like coming, seeing skateboarding, taking a break from it, coming back and seeing what was going on in skateboarding? Well, that was 2003. I was 33. Uh -huh. So I had not skated for eight years with the exception of Mumford, mm -hmm. that movie. God, that feels like nine weeks ago I told that story. Have we been here? For what, <laughs> have we been here for what it feels like? Have we been here for what feels like 19 weeks. years? Yeah. Yeah. For me, it feels yeah, like my, 19 minutes. Yeah, this yeah, has yeah. Been you know what would great. help is you guys need some windows in here. What this is mean? like Vegas. There's no clocks or windows. Oh, yeah. we're pumping in oxygen. So you don't, know, <laughs> we're, we're doing you don't know how much time's passing. You don't know how much time. <laughs> no I mean, is that crazy? They just, you know. And then they, I think on Main Street in Disneyland, they pump out the cotton candy smell. There you go. Do I, they? I think they do. Oh, we need to start I, I think implementing they pump that. out the scents. Right. Because right when you get there, when you smell the corn dogs and the cotton candy, that wallet starts you, vibrating. Yeah. Pump out that wallet. I spent $20 in cotton candy. Yeah. And you, <laughs> we, just, we just went to Disney. Okay, we, we, we have five kids, yeah. so it's seven it's a, of us. That's expensive. And we yeah. went to Disneyland for our now five-year-old daughter's birthday. Amazing. And we actually made it through Good without somebody dying. <laughs> like we had the double stroller yeah. and it was all seven of us. Like no babysitter, helper, you no know, tour guide that you can pay for whatever <laughs> yeah. at Disneyland. It was just us seven, and we made it through Good job. with yeah. minimal children melting down. Got you. High on cotton candy. <laughs> right? Well, What's that, that like for that, you? That, oh, sorry. I was going to say this. The, the cotton candy crash is real. It's uh, gnarly. We did have some meltdowns, but it wasn't that bad. Uh, what was your question again? I was going to ask, like, what is it like going to oh, Disneyland? Going, like, No, before oh, that. Going was, back to skating. Oh, yeah, what's it like? What, what was it like going going away from skating for a bit, focusing on acting, and then coming back in skating and seeing what's going on mm -hmm. in this industry? What what was did after? You, I didn't because a lot I of wasn't in paying attention to the industry as much. Oh, uh, okay, right. Mm -hmm. uh, so I got a board, and Steve Barra's skate park. Oh, I was I I ran into Steve. Vera at some but at a, a birthday party or some event somewhere. So somebody was having a birthday party, mm -hmm. um, and there were a bunch of skaters there, and Steve Barra was there. And I hadn't seen Steve Barra for probably the early from since the early skateboarding days. Mm -hmm. And he goes, "Hey, are you skating? Hey, wh whoa, where have you been all these years? Blah, blah, kind of thing. You should start skating." I have a skate park out by the Budweiser plant in Van Nuys. This was, I guess, oh, before yeah. the oh, barracks. This yeah, was, yeah, yeah. He had a private park. Yep. Uh, skated any time. I was like, wow, that's really cool. Thanks, Steve, Barra. Um, and I started going there every night. Oh. And I gave myself about a month to get skateboarding back again. Hmm, okay. And then I called Pastris oh. and said, I'm skating again. I'm okay enough again to where I'd, I'd like to skate with you again. Uh, Pastris was living down in San Diego. Stereo was kind of on pause for a little bit. Chris was working with Osiris as the, the team manager. Yes, and, yes, I remember that. And we were in touch. I knew that the the sort of early 2000s was a little bit of a, a slow time for Stereo. And I had it, it, in my heart like, okay, we've got to figure something out here so like we were talking about with timing it seemed like running into steve barra oh i'm gonna start skating mm. again chris and i are best friends for life but we're we're both aware that we're both aware that stereos kind of pause there for a minute and let's re resuscitate sure. that so it was great timing for that got you so Chris was back up in LA. We started uh, stereo with Giant. Matt Irving, the designer, started working with us. Blah blah blah, and I was skating the that private park pretty much every night. Nice. And one night, Anthony Van England came, Mark Johnson came, and Kevin Long, Spanky, Spanky, Spanky came. Yeah. Wow, heavy hitters. And I knew who all of them were, and I knew obviously that they were amazing. And I became friendly with Mark Johnson. And I watched him skate, and I was like, oh, that's like weird next level crazy talent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that's what that is. Yeah. Oh, holy shnikes. That's yeah. gnarly. <laughs> I was doing 360 flips to fake uh, to fakie on the bank. There was the the bench. So the, the, the thing that you could ollie over, there was a bench on the side. Mm -hmm. I was actually able to manage a few kickflip uh, 
five O grinds across it, Ooh. which gotcha. I was really stoked about. And um, but I was really nervous, so yeah. I didn't know much about what was going on with what are the companies now and blah blah blah. But I definitely knew that skateboarding was gnarly because yeah. I was watching Spanky and I was watching Mark Johnson and Anthony Van England. And I just, at 33 in 2003, I just felt kind of old. Mm. Like, I'm just going to watch these rad skateboarders. But I tried to like keep up and I think I did okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, and um, it was cool meeting those guys. And then uh, th th then it, it went from there. And then I hurt my back really badly when we were overseas filming Way Out East, oh. which came out in 04. So I couldn't really skate for a while after that. Huh. Um, but I had that nice little run. Right. Yeah. Right. And then getting stereo some new breath. I love cool. that. It's, it's yeah. cool that you could come back to skating and not be like, oh man, I need to get sponsors to stay alive and to whatever. You could just skate and yeah. be yeah, free it with it. It was just the yeah. fun of skating and the yeah. feeling. Like when I did that first kickflip, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was after eight years. <laughs> it's like doing it all over again, right? first 360 flip after eight years. Oh, and then I did that kickflip back tail up the extension. Ooh. Michael, Michael Mealy shot that. Nice. Oh, damn. I, at, yeah, at the park? At the park. Oh, that's sick. So you could roll down the thing and there was the short quarter pi mm -hmm. pipe side and then the long quarter pipe yeah, side and yeah. there was an extension and I was able to do a kickflip tail up the extension. Wow. You pump that. off the quarter pipe, right? You pump off the... The down ramp or whatever? The down ramp. Yeah, yeah, The yeah. long yeah, yeah, down yeah. ramp. And then yeah. psh, I was able to do that. I was super stoked, but man. I'm sorry, was this at, B at Bears Park? The private So park, he had the park. two ends and then the, the, the bank thing in the and middle. and the big quarter pipe. Yeah. So I would do like grind the quarter pipe and then come down and push and then do a kickflip fakie on the bank. Right. And then I saw Mark Johnson and I was like, Hey, hey, Mark, how are you? <laughs> Just, uh, <laughs> defeated. You're pre you're pretty good at that. <laughs> no, he was. He's next on the next level. Oh, Mark for, does a next for, for left. sure. All those people, for instance, I mean yeah. Anthony Van England, so, power. Yeah, yeah. he's got the pal. Yeah. Switch Finesse. tray, switch tray, pal. He's I got... saw the pal. I saw his the stuff Greg Hunt shot. Oh yeah, yeah. that was DC propeller. video. Propeller. Yeah. Oh, that too, propeller. Yeah, where he, he does something off that big loading dock at the end or something. He does something. I don't remember off what the, he did off the end. I don't remember I don't the know. end. I but can't I, remember. I, anyway, I saw that stuff and he's was like, great. Yeah. He's, "He's so he's fucking great. dope to watch, bro." Yeah. He's, Van England. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's one of my favorites. For sure. Yeah. Hands down. He's uh he's from Orange County too. Oh, he is. I'm from Orange County as well. You are. I'm from Laguna Hills. Laguna Hills. And where's Van England from? Uh, well, in Lake Forest, I want to say. Okay. He grew mm -hmm. up. That's near Irvine. Yes. Uh, I was born in Orange. I lived in Costa Mesa. As a kid, then we moved to Salem, Oregon for maybe a year or something, and then Huntington Beach. Huh. Where did you start skating? In Huntington? In Costa Mesa. I have the photo. Oh. Wow. You have a vote like the day first day of skating? Yeah, I, we were at Kmart or Fedco or okay. something Fedco. in the 70s. Holy Remember shit. Fedco? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, wow. you know, it would have been the what it, what would have been called like the banana boards. Sure. Yep. Mm -hmm. So my, my older brother, James... He's two years older, so I'm seven, he's nine, it's 1977. My mom got the drugstore prints, you know what I mean? Like snapshot with the little Kodak camera. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing a wheelie on my board and I got the yellow one and my brother got the blue one maybe. My mom, God bless her. Mom, it was my brother, my brother, my brother, my brother. A friend said, there's these guys skating an empty pool. Took my brother, saw it, whoa. My brother started getting skateboarder magazines. And then, so the next time we were at Kmart or whatever, we saw these plastic boards. James said, uh, mom, can we get one each? And my mom said, yes. Amazing. So to my brother and to my mother. Um, and then we also BMX race, like road dirt bike, very yeah. 70s. Yeah. You know, I, I had stuff. a comb yeah. in my back pocket, <laughs> Van Halen t-shirt. <laughs> Like shitty 70s hair, <laughs> you know, BMX bike with whatever spare parts you could steal from a friend, <laughs> you know, very kind of 70s Orange County suburban kind of. Putting a little baseball card mm. in the spokes. Yeah, exactly. Blah, blah, blah. Like BMX, skateboard, you know, all that stuff. And then 13, I got a Veriflex, like a, a, a cheap, another cheap department store board. Mm -hmm. But better than the last one. But better than the la the first one. And then I started getting like. Uh, seconds like I knew somebody in high school uh, who knew Ma my uh, Madrid and so I would for like five bucks I would buy like the warped Madrid boards wow oh still and brand new but yeah. just a little warped and yeah right. so I was about 
I was a I was 15 when I really got into skateboarding, just like okay. you. Okay, so yeah. it's kind of interesting. Yeah, like Definitely. really get. So I skated a little bit in the 70s, and then again at 13. But you're just rolling where around. I was learning right? how to like roll off curves same. and stuff. Like you're not that. doing but tricks. At 15, it was like. Let's, Let's go. flip the switch. Same yeah. kind of thing. I just always had a board around, butt board, roll yeah. down the driveway. And you also rode your bikes, whatever. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, totally. yep. Exactly. Yeah. And your brother stopped skating or? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, sure. okay. And then, yeah, 15, it was on. It was on. Yeah, it was on. Damn. And then, and then shortly after that, that's when you met. Um, and. And no, I was going to say Gons and those guys. Or was that later, closer to 18 or? When you said you were doing the, you, you yeah, met up I mean, with... again, the memory. So yeah. it would have been like the, the, the boards that I bought for my friend. And then it would have been... Uh, because you said you met... Gons. Then it would have been Gons. It was like Gons, Templeton, Then it Pastris. would have been Ann, Rocco. Wow. And then Blind, and then right, Blue, and then right. Stereo. Oh, but at no. one point in time, didn't you have a shoe on Vision? Airwalk. 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 Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. Airwalk. Me and Tony Hawk. That's incredible. Yeah. Totally I got my insane. first check for 25 grand. Whoa. Res royal, res wait, 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 wait. How yeah. old were you like, at this damn. point? I was, I was, <laughs> I was 24. <laughs> like right at the, like, oh, at the end right? of the And then the next check was like 600 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that, I'm that out. balloon deflated fast. Wow. <laughs> Uh, well, wow. Shoe deals back then were a little different. Well, you get paid every month back then, or quarterly. just quarterly. So that was quarterly. Oh, okay, okay. So that was the big, you know, the big initial release surge. Yeah, right. Boom, and then it just went nowhere. God. Damn and then it. because Matt Hensley wore those really soft, low cut Etnies, even though I had a contract with uh, Airwalk, and I loved that low cut gym shoe. Mm -hmm. That was my shoe, man. Mm -hmm. uh, I got the cover of Trans World right here. That's it. Oh, yep, yeah. Yep. And I'm wearing the Etnies, even though I'm I'm on oh Airwalk. <laughs> I didn't know it would make the cover, but I wore those because I was such a Matt Hensley fan. Oh, wow. Because right? Matt Hensley wore those, and those were soft, man. Oh, yeah. Those were like slippers. And Sin, who who worked, he was like the big designer guy at Airwalk. So sweet. Uh, he was like, I oh, don't worry about it. Oh, oh, so oh wow. Really cool. They yeah. didn't say anything. Yeah. Yeah, dude. it was a little different back then. I know, dude. Yeah, yeah. you can Getting never away. do some shit like that now. No, you, they, they'd have to ask you to Photoshop the shoes. And, yeah, is that like, Rosenberg? Yep. 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 That's a young Jacob Rosenberg that's, with Lance Mountain. Yep. yep. That was him probably at skate camp. That's amazing. Oh, yeah, that's right. Woodward. Something like that, yeah. He was a janitor. Man, bro. Probably one of everybody's heroes For is, sure. would oh, be yeah. Lance Mountain. Yeah. Yeah. We watched the Bones Brigade video show, right. which came out in 82. Mm -hmm. And that we needed that humor. Right. Doesn't he th the, the the dummy the Lance dummy gets thrown over the, the right, yeah. and then he's just being kind of goofy, and we were like, "Yes, that's funny, that's rad." <laughs> totally. totally. Lance, he was man. uh for me, he was the four and one guy. He was the guy in in, in uh, four and ones. Yep, he was yep. the guy who introed everyone, Opened and up. I yeah. grew up on that, so I was like, that's "Yeah, a Lance one, always with the humor." Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I you know the Bones Brigade video show would have been okay. Skateboarding is real. Wow. Oh, oh my god. And then, of course, we Animal Chin and, and all that stuff. Right? primitive the, and then Animal Chin and, and then, then Ray, And then Ray Barbie comes around. Oh, and the wow. world kind of goes, hmm, there's something kind of magical happening here. Straight up. And, right? And yeah. we're going we're gonna to be moving into some epic, epic territory. Yeah. Ray Barbie hit hard, didn't he? That's crazy. Especially for somebody like me. Because yep. I didn't see very many black people skateboarding uh -huh. besides Steve Stedham. There was very like yep. selective few that... But definitely yep. that was so eye-opening for me. Wow, I'm that's like, amazing. This is a beautiful thing. I'm like, I'm doing this. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very cool. What a, what a time yeah. back then. Yeah. Holy shit. Did well, you have a skate shop that you went to by your house? Grimmick. Grimmick. was my yes. first sponsor. On uh, oh. huh, What's the main road in... in um, it's main Street? Beach, Beach Boulevard. Beach Boulevard. Oh, no, Beach. Okay. Was it Beach or Golden West? Beach Boulevard, Warner? I think. Okay, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a Beach couple. Beach Boulevard is yeah. pretty... Pretty big. Yeah, yeah, I think it was on Beach Boulevard. Okay. Grimmick, Grimmick. was like the local skate shop. So sick. And Mark got, had a, he, there was a wall they had and Mark had signed it. When I first went in there, I was like, oh, that's Gonzo's signature. No <laughs> way. Yeah. And I worked there for a minute too. Wow. Like grip taping boards and putting together boards and stuff. Yeah. So that that's was my sick. first sponsor. Uh, when did Huntington Park, was that there when you lived that there? That little tiny skate park? Little one, yeah. No, no. that came much that later. That came later. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 
for sure. And then I, I was on I, Z, uh, Z, was one of my sponsors early Z, on. Z Roller? Yeah. No. Oh, what? And then, uh, and then Brand Brand X, I got boards from Brand X, I think. Yeah. Wow. And then, and then the Rocco thing would eventually happen. Dude, I've always wanted to try some Z Rollers. I just That's think it would be so, so fun. They were they were like, super rad, but uh, scary. Yep. And then I just didn't ride them because they were too scary. They were scary. <laughs> and then I said, I can't ride these. You I'm could slap any they were, you they want. Were ultimately, yeah, they they were they, they were ultimately cool. Yeah. But yeah. You could slap any curb you want. Boom. It was short lived though. It wasn't. Yeah, it was short lived. I just can't find a pair. I would love to just try one just for fun. You know, I bet if you tried to slap you with those, they would break. I don't I'm know. Guessing, oh, right? now, they? now, yeah, because sure. they were kind of thin on they the sides. You know, I, I think you can even find it. Have we tried to? Look I've looked eBay? on eBay. It's just one truck here, one truck, and then oh. there's like outrageous. There's like maybe five hundred bucks or something. Right. Maybe people are embarrassed to have them still. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they just don't want to acknowledge. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Damn. Was there uh was there like a when you were growing up skating maybe especially during like the blind days were you guys like looking up to other people or just I mean other skaters like out there were you just kind of hyper focused around your what was going on around when, you when you say we do you mean Mark too yeah like you Mark like were you guys fans of like yeah, who did Mark look to man? yeah that's what I'm saying like how, who you guys Mark like, always looked to Neil Blender Neil Blender as a source of just fun and yeah just great energy and and creativity uh neil blender he was a character in himself yeah, yeah. for sure man right. um the days that i hung out with mark and neil blender sitting in the back seat of neil blender's volvo <laughs> <laughs> man just driving around huntington beach Love and neil that. would roll down the window and just start talking to random people in the car next <laughs> like it, I, it was so just bad. so it like it was like I was, you know, a fly on the or like a documentarian sitting in the back seat, just watching these guys interact. Mark and Neil Blender. Wow, <laughs> what a, what that a, was what a yeah, that was wow. just super fun, and, and you never knew what was coming next. But like people you didn't know, like other skaters, were you Mark guys? Mark was always stoked on new skaters, which was really cool. Interesting, always. Right. And that's that, why he got Rudy and got like that's he was all about like, dude, there's this kid from Philly who's ripping or yeah, who does this? I want to learn that. Yeah. yeah, he was hungry, Mark. So, you could tell. I mean, just drive by hungry. going to your house just to see a 360 yeah. flip. Yeah, that's like, crazy that's... in itself. I think that's such a beautiful story. Like, how the fuck did he find you? A, like, he just like go over there by those houses. Somebody told him, yeah. honk your horn, and like it just goes to show that you don't need Google Maps. <laughs> 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 Nobody needs a smartphone. No, how no. did Nautis, Mike V, Chris Pastris, O? Neil Blender, Mark, me, Ed Templeton, my friend Mike Plur. How did we all get together that one night and skate together with no cell phones? Right. Right. Yeah. Landline. Call Nottis. Call O. Look through the book. Yeah. Mark would stay up all night. Sit. He had a dining table. And he would just sit there. And he'd be on his landline all night talking to people from Australia, his friend in London. And he was always sketching on napkins and... Wow. Crazy. Yeah, and doing drawings, and it was all just landline. And I'd be watching a movie or asleep on the couch, and he would just be drawing and talking to random people. He had a little phone book, and he had notes and stuff everywhere. <laughs> Shit all over the table. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was just amazing. That's so sick. Uh, what a hell of a phone bill. And then Back just, then, it, in Australia. Yeah, yeah, right. like, oh, oh, man, God. yeah. And then, just, and then we just made Mad Top Ramen. That's it. Yeah, just Mad Top Ramen. <laughs> <laughs> just... Get and, yeah, yeah, Mad Top Ramen and, and Mark skate. would drink pl Japanese plum wine with Pepsi. Japanese wow. plum wine? Oh. Yeah, Japanese plum wine, and he would put Pepsi in it, and he'd be listening to whatever music and talking on the phone. I love it. It was just so so much to draw from. Right. Yeah. We, we, were, we drove, me, Ron Chapman, and Chris Pastris and Mark drove to New York from L.A. <laughs> and there was a handrail that was literally past, higher than my, my pelvic bone here. Hmm. And there was a hedge of bushes on the other side. So when you, if you tried to board slide it, if anyone was crazy enough to, basically the front wheels would be like, uh, oh, in the bushes, weed like whacking off the top of the thing. <laughs> right. It was something that was literally impossible to do. So we're skating around Washington D.C., and Mark goes, "Dude, dude, I want to slide that handrail." And me, Pastris, and Chapman, uh, I grew up skating with Ron Chapman too. Amazing in Long Beach. And no, we were like, we either. were trying to like really push each other. Ed Templeton, Steve Robert, Ron Chapman, guys that eventually became like sponsored. Like those were 
big guys that w we helped kind of shape each other gotcha. in those early wow, days. Yeah. Amazing. Um, uh, and we are like, no way. Mark puts his board up on the rail and Chris, Pastris and Chapman are holding his board up <laughs> and they let go and he slides down it and then like jumps into the hedge. And we're like, dude, Mark, you're gonna get hurt. This is gnarly. I mean, I'm not kidding you. It must have been like a 15 stair handrail <laughs> that curved around and went way. It was. It was probably as long as the downtown rail where Greco skates. The curve oh, rail. Yeah, the curve yeah, rail yeah, that yeah, goes yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Let's oh, he's got a Raj has a photo. Okay, I'll break that out in a second. Yeah. Um, I'm, I, I think it, the rail was close to that. And then Mark goes, okay, I got a feel for it. And then he gets on his board, all he's up it, board slides down it, and then just disappears down the street, punctuating it with one of his trademark big frontside 180 all these, all these as up. he's going down the street. Oh, wow. And we're just like, so Mark had that weird thing that I think weirdos like Pat Duffy have. Yeah. Where they're like, <laughs> it makes sense to them that they could do that. Yeah. Whereas the average brain goes, I don't want to go get stitches today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And he just did it first try. Wait, do you no film footage. it? No. no, we didn't have a camera. Nobody had cell phones. <laughs> this is 1991. Wow. Not, and we finally make it to New York and then we celebrate my 21st birthday <laughs> wow. in New York. At Cross Jeremy country. Henderson's place. No way. Yeah. So funny when the Gons all did the uh, Wallenberg and then did the 180 right after. Like yeah. you look back on that now and you're like, this dude just all the gnarliest yeah. set of stairs. And he does the Gons. And you do a 180 way. right after. Right. And he's yeah. going Mach 2. Mach yeah. 2. Yeah. 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 Oh so my God. Yeah. That's so yep. cool. What did Raj bring out right here? Was this oh. something that we should share or what is this? That's uh oh. You... Spike shot a couple photos. Amazing. Wow. The, the, and we used one in a blind I ad. think that's, is that the Mark, one? I'm eating cereal. Mark is doing something in the other photo. There's yeah. one where he's got the BB gun. Yeah. But this was, this was the deal. That was the, so rad. that so was at so Mark's rad, house. Yeah. Uh, wait, one, I think I have a pipe or he has a pipe. I can't remember. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. And that's just a natural setting there. That's like not set up. Yeah, and just, yeah, no, that's Mark's, Mark's amazing art. Yeah. Such a rad artist. What a um, great time. Yeah, so this is like 1990. Yeah. You got the Jason Justice Lee photos. board with the, yeah, the so cat in the hat Andy thing. Jenkins, yeah. Yep, Andy Jenkins. I mean, such good art back then, too. I mean, those boards yeah. were just so Crazy. iconic now. You can understand why people are like looking for those, and they, they oh, sell for yeah. a lot of money. Those go for mad money. Yeah. The important thing, though, is what's up with those pants P pajamas there you go no they're like plaid tapered pants that was the shit at that time though <laughs> limpies were they Skid, limpies skids too they had that that might be limpies yeah. wow <laughs> wow and you do collect that was some stuff we like you said we went to your storage one time and you had a lot you yeah, have a good I, I, collection yeah, I, I kept of, a lot of the stuff yeah. which is so sick Fuck boards man. that i rode and stuff back in the 80s that's interesting yeah. to me like, like you would keep... stickers on them and stuff yeah wow. and like airwalk stickers and venture truck but what stickers. made you want to keep used boards that's very interesting yeah. to me I, a lot of people I, just want to keep yeah. you did new yeah. boards like stuff like that maybe but... because it's interesting hey i remember writing that you know yeah yeah, yeah. But sure. it, you know just fun for at the, the time kids but at the time when you're saving this stuff it didn't come to my mind to yeah. save used boards. Was it like, all the boards or just certain boards? Some of the boards. Okay. Not, I wasn't selective like, that's an important time, so I'm going to keep that board. Got it. Okay. Some I probably threw out, some I kept. Yeah. Mm. But I do have some that I wrote in photos and magazines. That's it. Ah, that's yeah. okay. And so probably 20 years ago, my mom calls and says, hey, I have a World Industries box that you gave me in the early 90s that I never opened. Oh, wow. Would you like it back? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so I get the box back from mom and I cut open the tape that had been taped from back the then. warehouse. I put together a box for my mom gotcha. at World Industries oh, and okay. sent it to her. Okay. Hang on to these. You might want these one day. She never opened the box. <laughs> so rad. 
So she sends me back the box and I open the box and there's like however many boards can fit into a skate box. Ten? Yeah. It was probably seven, seven, seven boards. Oh, okay. And they were all my boards. There was like a Burger King board in there, the Tony Hawk buzzard skull board mm. in there, the dump truck board in there. There were all these kind of wow. important boards to me. And I pulled them out of the, the board bags and I could smell the silk screen. <laughs> it was Damn. unbelievable. Wow. Yeah. wow. Trapped. So I have the box and it's in my basement in my house in Los Feliz at the time and the basement flooded. Oh. oh. So if this is the wall, I have the board box leaning up against the wall and the basement flooded at the bottom. So every one of those boards, about seven inches on each of the tails is completely stained. Oh, man. Oh, it took off the veneer and everything. everything. Damn, dude. But I heard that there's people that restore boards. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Because well, every, the, every, they're brand new time capsule boards, but the tails each have fade from the water. Oh, uh, yeah. Wow. They could get fixed. And but when not I saw that, that, I was really upset. Yeah, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. But Damn. you still have 90% of the graphic. <laughs> I mean, that's true. we're that's talking part, yeah. 10%. That means only 90% of the money. There you that's go. True. There you go. <laughs> you see what I mean? I want to no, sell no, no. these things. Yeah. No, this I'm, is... kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. What's your eBay page? Yeah, yeah. There's, I'm uh, doing that shit. And it's, it is, that's a disappointment. Yeah, yeah, but that was really cool to open that box at a time yeah, capsule yeah, yeah, yeah. like That's you said capsule. that At is just a tr- over a decade that is yeah. that's crazy wow that's mom cool. keep, my mom keeps so much stuff that's but amazing. i have like in storage i have my airwalk shoes and i have the the first samples okay in the boxes Same. i have um boards that i rode and uh boards that i broke in half that i kept mm-hmm. um you have your new like new boards like i i kept a bunch of new stereo awesome. stuff as okay. well awesome. yeah I don't have one of my first. Oh, I only no. have broken ones or skated ones. I never kept an the, unridden mm. first pro model. Oh, like, wow. Damn. Damn. So if there's anybody out there that wants to part with one, wow. call these guys and they'll get in touch with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Or man. hit him on his DM. Uh, but that, it's fun to kind of go through. I have yeah. sh- bo- uh, uh, some of my blind shirts still in the shrink wrap and stuff. Oh, wow. That's I just great. get kind of nostalgic and For I kind of sure. like It's fun. It's well, I mean, a lot of people these days are trying to go back and put together their, their first boards. You know, they'll search out the trucks and they'll search out the oh, wheels wow. and okay. they'll search out the deck. Yeah, and wow, that's cool. They'll try to put that that's board super, back together huh. of their first one. It may not With be With the same theirs. wheels and the same trucks. Exactly. And, yeah. In yeah. some right. cases, riser pads. Yep. 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 Right. We've been seeing that a lot, you know, but I, and I fully understand, you know, yeah. there's like that time it brings you back and everything. Um, I just can't believe that I, the only used board I saved was your board my first That's board great. jason lee you, you told that story that about 15 hours ago didn't you? that was about four, yeah <laughs> there's something about half. this room <laughs> time capsule, where man. it the yeah. time rips by but it also feels like you've been here for six months <laughs> <laughs> like it feels like i was here yesterday and now i came back today for part two <laughs> but it's all the, it's same, all the same day, day. Yeah. yeah for me it's been about 20 minutes because yeah. this is Did I, you guys put something in hour. my san pellegrino um by the just way deliciousness plug. just another yeah. plug yeah, yeah. Just another <laughs> plug. we're almost done no this is great man like i i could sit here and i'm sure i uh, oh, i love Jerron, it i've, yeah. I, I've, had, I've yeah. had many people encourage me to do this show yeah jason dill w- would have been the most recent love uh, he said love those Dale. guys are amazing and i knew I, i've heard nothing but rad things yeah. about you guys that's awesome and um Jacob Rosenberg, many mm. just sweet, rad people that have said, you guys are great and, yeah. and you have to do the show. And of course, I was like, only if they pay me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, so I'm stoked about that. Yeah. 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 Wait a like minute, who agreed, Tim? Yeah. <laughs> Who's agreed to the kind of for 20 no, bucks? God no, I'm, yeah, super stoked. You know, we love these guys. The, uh, Listen, I always say it takes a village. You know, it's the filmers, it's the photographers, it's the team managers, it's yeah. the skaters, it's everybody. And I, we want to hear all their stories. Yeah, you know, sure. it's like the Jacob Rosenberg. I love how diverse and sort of, well, it's not just skateboarders. It, It's all relative. Yes. Or, or, you know, like it's it's all the diff- it's different yeah, yeah. perspectives. Yes. I mean, it's all skateboarders, but it's 100%. like... They, they work differently in that realm. Within of like, the they're industry. not just a pro skater. They are the guy that captured it. It's yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jacob yeah. captured some stuff. He captured it. Oh, yeah. You had yeah. Spike on. Spike Jones. Yep. 
Was that early on? That was pretty early on. So I'd love shorter to have episode. Sp- no, I think it was a good two hours, long. maybe. Hmm. Yeah, the, what he, are we working on now, time wise? Um, two twenty three hours. Two, two, uh, three. Three hours. Three, three hours, yeah. man. That's about normal, though. It's normal. Yeah. It's normal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. It really doesn't feel like three hours. Ah, it's yeah. fun, man. Like, Super like cool I said, like, I think wise. people like coming on the show. Jacob Rosenberg. I mean, we're genuinely interested. And yeah, that's I think good. That's why you, that's the only way it works. I mean, I love this type of shit, you know, and I don't care if it's coming, you know, if it's, the photographers and filmers, they have such a different stories yeah. than yeah. the skater would have. Yeah. Jacob Rosenberg coming on here telling Jason Lee stories would be totally different than the Jason Lee stories yeah. telling Jason Lee. Tell, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, uh, what about yeah. Grant? Did he come on? Got to get Grant Britton. His new oh, book is Got to Get Grant. Yeah, it'd be a great time. There's a lot of people. Bryce well, Knight would be great. Bryce, oh, yeah. Bryce would be awesome. Hell yeah. <sighs> so There's, many skate for dark. Tobin. Tobin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Tobin for Tobin sure. Tobin lives down the street. Come he lives down oh, the street. Lives around, yeah. been, Let's go. Definitely. Timing. Atiba, Atiba, Atiba. Atiba, he's playing games. He's playing games, dude. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, of course, Mark Gonzalez. Of course, oh yeah. But remember, uh, 150k. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. yeah. That's my fee. It's your fee. You're you're fine. Hey, when you when you posted on Instagram that you were coming on the show. The response that I deleted it. I got too many DMs. Yeah. <laughs> you do, why did you I got it? too many DMs. It was psychotic. Many, I was getting hit up like, oh my God. Plus, I was like, all right, let's just not, let's just let these. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't want to step on your toes. No, no, no toes, no toes being was stepped amazing. on. I loved whatsoever. it. But I was like, I remember looking at it because I remember talking with you, but yeah, we'll do it on the 11th. And then I looked at my phone. I was like, holy shit, it is blowing up. Yeah. A lot like, of people. You know, I was like, this is amazing. I love Why? Who gives a crap? Oh, we do. Come on, dude. Oh, come skaters on, man. Care. Skaters we care. Skaters care. Thank we'll you. Be, yeah, I know, I know. Skaters, skaters We love it. Skaters care. That's I mean, we right. live, yeah. breathe. More now than ever. More now than ever. Oh, yeah. We live, More breathe, eat ever. shit, these, you know, skateboarding. So yeah. it's, it's, it's definitely an honor and a privilege having you on. Oh, and man. Yes. It's an honor to All be these here. stories and everything. I and, call bro. skateboarders because I love reminiscing about skateboarding. It's, yeah. So when Dill... And these guys told me that it was like just real genuine nerding out. I was stoked. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Because it, it's got to be that way. I mean, I really get nostalgic about skateboarding. You, you know, they say you're not supposed to be sentimental, but I don't care. I am. I love it. I love walking down memory lane and, and nerding out. I call skateboarders. I get their numbers. <laughs> really? I, I got Danny Way's number from Jacob Rosenberg, and I ask Danny Way. I call him and ask him questions. Amazing. Like, yeah. how do you do what you do? And I literally nerd out <laughs> yeah. with Danny yeah. Way on the phone, and I interview him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so, okay, that one X Games where you slammed really hard, mm. how did you get back up and then win? Yeah. And he goes, I just do it. Yeah. And I was like, all right, good enough. Same thing. And then from Danny, I got Matt Hensley's number. Wow. And I called Matt Hensley. And I got to like go, Matt, you're, you're one of my heroes. I haven't spoken to you in decades. It's so good to hear from you. I hope you're well. You're such an important piece of skateboarding. That was cool. I, love that. I talked to Matt Hensley maybe once a month. And then I got Kareem's number. Oh, wow. Legend. As Kareem Campbell is yeah. like, I, did you guys see Kareem Campbell's, leave this part in please. Did you see his 360 flip fakie at the barracks? Yes, yeah. I did. Oh. I think everyone did. On the quarter pipe? Yeah. Drop a step at all. Uh, oh, yeah. Did you see that, yeah. dude? Perfect. That was unbelievable. Over Be- the lift and all. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. It, beautiful. That's how you do it. Like, comes back <laughs> yeah. and just happens to roll up to the... And it's one of the best 360 flips I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Above the coping. Man. I got that pow. Got the pow. Hey. And coming in fakie <laughs> on that. And also, I such got to a, talk to Kareem. Such a genuine, recently. genuinely humble individual. He was on He's, holiday in with his girlfriend in Mexico. Amazing. And he picked up the phone. Oh wow! Yeah. And we nerded out for twenty minutes. I love that. It's so, rare. it's so good to hear from you, Kareem. I miss you. Blah blah blah. And he was just the sweetest guy. But that three sixty flip was both one of the most incredible things I've ever seen, and it also made me feel really bad about myself <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because it would take me a good month of just skating mm. with skateboarders and like to get up to be able to do a 360 foot fakie like that on a yeah. quarter pipe yeah, yeah. yeah so my hat's off to kareem because that was one of the prettiest 360 flips i've ever seen Straight up. old skater young skate yeah. doesn't goofy regular it doesn't matter right yeah. that was like wow it was a thing of beauty when it i was, saw that i was like 
and everybody oh was, was reposting it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. was commenting and reposting. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's all well, Tony Hawk was say, yeah. saying something about. But it was just so foot. good that even like Jaron just said, like, was that recent yeah. or was that old? It, like, it, it almost was, like, was old for a second. But that's what I'm saying. It was though. so good. It was, it was <laughs> recent. It was yeah. recent. Yeah. 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 But the question, I was like, this has got to be old. Like, how yeah. this is. Yeah. How do you come out and you don't see him for a while? Yeah. He does it like you incredible do tray flip. Perfect tray flip. Yeah. He's still out there skating. Still I'm going to do it. I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a 360 flip uh, fakie on a quarter yeah. pipe. Please. In Kareem's honor. Please. Go. You can definitely do that, Jason. I yeah. Know you can do that. We believe in you as skateboard, bro. You know, you just got to get yourself out there. And yeah. It does. It's, you know? it's hard All to right. realize that you have to get yourself into skate shape to do that, right? You do. You, yeah. You, it you, you can't just get on your sure. board and you start doing do. shit again. Sure. So. You definitely do. What about Neil Blender? Talk to Neil Blender at all? I haven't talked to him in years. I talked to Lance. Lance Mountain yeah. cool. I yeah, talked I to Ray Lance. Barbie. Nice. Oh, we need to get Ray Barbie on the show, A lot of these people we need on the show. Lance has not been on the show. Who? Lance. He has been on the show. But uh, Ray Barbie has been on the show. Kareem. Kareem. You've had Stevie. Stevie's Stevie. been on. Um, Matt Hensley would be amazing. Matt Hensley. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> we need Julian Stranger. Julian, Julian Stranger. Stranger. Wow. I mean, yeah. John Cardio. John Cardio. Please. 100%. Cardi. Yes. L. <laughs> Dude. Dude. We're just yeah. fans, and we love I it. love that. Yeah. Yeah. More now than ever, skateboarders know skateboarding. Yeah, you know mm -hmm. what I mean. That's what it feels like, the brotherhood, the sisterhood, yeah. the, the the communal energy of skateboarding seems to be at an all time high. Well, you, I think you, what oh. I was going to say is something like you brought up a good point of when you were skating, you didn't really look in the past because yep. it was all progression at that point. Yep, I similarly had that same thing. Yeah, where I, was I wasn't looking. Thing. So you had no idea who the hell I was then. No, no, when I first started, no, actually, yeah, when I, when I first started, I had no idea. No, I knew, it, yeah, I knew who John Wilson was. Yeah, I saw yeah. Mouse. I saw Trilogy. I saw Kareem in there. Right. I saw yep. Day One. Molinar's first video was Mouse. Oh wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. So later yeah. he had to discover the video days. And exactly, stuff, which makes sense. Yeah. But you're right. Everybody is sort of guilty of just like forward, 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 and maybe it's not a bad thing. Right. Yeah. But I feel like now, and you guys would know this more than I do because you have you're a podcast. But I feel like now more people are connecting past and future. Yes. Well, and, that's that's. More now, I, I was going to say the exact oh, same wow. thing that yeah. Kelly just said was yeah. because like I I'm guilty of it too. I first yeah. started skating. I skated around here. I was hyper focused on what I saw. Sure. Saw the girl that's, guys, yeah. Blind World, yeah. Day One, and everybody. Yeah. So it took me a while to then go back and revisit yeah, me, yeah, what... It takes, a, it takes a minute. And yeah. that's why I love this show and I love to be able to sit here and talk to a Lance Mountain. Not only talk to him, but just sit back and listen to yeah. the stories. Yeah. And I'm tripping that Lance Mountain's here telling his life story to to us. Yeah, yeah. It's such Isn't a trip. Cool, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's Mike Fowley sits here for five and a half hours and that just... An animal. Tell, like... It, mm -hmm. It's an honor to sit here and listen to it, everybody's stories. Like that's, that's why we really love it. Cool. That's really cool. That's really cool. Otherwise, know? what is the point, right? Yeah. If yeah. you're not genuinely stoked, and it's cool. This shit wouldn't have lasted. It would no have been way, been man. Fucking no way, fraudulent. It's fucking. It would have been like a thing of the past. Yeah. But the, yeah. the thing is, is there's definitely um, people love what they do in the sense of like, especially in this platform. Yeah. We all love skateboarding. Yeah. So we all would love to talk about skateboarding with somebody that's fucking been in the game for so long. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's cool. Yeah. That's really yeah. cool. And just to learn. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. love sure. to learn. I, genu I genuinely feel the same way. Like I call these guys. Yeah. Dude, what was it like when you landed that trick? Like I'm a fan of skateboarding. Yeah. Another guy I got to talk with for about 30 minutes recently was Grant Taylor. Oh wow. oh wow that's hit, incredible right because i had seen some footage of him on instagram and i was like who the hell is this he is yeah he stands out gnarly the way he does it and what he does is yeah. no like none other it's incredible yeah Very did unique. you see that 360 flip he does over that hump yeah oh yeah I mean, yeah I love it. He's calling everybody wow. with, the, with the 360 flips. Yeah. He's like, that is, I got to call this guy with the tray flip. <laughs> but that's, and the, you know, the, uh, that account that I but follow, a, All Hail Skateboarding. Right. He makes the clips qu quick. Mm. So it's almost rhythmic sometimes. Mm. And so this Grant Taylor 360, it goes, f -f 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 mm. and it just repeats. And you're just like, it's so you get stuck I on love it. like yeah, I'm gonna, I love I'm gonna it. pull that Please out. Please right do. I, th I think I know what you're doing. It's over like that little hip thing. It's a round yeah. bump. 
Oh, that noise. Yeah. Dude, when you could hear... <laughs> Jason, when you could hear the catch... Yeah. That that's is... What, that's, the, you know that's what you strive for. You're the catch and the wheel's still oh spinning. My you're God. like, oh, that's it. Oh, it just got fuck. Bup, that bup, thing's bup, beautiful. Bup. Yeah. The sounds of that thing. Oh, sorry, dude. I yeah. can hear. I can. I feel you though. Fuck. Right to his feet. I love that you had to call him. <laughs> yeah. I, I love that you had to call him. I'm not and kidding be like, you. Hey, this I is... called him and just said, "Hey, man, you you may not know me. I got your number from. How did I get his number? I was like, I just saw some footage of you skating, and you're just incredible." And I just wanted to tell you that. What a that's memory, so though, cool, that he's going to have for like, have, like calling him like that. That's. I mean, who, like you've seen, he frontside ollies out of bowls, like head high, yeah, and then does that. Yeah. yeah. His street skating is incredible as well. Sure. Like, it's unreal. He's, Nar he's, yeah. yeah. I never seen him as a little kid. I remember the first time I saw yeah, him. I used to skate with his dad back in the day. Oh, yeah. His dad yeah. used to skate. Yeah, 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 yeah. still skates. Yeah. yeah. So but I remember seeing him at a trade show, and it was this little kid skating by himself across the street. Yeah. And I was like, who's that kid? He's like, yeah. oh, that's that. For the, oh, that's Grant Taylor. He's on Alien Workshop. And I was like, for back then, get on Alien. Oh, yeah, that was That a was deal. huge. I'm like, yeah. who's, wait, a little kid I've never heard of, but like, it was amazing to see the team managers of people back then saw the talent in him as a kid. Yeah, that's And cool. to see where he actually took yeah, it yeah. is um, incredible. Because it's yeah, hard. He took it far, man. Yeah, because, you know, some people have talent and then don't use it. Yeah. Right? And he really, really. Oh, he, for sure, he, man. He, He's a good example of that all around skater that you, yeah. you see more and more of these days. Like, I should have yeah. Totally. Totally. What's yeah, that, Russ? His dad, his dad was pro. Way. Yeah, his dad was pro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For who? New Deal. New Deal. Thomas Taylor. Yeah. yeah. And he had his own company. And they have Stratosphere. Yeah, that's that's right. Stratosphere. Many, many years. Yeah. Yeah. Skate shop, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's amazing, man. It's amazing that we could just pick up a phone and call another skater and like just rap I, out I'm them. not kidding like, you. I super nerd out about this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so rare. So ho hopefully that, that's coming across. I love it. It's an honor to be here with you. Dude, you it's legend. an honor. Oh, dude, this is here. And just We've been talking in. about this, geeking out on this. I know. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Jeez, that's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. this is basically the phone call that I have with with these guys like just telling stories and asking questions and nerding out this yeah. is what it's like I love to it. be on the phone with these and talking to Lance and isn't that great oh, it's, Cab. it's so great I mean sitting here with Hasoy and him telling I'm just like dude this is like yeah, a dream Hasoy, dude. Oh, this yeah. is a dream man yeah. do you uh, on a random note uh, off of skateboarding like when it comes to acting, do uh -huh. you have someone like you had gone growing up with Gons or skating with Gons? Was there a, an actor or someone that kind of mentored you in that realm? Mentored? No, no. But people that I liked, actors that I liked. Yeah. Mm. What was that like going in? Like you know, because you there are actors and you don't know them per se, but then like it's kind of like you meeting Gons. You don't know him, but you're like, wow, this is incredible to meet Gons. Was there a certain actors that you met mm. that were on the same term? Like, oh my god, oh, there's... I see what you're saying. Yeah. So um, I didn't really word that great, but. Burt Reynolds. Uh, Burt was like, when Burt, when Burt Reynolds was, like, as a kid growing up, you know, Burt Reynolds was like. Cannonball Run, let's go. Cannonball Run, yeah. Smokey and the Bandit, Cooper. <laughs> uh, he was just a uh, 70s icon. Yeah. When he came on the set of Earl, everything stopped. <laughs> I mean, we had crazy, amazing guest actors on that show for four years. Love that. But when Burt Reynolds came on the show, man, everything stopped. He had the stash. He was <laughs> like he had. A, he was in like an old school town car, and he had a driver. Like old school Hollywood. He was still there. That's amazing. He was still like in the seventies. You know what I mean? And he was so sweet. Wow. Everything stopped when he came on the set. The, all the crew, everybody was like, "Damn, that's Burt Reynolds." Dude. That's amazing. So much movie uh, history, though. right? Yeah. Another just, funny. I thought about iconic. this. Iconic. Uh, Norm Macdonald playing Burt Reynolds in that yeah. Jeopardy skit. Saturday oh, the best. Night. Yeah, that, uh, Turd Ferguson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turd Ferguson. He's chewing the gum. <laughs> He's so great as 70s Burt Reynolds. He's so good. Um, I met Philip Seymour Hoffman on the oh. set of Almost Famous. We didn't have any scenes together. Amazing. But meeting him was like, oh, shit, this guy's a really talented Gnarly. actor. And just kind of like... Um, uh, meeting him there uh, on that set, even though we didn't... I wasn't working that day. I was just on set... Mm. And I got to meet him, and that was the only time I met him. Wow. Yeah, that was like, wow, this guy's an actor. That's a really sad uh, case there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's rad that his son is working. Mm -hmm. And he was in Paul Thomas Anderson's new movie, yeah. Licorice mm -hmm. Pizza. 
Paul Thomas Anderson. Oh, I mean, sick. Philip Seymour Hoffman's son. Yeah. Um, uh, you said you worked with Steve Buscemi? No, but that's what was one of my early inspirations. Oh, okay. Um, there's an Australian actor named Noah Taylor. He played the manager in Almost Famous. Okay. Mm. The kind of wily uh, man before Jimmy Fallon's character comes in and takes over. Ah. He's the manager. And he was also in Vanilla Sky, mm. which is another Cameron Crowe movie that I did after Almost Famous. Mm. Bradley. He's like an Australian legend, this actor. I think we're about the same age. Maybe he's a couple of years older. But I had seen some of the Australian films that he was in. And he was like one of my favorite actors early on. Mm. And I got to work with him. That's, cool. That's So really I cool. super fanned out on him when, cool. when I met him on Almost Famous. Um, who else? Pastris. Yeah. I got to say Pastris because he's not really an actor. But... One of the funniest people I've ever met, Chris Pastris, and just the 35 years and so much of like the fun goofiness that you see in video days, the stupid songs, Coach Frank. Yeah. So much of that came out of Pastris. Mm. Love that. You know? Yeah. So much of that came out of that relationship that I had with Pastris and hanging out with Mark and just being goofy and having a good time, you know? That's what Dude, it's all about. Pastris yeah. is really good in front of the camera. Like, yeah. he could talk. Yeah. I don't know, he came on the show, but I was like, mm -hmm. one time they asked me to do something for, like, some Olympic thing. Like, hey, we want you to introduce this. And, like, I was like, yo, I can't I can't do that. Well, yeah. Have Chris Pastris do it. Yes. And I, I, he did it first try, chilling. Yeah. And I was like, Chris, how yeah. do you do that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, He's like, funny, oh, man. Yeah, he just has it down, and I just, like, always a plotted his work because yeah, yeah. he, he announces a lot of skateboard stuff yeah. and like i've done stuff with him too yeah. and i'm like I, same thing with kelly yeah. I'm like the fuck do you do that chris is funny dude yeah he is super super funny awesome yeah he'd be a good actor oh does he ever try to get him in some shit yeah it's not really your place that you're yeah. like you're an actor we, we, you but know it's we did a shit. pilot for mtv years ago i think the oh really I'm sound agency that. it was like a kind of yeah. variety show yeah and it was pretty good, but it didn't, they didn't pick no. it up. Huh. But yeah, I'd love to see Chris doing some stuff. Man, it's a brutal world, huh? Acting and show business and stuff. It's brutal. It's crazy. Wow. You really got to have like thick skin, thick skin sure. and really and patience. Patience it's just and such a long deal. Tenacity yeah. and every, yeah. all of the above. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Is there crazy politics like that? Skateboarding isn't as gnarly, but is it like that in the film industry? Oh, in terms of like. Uh, hiring people that have more value than somebody else. Yeah, and, maybe something like yeah, that. Yeah, there's stuff like that. Be. Yeah, sure, yeah. sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. And connections is real. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, yep. Well, this yeah. has been fabulous. Sure. Hey, dude, we have another show. Well, listen, it's the same show, but it's called a stop and chat. Returning guests come back, yeah. and we just sit here and shoot the yeah. shit and talk and stuff like that. Love to have you back. When would Any that be? time when tomorrow. We're going to stay here for a little longer and just do another one. The only way I would sleep here is if we delivered some good food and we turned that AC on. Oh, yeah, the AC. <laughs> because after three hours of interviewing now, I'm pretty swamp ass. <laughs> we got showers. You, you we want got... swamp ass? You want to feel like you're in a sauna for three to five hours? Come do the Nine Club show. <laughs> I'm about to get home and take a cold bath. And clean out that swamp ass. <laughs> I love that. He just did a commercial for... And drink San Pellegrino. <laughs> it's a two, two for one right there. Yeah. It's a commercial yeah, for the Nine Club yeah, and the San Pellegrino. Um, hey, guys, thank you so much. Bro. Before you leave, Oh, yeah, though, before I leave, yeah. We want to give you some Nine Club stuff to take home. Okay. If you, if you want. We have sweaters and mugs, and we just like to give a little parting gift. Okay, great. You know, if you don't mind, Kelly. Large XL. Large? Large. Yes. And um, yeah, it's been amazing, Man. bro. This Thank is you guys so, so much. Fun. Such a and love like I said, bro. just the stories. And I can sit here and just listen to yeah. just story after Me story too, after man. story. It's Me too. I love, I love it. You know? Yeah. It's something amazing. that we grew up doing and it's, it turned into something for us. And it just keeps, you know, having the show too. Five years. It's like, huh? yeah, yeah. It's fun. And you I don't get tired of it. Uh, it'll be two years in August. Two years yeah. in August. And you all live around here? I live in Sherman Oaks. So you you have to take the 405, huh? Yeah. Is that a grind? It somewhere? depends. You know what? On the times that we're filming, it's not bad. Thanks for accommodating me for 1230, by the way. Of course. So you guys normally do nighttime, right? It, it, we because do I both. thought I would have enough time to pick up 
little the, yeah. the younger brother. Right. But I didn't we, think it, you know, and we, so that's why I had Pilot drive himself oh, so that he could bounce okay. early to pick up because he needs to be picked up by 4.30. Mm. And it's already 4.43. Dang, right. okay. But here's some Nine Club stuff to take home with you. Uh, we got a Yeti little cooler thing there. We got uh, put your Pellegrino in there. there. Yeah, put your Pellegrino or your in coffee there. Too. Or your coffee. Yeah. yeah, we'll get you a San Pellegrino sticker. You could put on there. And, is and, this and is this good for coffee? Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude, it's the best. So if I if it's I really want to get amped, oh, okay. I can go from this to this. That's yeah. correct. Okay, you don't have to do the blow anymore. Uh, okay, good. Yeah. good. Hey, here's some Nine Club <laughs> shirts to, to um, oh, take I home with that. you. Um, Why does it say skaters supporting porn stars? <laughs> That's weird. It's a new you one. We say started. skaters supporting skaters. Jason, you don't support them. What are you talking about? Here, here's some. Uh, here's a. Here's a set of belts. We did a, a collab with Grip Six. Um, okay. You can give your son some belts. Your oh, daughters. Nice. You know what I mean? Like, like, like very like clip. Okay. Yeah, it's very, they're they're great belts. A little care package for oh, you to take nice, home and. Uh, you know, yeah, thanks thank for you, coming, dude. Yeah, thank you so much for coming, coming, Jason. This yeah. is incredible. And please, I wash my back. hands. Oh, did you? Okay. <laughs> hey, oh, and come back anytime. Please. Yeah, please. we'll do the. What, what's it called? It's a stop and chat. We'll do a stop it's and a chat. Stop and chat. Only you know, a couple hours, whatever. We a couple a hours. Two, two, two hours. hours. Two hours. But then we'll go. We'll actually look at clips and talk about. Yeah, clips. if you want to look at clips. Oh, or we can do that. We take um, questions from like we have a Discord. I don't know if you Discord. It's a whole. It's like it's a, an, another new another app. Social. It's so another Twitch, thing. Discord. Discord right. Yeah, all those. Yeah. But um, yeah. we take some Discord questions from our our, our community, our okay. skateboarding okay. fans and stuff like that, and it's really fun. We just hang out I'll and shoot it. the shit. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. For an so fee. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Additional fee, <laughs> and make sure to send. Uh, Sam, make sure to send the. the oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll tag him. Uh, we'll tag him. Pellegrino. Send Pellegrino. Send, send him uh, some. Stuff. Bergamo. Yeah. Bergamo. Have you tried the the juices? The the. Oh, not the, good. The flavored San Pellegrino in the bro. can. Oh, that one. Yeah. You take the you take yeah. the foil off yeah. the top. Yeah. Foil. It's like you're opening a gift. I like the foil. Yeah. I like the. Foil. It's a good it's a good nice touch. San Pellegrino, man, and Yeti. I do have a Yeti cooler. You do. I do have a Yeti cooler. So Yeti, why don't you send me some product Listen, gotcha. so that I can put my icy cold San Pellegrino <laughs> in one of your coolers. <laughs>